Welcome and festive greetings to another evening of Dungeons and Dragons. In fact, our festive special. Joining me tonight for a festive, fun, good time, they hope. Uh, I, I have other plans. Uh, we have Annette as Talia. Hello, darling. Ben as both Valdizian and Ert. Good evening. Steph as Vienna. Hello. Reese as Blossom. Hello. Maria as Balasar. Hello. And David as Degas. Hi. <laughs> to cover what happened last time, the party finished up their business in Duranar, successfully dealing with all the issues they had there, and then made their way back. Unfortunately, this time by more mundane means than how they got to Duranar, uh, taking a horse and cart, um, they made the long two weeks and a bit to travel back to Maham. Arriving back at Maham, uh, they were shown around their new home base, effectively, by Gunter, who had overseen the building of this extension to his inn uh, over the past two weeks. Um, shown each of their individual rooms and the shared, sorry, shared spaces they would have. Yes. Um, he then... <laughs> informed them that the Frosted Feather Festival was coming up um, and that they were unlikely to be needed by Emperor Barras until after that festival. It has been a week since that time. During that week, a chill has settled over and around Maham, the streets covered in a light dusting of frost and the each day as it passes, you can see more and more clouds gathering overhead, promising the beginnings of potential snowfall. You have all watched over the week as sh shop fronts and home fronts have been bedecked in uh, twinkling lights, arcane crystals, giving off these faint glows, um, lots of festive wreaths and long garlands of um, evergreen um, and bright colours. Indeed, you have all watched as Gunter um, in the Jigging Jester has put up a large pine tree covered in decorative baudles and chains of painted corks and bottle caps and on top of it a angel with black raven wings. <laughs> However, during this week, is there anything anyone wants to have accomplished during your one week's downtime? We'll uh, cover that quickly now before we get started with anything else. One thing uh, Val would like to do is go to the Merchants Guild and top up mm -hmm. the money that he'd left there for the goods that was going to the poorest parts of town. Okay, um, you go to the Merchant Guild and you check in. They have not even spent a hundredth of what you gave them. Okay. It's been, it's been two weeks. It has literally been not two been weeks. They've long. not even like... <laughs> Spent. I believe you gave them something like five hundred gold. Yeah, yeah. They they've spent maybe a gold's worth of that so far. Okay. the The other thing I want to do is one of the uh, bottles of dwarvish um, beer or whatever it is that I picked up. Uh, I'm actually going to mm -hmm. give to the Merchants Guild as a, a thank you for facilitating everything, um, oh, okay. and as like a Christmas gift almost. The merchant who is overseeing your account goes, "Oh, well, thank you and festive greetings to you as well." To you. May the matron raven smile on you. Yeah, that that's basically me done. <laughs> I, I okay. think for me, I just want to give uh, Gun for that um, box of uh, booze that we got from um, <clears throat> I forget his name. Oh, uh, Gears. Gex. Gears. Gex. Yes. Um, yep. And try and like see if he wants to be a, a salesman of it, and to Good. Do, do, we, do we say we, we told him to get in contact with uh, Z Zog, didn't we? Yeah, you you meant you you also said that he might be interested in speaking to to Z, because obviously yeah. they do similar things in meshing arcane with yeah effectively booze, booze food. Not, so. Yeah, so it was like there's a booze line as well, but yeah. yeah. So that's like but Gunter takes these bottles and goes, Oh, very nice. Um, we will have a tasting evening, yeah? Indeed. I also have something special just for us. Oh, I'm looking forward to it. What is it? Or is it a secret? It's like Raven Queen Rum. Oh, very nice. Very. I uh, will have to try some of that later. 
Uh, you watch as Gunter and Rook take a bit of time trying each of these various bottles, and you can see Gunter um, a couple of days later penning out what looks like a letter. Um, and he obviously he you don't see him send it off, but you assume he's sent that off to Geeks, possibly to mm. place an order or express interest. Cool. Anything anyone else wants to have done? I think... maybe... Oh, go on. Yeah, I think the only thing Vienna will have done is uh, written a letter to her commander, just letting her know that Duranar's clear and she's just in um, Ham now, ready to speak to the Emperor, but everything seems clear at the moment. Okay, that's fine. That's easy enough for you to send off with a courier. Obviously, the couriers say that you, you basically give them a drop point rather than a yeah. person to give it to because obviously the couriers don't really go to the Underdark. No. But you, you tell them to send it to the nearest city to the Underdark and then it will be picked up from there by an agent yeah. of your city. Okay, and that's about all she's achieved. Okay. Uh, and you know what I want to do about this. So. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, Degris, uh, obviously you've, you've, mentioned, you've spoken to me off game. Um, so everything that you wanted to achieve, um, you spend the week um, getting those necessary resources, um, getting what you want sorted, and you are welcome to deal with that as it comes up, or begin and tell everyone now, it's up to you. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll wait until the week's passed, and then mm -hmm. do it, and if anyone wants to do anything. Okay. Alright. So, obviously during this week, the rest, those of you who were not previously members of Armate, I know you're technically not full members yet because you haven't accepted, but the rooms you have been given, you have been allowed to personalize and you've been allowed to go out and use some of the money that has been given to Armate to buy various furniture or items for your rooms. Um, so obviously it's down to you as and when you describe those, but you know how you want your rooms to look and that's done uh, so we come to the eve of the frost feather festival uh, morning dawns and you all come downstairs um, to find Gunter basically like some kind of hyper child on sugar <laughs> he is literally shadow stepping around the whole of the digging chest that is going festival 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 he's more excitable than usual he pops up right in front of you goes why wouldn't i be it's the most wonderful time of the year she kind of like jumps like that ah. wonderful time <laughs> exactly talia darling and <laughs> that was me singing though oh oh would you all like to take part in a um Frost Feather Festival um, tradition with me? Of course. Depends Fiona. on the tradition. What is it? Uh, do, do you all know about the Frost Feather Festival first? No. No. No? no. So, uh, the, fest the Frost Feather Festival uh, is, happens at the ending of the year, during the height of winter. Uh, it is to give thanks to the Raven Queen for her gentle guidance of passing souls, and to give thanks that our fates have not yet ended in the loom, the weave of fate. Uh, it's also expressions of uh, joy for the end, the peak of winter, and now we are going to go back towards summer. However, there is a little little tradition. Uh, it's do a, we get to sacrifice somebody? I don't think we do those sorts of things morbid. here, Diana. Mm. Uh, uh, it's called boring. Raven Queen's Roulette. Oh, yeah. Uh, effectively, what it is, is we all I take everyone's names, write them down, and put them in like a jug, and everyone picks a name. And whoever's name you pick, you have to get them a small token of appreciation. Something they would like. Not anything expensive. Uh, the limit is normally five to ten gold pieces. And you'll just get them a little something just to say, I'm glad your fate has not yet ended. That's very really sweet. Are you all interested? I mean, there are a number of us here. Sure. Hey. You can see Vierna's face almost like that, like calculation, like appreciation. 
<laughs> okay, uh, Gunter scutters off and comes back with a piece of parchment and he quickly writes down everyone's names, um, tears up the parchment and puts it into a tankard and swirls it around and goes, So, who first? I'll go first. Okay, uh, roll me a d8, please, Talia. Ooh, that's exciting! Here we go! Four! Four. You pull out Balasar. So well, easy to shop for Balasar. <laughs> <laughs> no yeah. Damn it. <laughs> easy one. Uh, as you pull out the name, Gunter goes, don't tell anyone. It has to be a surprise and a secret. Of course. Good. Uh, who next? I'll go. He holds out the tankard to you. Uh, I should probably say what I look like now. Uh, I've went and got uh, traveler's clothes, a hood and a mask to try and hide my skin as much as humanly possible. Oh. <laughs> uh, oh. and, and uh, you also, I mean, the more per perceptive of you, you know, I don't have my warhammer on me anymore or my family signet ring on me. Um, but I'll go. So what do I need to do? I need to roll. Uh, you need to roll a d8. Watch me get a four. If you do, then <laughs> I'm giving. I will choose who you get. But an eight. Well, an eight. Um. Okay. You pull out. Gunter. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> Gunter goes. Good. You you got it. Yeah. And he then goes. Oh, who next? Oh no. Okay, he oh out my God. You. Uh, Balasar, you pull out Douglas. Nice. Oh. <laughs> That's what <laughs> they want. <wanted. laughs> I just love that David's pulled the person Douglas knows the least <laughs> out of anyone here. Yeah, I know. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, who next? Who next? I'll, to ask I'll go next. To okay, holds out the tanker to you. <clears throat> I can't believe we haven't. None of us have rolled the same number. Okay, yet. Uh, roll uh, again okay. for me. Oh, oh. Yeah. that was me jinxing it. <laughs> I'm waiting for someone to pull their own name. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Five. Um, you pull out Vienna. Interesting. Ah. Mm. Uh, I, I don't know why that's so ironic. Okay. Uh, uh, he's going, good, good. Uh, so we are halfway through. Uh, who next? Mom. I'll go. Okay. Holds out the tanker to you, Blossom. Six. You pull out Ert. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's another easy one. I feel like Ert and Balasar are just easy. You just feed this stuff yeah. and they're happy. <laughs> you notice how I timed my vote perfectly. Ert <laughs> uh, goes, I go, I go. God, who's going to get me? Okay, so roll a d8 for Ert. Maybe Ert. Oh, maybe. Or do you want me to roll? I will. I will. I will say I'll roll it, but no, I don't want to. Reroll, please. <laughs> Uh, okay, Ert uh, pulls out Val. Oh, that, that works out well. So, who hasn't pulled yet? Myself. Okay, <laughs> just you and Gunter left. He holds out the tanker to you and goes, Come on, Gunter, pull of Talia. So, yeah, Vienna then pulls out a parchment. And, right, Let's remember see what my you hands. Get. That one, eight. I've got to roll it again, right? Yes, please. <laughs> I'm going to hit every number. I mean, if you do, I will just allocate you someone. <laughs> no, we've had that one. Give it one more try before I just allocate one. <laughs> Pardon me. Apologies. That's been uh, no, so I'll allocate you the next nearest one. So you pull out Blossom. Hmm, okay. And Gunter reaches in, pulls out the last parchment, looks at me, goes... <laughs> yes. So, uh, we meet back here uh, in the evening, and we'll all sit round the fire to exchange presents, yeah? Of course. Uh, Gunther, Excellent. Does, does it have to yeah. be something we purchase, or can it be something that we could make, or...? Uh, yeah, you can make it, you can purchase it. Um, or if we already the, have it. That, that is also fine. Uh, like okay. I say, just a 5 to 10 gold limit if you do want to purchase. Uh, at this point, um, pipes up. Do, um, do, do, do we only have to get things for the people on the paper, or can we buy things for other people too? 
a valet if you want to buy other people gifts, please. Go right ahead. And it sort of nods and seems to think about something. Mm. Gunter at this point goes, well, I'm off shopping and runs out the door. Wait, Gunter. Wait for me! And Tommy's going to chase after him. You can't go with me! Why the and he shadow steps and vanishes. <laughs> she just shrugs and goes off shopping as well. Okay. Fiona's probably the last person standing there going, I haven't got a clue how to buy gifts. I've never bought a gift in my life. No, it's easy. You go out the door first. Like, trust me, yours is going to be a lot easier to do than me. Uh, I mean, Val, Val's still sat there just like pondering <laughs> and kind of half staring at Vienna, but also trying to not to give away the, the name that he's picked. <laughs> yeah, Vienna's just lost in her own thoughts trying to think what. <laughs> Could I? Um, get this. <laughs> yeah. uh, you feel a tug on your sleeve. Um, Ert is stood next to you and goes, Can I talk to you? Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, over here. And she indicates somewhere a bit further away where you won't be overheard. Fiona at this point has actually wandered out the door and is going to try and find a market or something. Yeah, okay. So, uh, Ert pulls you over, Degas, and goes, Um, you cast magic, right? As you experience your flatulence. <laughs> <laughs> Not about that. <laughs> yeah, I did as well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I did it. Best curse ever. Uh, give me. <laughs> I'm gonna walk away for a second. Wait, <laughs> then come back. <laughs> right. Oh, yeah, I do. Uh, it looks a bit confused, but just shrugs. Sorry, but that it's uh, not in my control. Okay. Um, but you, you, wizard, yes. Hey. What would you like as gift if someone was getting you something? You're not. You're not supposed to tell no, me no, who no, you no. got. No, I didn't. I didn't get you this for someone else. Oh. Eh. Uh, do I know them? No. Ah, I don't right. Think so. uh, books are generally a good sort. Books, right? Any type? Well, based on magic, probably. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> on magic. Don't no, forget. <laughs> right. Can you just get like a soundboard or something. <laughs> just react to the word just magic. Just press yeah. Right. yeah, that'd be that'd be good. Or if you know them better than maybe a nice food treat or something like that. But right. okay, and she seems. Deep in thought, as she now wanders off and out the wait, door. Wait, 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 wait! Uh, come back. What? What? Hey, what? What would a particular tiefling barman particularly like? <laughs> Talia. No, I can't. I can't give him that. I mean, something that's you probably probably a little less expensive. Um, Talia's underwear. No. I mean, you know what? I'll I'll figure it out. Don't worry. So, okay. Uh, Bye. Right. And okay. she goes up out the door. <coughs> Moradin's beard. Dergus, like, so Val still sat at the table, just shouts Dergus over, um, having seen the conversations ended. I'll walk over. Do you fancy going for a bit of a drink before you go shopping? Right, why not? Um, Could be with it. Uh, I've got uh, a little job that I want to do, uh, but it's at a bar, so um, and I'd like to go to the Bloody Basin. Oh dear God! Okay. Yes. Yes. All right. So we'll handle this. Uh, how would people like to handle this? Do, do you want to role play each individual bit, or of your purchases, or would you like to? I'm just... currently not looking in the book of Dungeon Masters, looking to see what I could potentially find for a werewolf. Uh, d- um, I mean, it's not its not actual items from that. I mean, you can literally yeah, say like, to literally, me, I want like, to I'm going to for... get like a meat selection or something for Balzar. So. Yeah, you can literally <laughs> say to me, like, I want to look for like a, a grooming brush or something. 
and I'll tell you if you find it. Mm. It doesn't was, have to I be something. I was some... thinking about like uh, some dwarfish alcohol. I think yeah. Vienna's mainly going to be just looking for inspiration around the market. So for I mean, anything, anything just, that might jump out at her. Yeah, just so you all know, um, yeah. obviously for those of you who live in Maham, you know where the Patchwork Bazaar is anyway. But there's stalls everywhere in the city at the moment. Um, it's it, because it is a festival. There are stalls that have been set up selling like small jewelry trinkets. Um, carved wooden toys for children um the odd little arcane knickknacks here and there uh food gifts you can see a lot of um like butchers and grocers have set up stalls outside their shops with sort of festive displays and platters and that sort of thing um so there is inspiration all around you yeah i want to get like the nicest looking like meat platter like all innately decorated and laid out nicely. Yeah. Okay. So, can I ask what Blossom is again? I know she's a werewolf, but what? Uh, she is a tabaxi, tabaxi. blood hunter. Right. A tabaxi Flea repellent blood. or something? I don't know. <laughs> a little mouse. A, a little toy mouse with a bell on. <laughs> oh God! Please don't go to Marge's. <laughs> oh God. I'm uh, still thinking we might, but I'll probably ask Val after we're done with the bar. Yeah, so we'll, we'll deal with that first. So, Val and Degnus, you head out and across the street, direct, literally directly across from the Jigging Jester, you can see this squat, circular building. Um, no windows, just a single door, and above it, a sign that reads, The Bloodied Basin. Well, that weren't far. Nope, not at all. Uh, stepping inside, Val, you see the same doorman from before. We've stood at the top of the steps that lead down into the basement. And he sort of looks at you and goes, <laughs> Come back to get beaten up again, have you? No, not this time of year. Maybe yeah. in the new year. I'll, I'll challenge Drawn again. Yeah, you'd have a better time of it now. He's, uh, been, well, maybe not. He's been imbibing pretty heavily. All right. That, that makes him better, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> but he sort of nods his head and goes, "Go on." And he send, sees Degnus behind you and goes, "Not a child, is it? No underage in here." You what? No. Bearing it's... in mind you are completely covered. <laughs> yeah. No, it's not I a child. I got a beard. <laughs> I got a giant beard. No, but you, you've got you put a face mask on, so I'm yeah, assuming that's I'm sorry. a lot of your beard. Sorry, I mean like you know, something that just covers your nose, kind of like. All um... oh, right, just something like that. Yeah. You know, like. You know, Mardi Gras thing. I'm trying to think of something that's like the only thing I can think of is like how the Asian mask works in Final Fantasy 14. Yeah, like, I get you. Yeah, 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 but yeah, I like, like a mask, raid mask, but it doesn't. Think of me as Zoro. It covers your, your forehead, your eyes, and your nose, and that's more it. like a Harlequin mask. Yeah, Phantom that, of that's the what, Opera style. Yeah, that's what I mean. Sorry, I should have made it yeah. clear. Okay, that's fine. I was going to say, I think I'm the only one that plays that. Game. Yeah, he's like, <laughs> he just sort of waves you both, and he goes, "Go on," and you go down the steps into the area down below with the large central pit with the blood-stained sand uh, in the middle of it and the rickety tables and chairs set up around the edge and the makeshift bar with the bottles and large barrels behind it set up on one corner. Do I see Dron here at all? Uh, Dron is at the bar currently with a large number of bottles around him. <laughs> I'm gonna just go up to John and pretend like nothing's happened and just slap him on the back and just go. Good As you morning. Slap him on the back. He just slumps forward and goes. <laughs> I'm gonna yeah, poke him yeah. in the face. Well, his hand. The is, <laughs> you poke him and his hand just immediately lashes out and hits you in the junk. <laughs> oh. And he sort of looks, like he sits up and blinks, blaring and goes. So what? <laughs> ah, it's lizard boy. Hello. H how are you doing? I'm merry. <laughs> <laughs> and you? Uh, I I'm very good myself. I've actually come to give you a bit of a Christmas gift. What's and that? I'm gonna pull another bottle of the dwarven ale or whatever it was out of my bag and I'm As gonna... You, you pull it out and it's gone. <laughs> He's already holding us. Well, this is a... 
blast from the past. I've not seen. He uncorks it and just starts downing it, and he's like, "That's that's proper dwarvish. That's good. That's really good. Where did you get that?" Uh, I've got my own sources. Well, if you come across any more, I'm right up my alley. And he's just drinking and drinking. I'm frowning. Uh, I mean, and... he, yeah, by the way, Douglas, this is another dwarf. Um, oh, red, right. red beard and hair as well. But he's dressed in sort of light leather armor. Um, no visible weapons on him. I'm just going to say to to John, oh, this is my friend Gus. Um, he's kind of nice joining to meet us you, now. Gus. It's uh, it's Degris. Degris, Degris, good, good dwarfish name. I'd buy you a drink, but I think I might have drunk them out for now. Oh, why did you bring me here? Just for a drink, and I pull out another one of the bottles and pour both me and Degris a drink. Hey, the okay. barman, by the way, is looking at you. Slightly upset that you have brought your own alcohol, but then I also establishment. Ha- I slide a gold to the barman as well. He takes it and just sort of like you oh. can see he's still disgruntled, but he's willing to put up with it because there is gold coming his way. I'll yeah. uh, sit on the, I'll get a stool or whatever. However, we're yeah. seeing. Yeah, they are stools. Like I say, they're they're very rough. You can tell that the the furniture in here is kept in such a state that it's easy to replace. Ah, okay. <laughs> Another place. <laughs> does um does Dron join us? Dron Dron is sat there, but he's just quite happily chugging this bottle of ale. He's he seems to have zoned out. How many so, bottles or glasses or whatever are around him? Probably six bottles and eight pint glasses at the moment. It's impressive. How's your competition? What? Drinking competition wise, anyway. Oh. You were. Uh... Wait, you brought me here to get drunk with this guy? Well, I needed to. send a peace offering after the last time I saw him. I'm kind of. And that's me. Went up. <laughs> Beat your ass. <laughs> that's the one. Yes, Dron. That still gets talked about in here. <laughs> yeah, I know. Um. I just wanted to. My tyranny and a champion! <laughs> Take away your armor and your weird pickaxe thing, and you can't fight! <laughs> oh, shush, Dron. And I take out the hip flask and take Dron's voice. <laughs> okay, I believe that is a saving throw for him. Let me check the item. Yeah, I don't believe it's immediate. He does get a save. No, I know. Where is Tried it? Tried to do that to me before or something. Bottle of Silence. Oh, wait, no, that was the Wand of Smiles. Charisma saving throw. God. Uh, yeah, that was, like, a six, so he fails. <laughs> so I've got his voice he, in the he's, he's, His mouth is moving, but no sound is coming out. And Dergolis, you can barely hear from this, like, iron flask um, that Val has pulled out. And he pulled the stopper out, pointed it at him, and said something. Uh, but from this flask, as he puts the stopper back in, you can barely hear just this tinny, tiny little voice set swearing in Dwarvish. What? What's just happened? Uh, I've got interesting trinkets. Ah, I see. All right, <laughs> so I'm going to try to take my drink. <laughs> and uh, okay. Val's just going to ask what's going on with the uh, with the mask and the cloak. Yeah, actually, Paddy, if I have the if if the money, can I have a full mask instead of just the half? Because I assumed it was because of the coin. I couldn't have a full one. Um, so you you can't. I can't have a helmet. I get that. But... Yeah, you could you could have like a proper <laughs> mask. Yeah. yeah, that wouldn't have cost you too much. Okay, I'll go with a full mask then, so it yeah. makes it easier. Right. What did you ask? I I just said what what's with the mask and the the cloak and the hiding who you are. I it's not about hiding who I am so much as keeping the goblin on my skin from pissing me off. I I hear that, but you know there there are ways and means of of getting it corrected, or you know. I right, uh, don't worry. I've already checked. Look, I'll I'll pull out the note. The, the yeah, whoever the priest was. 
Uh, you would have checked probably with a num. There are a number of temples in the city, and you all of them. Checked <laughs> most of them. <laughs> yeah. Um, but they've all pretty much said exactly the same thing. <laughs> the only one that was different would have been Ogma's study, who have offered to effectively pay you for to come in and be in um, like a test subject to see how this works because they're very intrigued. Basically, it's gonna take. I can't just get it gone like nothing. It's gonna take a lot of money and a lot of time to see it done. And yeah. Have you thought about just using some illusion magic? I don't have any. No, but there are people in this town that can potentially put that in place for you. Well, the trouble is, this thing keeps running around my entire body. So, I mean, I checked it when we checked out. I'm going to assume I've gone in the onsen since then, just for shit. Um, yeah. And, uh, yeah, it goes literally everywhere. And I'm just going to kind of demonstrate my cloak and just show how it yeah. can hide my, my wings and kind of adapt to what I want it to do and just go, there are people who are very skilled in this town that can put so, things in place temporarily for you. Uh, Degris, you watch as he pulls out what looks like a drab black slightly tattered cloak but when he puts it on and wraps it around himself and says a command word um, you watch as it, his form shimmers and his wings disappear you know I never actually noticed that before, that was pretty good and if it meant you being you and walking around as you, not hiding yourself I would happily lend you or foot the coin so that you can get some illusion magic and you know, not hide yourself <laughs> no, I can't get you to do that look, listen I went into that tower, it's both things, the goblin doesn't really mean anything it could be whatever, I went into that tower looking for magic that I probably shouldn't have done <laughs> It's sorry <laughs> John <laughs> totally <laughs> shocked out of his drinking and looks <laughs> 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 it's like a disembodied voice of Talia going, told you so <laughs> All right, sorry, sorry, Doc. No, I went into that tower and basically I had, you know, I, I know these things. I know what to look for. I'll have spells to help me detect magic and the rest. And I yeah. didn't use them and fell for a pretty simple thing. And to be honest, what I have on me, I'm not any less proud of being a dwarf but or any of that. I don't care. But it's a little personal reminder for it. So I'd feel like I'm cheating if I just had it disappear like nothing. I understand that, and I get that, but it is a little bit odd trying to talk to you whilst you're wearing a mask. Yeah, well, it's uh, I'm still here underneath it. <laughs> just uh, it's a bit. I mean, it's a bit strange for me. Usually, I have my arms out all the time, and now they're covered, and it, you know, it's a. It's a shame to not show off these fine muscles, right? And then, ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I'm okay with it for now. So, but no, thank you though. But I never have the coin or anything to pay you back with. And to top it off, I've got more important things to deal with than what goblin may or may not be on my person telling everyone to fuck off. So, I, I tell you what, like. Considering Ertz brought up a, a very valid thing that we don't have to just give to the person that we have a slip of paper of, I'll make you a deal. Um, I plan on going to Wilmer's, who makes magical trinkets and other items, to have a look for the person that's on my slip of paper. If we're there, we inquire whether she can do something illusion magic-wise, and if it's a reasonable price, I'll gift it you as a, as a festive festival gift. How does that sound? That probably seems like a lot of... Co well, how much is reasonable? I don't want to be taking all your money from you. I've been told that... I've been caught dropping gold coins into the into the ground for poor people. Um, oh. I've been told that I don't have much... much knowledge in the way of, of what is the value of money. However, what I do value is people being proud of who they are and not having to hide themselves, so you know, if if that means spending a little bit of coin, I'm happy to do so. Right, okay. Uh, thank Plus you, you might oh, find well, a, you might find something to buy for your person at Wilmer's. 
Yeah, aye, okay. I'll put my hand out and shake his hand if he wants to. Yeah. Um, before they go to Wilma's, can I go to Wilma's to inquire about that statue that I was talking about? Uh, if you Where? want to, yeah. Yeah. So, are you guys finished at the bloodied basin? That's pretty much all I wanted to do, yeah, was give, yeah. a, give a bottle and, okay. and chat about the mask. Yeah. Okay. So, we'll move on to Talia now. So, you, you spend some time, I'm assuming... Yeah, first... I've already got Balasar's uh, gift sorted. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, you find you find a good... Um, I'm not quite a butcher, more like a, a deli. Like jerky uh, meats. Uh, no, more things. like cured meats and that yeah. sort of thing. Think like breakfast meats and that mm. style of thing. And you find a good sized hamper with um, like a block of like pancetta, a block of um, a big salami and various other yeah. sort of smoked and festive meats. Um, and it's all, it's done, it's wrapped with a nice bow, and they hand it to you and go, that'll be five gold in total, please. Okay, I'll give them five gold. Thank you, and uh, may the matron raven watch over you. And you as well. Thank you. And then you make your way around behind the jigging jester, past the central fountain in the square there, towards where you know Wilma's shop to be. Mm -hmm. Normally as you get near Wilma's, um, the crowds thin out. Now, they're getting thicker. Interesting. And glancing ahead, the normally dusty and a little bit dirty fronting of Wilma's shop is brilliantly clean, festively done with lights everywhere. Um, the sign has been repaired, and you can see in one of the windows... Um, a sign that reads Sponsor of Armate, Saviors of Maham. Slalia <laughs> oh. smiles to herself <laughs> and uh, and goes in. Shakes her head a little bit. Like, but yeah. As you go in, the store <clears throat> is rammed. Absolutely <clears throat> rammed. There are people everywhere. And compared to what you're used to seeing in Wilmers, there's none of the normal like adventuring items on display anymore but you see what look what looks like a auto heating bedpan um mm -hmm. various little toys that are animated and are moving around and there's a couple of kids just staring at them going whoa um and you you see um various trails of like fairy lights and that sort of thing and up at the counter where normally you wilma would come out and be on display you can see Wilma rather hurriedly taking money from people and like wrapping using a cantrip to wrap things for them and be like uh Merry Feather Festival, Merry Feather Festival just selling all these little enchanted trinkets and just apparently raking in money. I guess I'll uh wait in line until it's my turn. <laughs> okay. Um you wait until a little bit and then Wilma spots you and goes well, look who it is! A member of Armate here in their sponsor's store! Yes, I sponsor Armate, saviors of Maham! You've got not been the world, darling. Recognising you and let you move to the front, and Wilma goes, So, uh, what brings you here? Ah, oh, well, I was, I was going to ask you a little favour, but you seem rather busy. Discord keeps cutting out. Yeah, it's not just you. Yeah, yeah I think Actually, it's just Paddy. I'm glad it's not just me then, because I just like, yeah. said like things and then just had silence, that? and I'm like, was it something I said? <laughs> That's... So, sorry, Paddy, try again. Yeah, yeah Paddy. Yeah. Sorry, I must have. Uh, what did you say, Steph? No, I was just explaining that you were cutting out. Oh, yeah. sorry about that. Must have been yeah. a fight. I was like saying something, and then it was just like yeah. silence, and I was just like, um, oh. Sorry. Um, yes, uh, Without Astar leaning on uh, Rachna to prevent businesses like mine, um, I can actually get business. People are coming here rather than to the Arcane Academy, which is brilliant. And obviously, to hear it. <laughs> sponsoring yourselves has been very profitable. Well, I'm glad we uh, decided to uh, ask then, I guess. Um, or also, very glad you did. Um, yeah, so I have this, and she like pulls out the uh, raven thing that she'd made out of wood. Yeah, they're nice craftsmanship. 
Why, thank you. I did it myself. Um, I Very was well wondering, done. Um, would you be able to make it move? If it, I don't know, not like constantly, like if you say a special word or something. Yeah, not a problem. And she takes it um, quickly out the back and you hear her sort of you hear the usual things that you're used to with Wilma, the sort of the crashing and the swearing, but it's very muted. She's obviously <laughs> put up some form of silencing spell on the curtain to try and limit that noise. And then she comes back out with it, and you can see that there's been a couple of runes very delicately carved into the wood. And she pops it down and goes, so that's sorted. Uh, you can pick the command word. Uh, it's only got a few... Uh, movements programmed in, nothing special, but uh, should be what you're looking for. Fake no charge for you, no charge, oh. obviously. Really? Not for something this simple. Oh, thank you, darling. Not a problem. Well, I'll, uh, <laughs> I'll leave you to your business. Uh, thank you. Um, oh, and if you, uh, if you, if you see Earth, um, just say hello for me, will you? Of course. <laughs> thank you. I'll see you later then, maybe. Uh, goodbye. Uh, Have okay. a festive and she's festival thing. Back, back to Bye. already serving <laughs> other customers. <laughs> oh, then Talia leaves. So okay. I'll head back, back to the jig and just and probably have a drink at the bar or something. So that's Talia done. Okay. So uh, moving on, uh, who would like to go next in their search for a gift? <laughs> Fiona is looking very baffled, but she's she's looking at the jewelry. Yeah, she's looking uh, for anything that looks tabaxi like, you know, like a necklace or something. Yeah. Um. So moving around, a lot of the jewelry on sort of the main streets on these little stalls that are set up are very. It's very festive themed, so mm -hmm. obviously a lot of ravens, um, a lot of. Um, little angels with raven wings, that sort of thing. Um, but you, you do eventually find a small jewellery store. Um, and you can see a couple of items that look not necessarily tabaxi-like, but they have sort of a feline cast to them. Um, things that you think would maybe stand out well on the fur, that sort of thing. Hmm... She's kind of thinking, like, it's going to have to grow with her, because I don't know if she changes size when she's aware being. Yep, she does bulk up quite a bit. Yeah, so she's kind of looking for something, maybe like a necklace with a long chain. Um, roll me a investigation check, and we'll see right back. how well you do. I'm probably not going to find anything at all. It's not a difficult DC. That that's exactly what you needed. Oh, thank <laughs> um, you do notice a small chunk of you. It's it's a very yellowy uh, brown crystal, um, and it's got s sort of gentle marbling effect to it on a long, like sort of leather necklace. And when you ask the store owner, they inform you that it is uh, a crystal known as Cat's Eye. It has no special properties, it's just very nice to look at. How much for this? Uh, five gold. Five gold? <laughs> she kind of looks at him like, five gold? The crystal's not cheap, ma'am. And it is, mm. it's not like a tiny little, like, it's not like a tiny little ball, it's like... Um, it's like a little, uh, what's the word I'm looking for here? It, it's like a little rectangle piece. Okay. So, so it's like, it's like a pendant more than a necklace. She kind of looks at it for a little while and goes, okay, I'll take it. Thank you for your business. Made a matron of Raven watch over you. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, um, she will then look at it and she turns back to the store going, holder going, any enchanters you know about? Because obviously Vienna wouldn't know. Um, there's the Arcane Academy or there's the, the well, not new store, but a newly 
uh, reinvigorated store, uh, Wilma's Wondrous Wares, um, here in the Gateway District. Hmm. Thank you very much. And she'll start heading over to Wilma. Okay. All right. Uh, anything? Anyone else? Reese, what I miss? Maria, are you one? Uh, yeah, uh, I'll I'll be uh, looking for Zeets. Yeah. Okay. That's pretty easy to find. Again, yeah. the win. You get. You ask around for sort of sweet shops, and it is the main one you are directed towards, and it. You you thought Gunter had gone over the top. Z has blown him out the park. And looking at the like, Z has literally transformed his store into a gingerbread house. Oh, nice. You're you're not obviously you don't know this. You think this is how the store usually looks, mm -hmm. but you can see crowds of children just staring into the windows at large gingerbread displays. There's crisp. There's cakes, um, candy canes, all sorts of things, all in these windows, and it just screams sweet. Yeah. I mean, I'll, uh, I'll enter there and. Yeah. As ask you enter one. again, it's busy, but um, there's no one currently at the counter. And you see this elderly goblin with the rotted teeth pop up and go, Hello? Ah! Can I help you? Uh, yes. What? Uh, I can't remember what the word I was thinking of was. Uh, <laughs> Candy, sweets. Well, <laughs> <laughs> hmm. what up, Doc? Uh, I'll ask if he's got anything uh special or unique. Um. Everything he has is unique. Well, uh, what what exactly are you looking for? I think I've got to see his voice wrong for some reason. <laughs> are you looking? Uh, are you looking for um sweet festival? Cake? Festi uh, sweets festival. Sweet. Extravagant. Right. Um, and he gets down and scurries off, and then he comes back um, with a box of candy canes. And you can see each, they're all white, but each one has different coloured stripes. And he pops them on the top and goes, ah, Fruity canes. Each one is a different flavour. And as you suck it, you get more and more of the flavour. Am I still here? Yeah, yeah, yep. I'm still there. Still here. <laughs> Hello. Just delayed reaction. Yeah, you know. <laughs> uh, sorry, sorry. It seems to stop them for a second. Um, yeah, he goes. Are you interested in the candy canes? Uh, yeah. How much? Oh, um, okay. For a pack of ten, five gold. Five gold. Yeah, that sounds good. Okay. Uh, takes your gold and wraps them up for you and goes. There you are. Uh, festive festival to you. Uh, thank you to you too. Thank you. And he scurries off to where um he he's stopping. He, like there's a child sort of standing with a box of what looks like chocolate coins um, and he's like oh, yes, yeah, I'll ring them up for you okay and then I'm assuming you return to the jester yep. okay uh, Alasar, what were you wanting to look for um, oh yeah, I just realised. Oh, yeah, I was gonna uh, say. <laughs> she, she mutes herself to like not have any background noise, and she always forgets to unmute herself. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I'm gonna go find some strong dwarfish alcohol, like the strongest I can find. <laughs> okay. So looking around again, there are a number of stalls selling various alcohols um you eventually find one that looks dwarvish uh the the owner is dwarvish anyway um and he has a large ale kettle behind him from which he is dispensing into bottles and then selling it to people uh, hi um, can i help you uh hi i'm gonna speak in dwarvish because it's one of my languages as well, ah, well um, nice to meet someone who can speak the language 
<laughs> Hello there. I'm looking for some strong dwarvish alcohol for my friend. <laughs> ah, right. Uh, are you wanting ale? Spirits? Mm, possibly spirit. Okay, so, well, I've got my signature ale here. Uh, made to an old family recipe. Uh, probably not the best, but it's... I think it's pretty good. As for spirits, uh, he reaches into a crate underneath his counter and pulls up a bottle. He goes, uh, I've got some uh, Blade Mountain Whiskey. Uh, City of Blades. Uh, got it imported. Ooh. Can I have two of each? Uh, all right. And he gets two bottles out and fills two bottles of the ale. And he goes, uh, in total, that's... Uh, 10 gold. There you go. I hand him the money. Thank you very much. Do you want these wrapping? Uh, yeah, wrap or just, uh, just one. <laughs> yeah, for yep. myself. <laughs> okay. He wraps one of them up and passes them to you and goes, uh, happy, happy festival. Thank you. You too. Thank you. Okay. Uh, again, I'm guessing that's Balasar done. Yep. Okay. So, back to uh, Degris and Val. I just want to oh, say, well, you... <laughs> bef before we leave the uh, leave the bloody basin, I do let Dron's voice go back. I just want to point that back out. <laughs> yeah, it, it goes back after an hour anyway, so... <laughs> yeah, I, I just uncork it and let his voice go back. He just looks at you sullenly. He's not even... He, I, he turns away and drains the last of his bottle. <laughs> He's not talking to you anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Merry festive... Uh, Period, or whatever it is. I came here to apologise. <laughs> Fucking steals his voice. <laughs> well, he was giving me stick. So you leave the bloodied basin. Are you heading straight to Wilmer's? Uh, I think that's the plan. Uh, oh. I guess. All right. Uh, you move across around the jigging jester, seeing Z's gingerbread <laughs> store across the way, as you do. It's a giant um, gingerbread man. Ah, <laughs> uh, Zeke's. Yeah, does it normally look like that? Uh, well, I've only seen it a couple of times, but last time no, it didn't. That's a, that's a big gingerbread man. No, it's a gingerbread house, not a gingerbread man. I was going to say, that's the man inside it isn't a very big gingerbread man. <laughs> that's a big gingerbread house. <laughs> um, as you are moving around the edge of the square, going near the Silk Cheeks, uh, Val, you hear something from an alley. Psst. You there? I kind of look Come over. Uh, you see a person shrouded in a hood and a cloak uh, behind a rather meagre stall, but they're waving you over. I kind of cautiously go over, um, make okay. sure that Dagus you... is in in tow, and I'm gonna just keep a hand on my weapon as well. Okay. And my coin pouch. As you, draw, as you draw closer, you can see that there's various knickknacks on this stall. Nothing particularly special. Um, the other thing you both notice is that this thick black cloak this per this person is wearing um, has patches of frost on it. Despite the fact it's now getting closer towards midday and a lot of the frost has worn off. Uh, hello! Um, are you looking for presents for your friends, yes? Ah, you wouldn't know anything that can appetize a tiefling who runs a bar, would you? Oh, you got Gunther? Yeah, I did. I don't really know him that well, so... Uh, just have to get problem. some Natalia's underwear. Yeah, but how am I going to get that? That would be interesting. <clears throat> and I'd rather not piss her off anymore. The, the cloaked man's looking a bit uncomfortable. He's like, right. Anyway. You have any lingerie, sir? No, no, no. Uh, you'd best try the silk cheeks for that. Um, it's the brothel, right next door. Oh, right. What does he have, Pally? Sorry. Um, he, it, it's looking at the thing. He's got what looks like handmade, like um, holly wreaths and um, little ornaments made out of twigs and leaves. But he looks at you, Val, and goes, "You, sir, I might have something you'll be interested in." He reaches into his cloak. And pulls out um, a amulet, uh, a blue crystal amulet in the shape of a snowflake. 
Val, I need you to make me a wisdom saving throw, please. Okay. Well, we about to beat this dude's ass? Is that what we're doing? Nope. No. Val, looking at this pendant, you just think this is perfect for Vienna. I have to get this for Vienna. This has to be Vienna's gift. There is no doubt in your mind. How much for the amulet? Uh, for this, five gold. Seems a reasonable price. Will you gift wrap it? Yep, not a problem. And you watch as he sort of puts it back in his cloak for a second and it comes back out wrapped in what looks like um, holly leaves and um, mistletoe. And he hands it across and goes, uh, the five gold? Uh, I'm handing him the five gold. He takes it um, and goes, Merry Festival to you. Excuse me, sir. What's the point? What's the point in these reeves? Do they do anything? They're just for decoration. Yeah, but why? People like them. They're festive. Are they? That's what I've been told. Is this a what race is this guy? You can't tell. Oh, okay. You is can't it... see the the cloak and the the hood cover everything. Is it is it a Maham thing or is it a, is it you it's know p- part of the festival? Oh right. Well, I mean, mistletoe might might do good for for your individual. Would it? Well, does he have any? Does he have any? I mean, you have already <laughs> seen a few bits of mistletoe up in the jigging jester already. Ah, uh, okay. I I feel like I'm gonna have to visit a brothel again. That wasn't a pleasant experience last time. All right. Well, I don't need anything. We could try Wilma's first. Ah, right, okay. Okay, yeah. By the way, as you two have turned away from this individual to talk to each other, you go to turn back, and he and his stall are gone. Interesting. All that remains is there's just a patch of frosty ground where he was stood. Huh. Seems like he got cold feet. Oh. (laughs) (laughs) Funny guy. (laughs) (laughs) Hi. Pretty good. Uh, okay. I mean, Wait, that's either Wilma? a good sign or a very bad sign, so we'll find yeah. out. Yeah. Where's Wilma's, you said? And then I'll, I'll go, I yep. guess. So, yep, you, you guide him round past the Silk Cheeks, um, which, for your information, Douglas, that is a three-story building uh, painted in a blush sort of rose colour. Um, the ground floor has no windows, but the upper two floors have shuttered windows. And you can see some of the shutters are closed, but some of them are open with various men and women of different races in definitely not the right clothing for this weather. To put it simply, reclining on sort of cushions in the windows, occasionally waving or blowing kisses to people walking past. Wait. Uh... I'll make a point to come back here, possibly after, but I'll shudder for the moment as we go past. Okay. Uh, As you go past, the front door does open, and you watch as an eight-foot-tall, grey-skinned woman steps out. Uh, She's wearing um, not, like, leather armor and carrying a large club, and in the other arm, she's carrying what looks like a patron who's obviously done something wrong she has white hair that's done in dreadlocks down her back and tribal tattoos across most of her visible skin and she just tosses this man into the street and just sort of goes don't come back and sort of turns and notices you two and just sort of nods and then steps back in closing the door behind her it's not somebody we recognize is it uh you would val you met um that would be helga uh, who you know is the bodyguard for the Madam of the Silk Cheeks. No, uh, I meant the guy that had... was thrown on the ground. Oh, no, the guy, you have no idea who that was. It's Smythe. <laughs> <laughs> no, you, you don't recognise them. <laughs> but you, you recognise Hilda, um, and you know that um, that she is the bodyguard for Madam Rouge. Not a place that I would want, like regularly frequent. No, neither would I, but it seems like I'm going to have to go in there in a second. But uh, Wilma, you said? Yeah, Wilma, I think, yep. is the plan. 
Yeah, again, you as you reach Wilmers, you see the same thing Talia saw. Crowds, really festive frontage, the sign proclaiming her the sponsor of Armate, saviors of Maham. Uh, continue to kind of push through the crowd a little bit and try and get... As... Yeah, you, you barely have to push as you're moving through. People are recognising you and a couple of them are sort of giving polite applause. Some of the children are running up to you and just sort of staring up at you. and um, it, Very different from what you're used to. <laughs> Val will just kind of give his wings a little bit of a flutter just so that, you know, it's a little bit of a show, showy entrance yeah. almost. The kids are like, oh, that's so cool. And I'll head as, in, I guess. <laughs> yeah, as you enter, you see the same thing again. All these minor enchantments um, taking up the places that you're used to seeing the adventuring gear and the major enchantments that you're used to finding here. Very, very different from what you're used to. But again, Wilma at the counter just wrapping things, taking money barely having a moment to even notice that new people have walked into her store. I'm gonna... Do we oh. get in line, or what do we do? Uh, I'm, I'm gonna try and, like, almost try and catch Wilma's attention by giving her a bit of a wave, but I'm gonna I stay mean, in line at the same hard. time. it's not hard. You are head and shoulders above most of the people in here. Most of the crowd currently being predominantly human, halfling, and dwarf. And she sort of goes and goes, Val! Oh, second member of Armate to come in here today. Come up, come up! Um, the crowd again makes way for you and Degris by association. And you get to the counter. Degris, you see a gnome uh, female with a pixie bob haircut done in bright pink. Um, currently dressed in sort of shopkeeper's clothing. Uh, a nice blouse and apron uh, and a sort of knee-length skirt. She's like, well, well, I've already seen Talia today. Um, How can I help you, Valdezian? And who's your friend here? Uh, so this is Gus. And it's I see you, Gus. It's Degris. I'm going to keep calling you Gus. <laughs> uh, okay. And um, Val reaches in his bag and he pulls out another bottle of the uh, dwarven drink and hands it over and just goes, start off with, it's a little bit of a festival gift for you. For all of your help oh, in well, the past. Thank you very much. Um, don't drink much myself, but a bit of this in me milk might be quite nice over the evening. I'll uh, certainly... She pops it behind the counter, obviously, to put somewhere else later. Uh, now, kind of inquiring about a few things. Um, yes? Uh, Gus here is trying to find a gift for, for Gunther, and I kind of whisper uh, for the festival. Oh. I don't suppose you've got anything that would be kind of nice as, to give as a gift? I might have something. Give me... Give me ten minutes. Let's clear out this crowd. It's not something that uh, certain ears should be hearing, if you get my meaning. I completely understand. Uh, she puts up a sign that says uh, closing for lunch um, and serves the rest of the crowd and then sort of ushers everyone else out and closes the door, puts up a sign saying closed for sort of 20 minutes or so. She goes, right, one second. And she goes off into the back and then comes back with a pair of hand mirrors. And she goes, hands one to you, Val, and another one to you, uh, Dergris, and goes, look into those. Oh, Lord. <laughs> I'm going as, to you look in, as you both look into the mirrors, you don't see your own face. You see each other's faces. Wow. That's oh. interesting magic. Can I walk around the room and see if the background changes or something? Well, it won't on my end, but assuming it'll move on Val's yeah. end if I change my background or something. Unless it's just the face. As, as you move it around, what Val can see in his mirror moves as well. Uh, these are called uh, two-way looking glasses. So rather than seeing what's in yours, you see what's reflected in the other. Uh, doesn't do sound, unfortunately. Uh, haven't quite figured that out yet on them, but uh, I can let these go for ten gold. 
Uh, would you be interested in these magical mushrooms I found for enchanting purposes? They are snatched out your hand in a fast second. Wait, wait, I got a... Wait, I got... Where, did you, where did you get these? I found them in a field next to a hydra we slayed. Well, um, yes, um, th these would be very useful. Um, but way, worth way more than ten gold. Yeah, oh. I mean, I need to... I mean, I'm probably not going to be able to use the rest of them. I've used some already. But uh, I have a hundred gold's worth, Paddy, basically, left. Yeah. Uh, she, looks you... at it and she looks at the amount, there's some calculations in her head. Um, immediately gifts wrap the mirrors and hands them to you. And then pulls out eight platinum pieces, puts them down and goes, Will that cover it? Uh, how much is a platinum worth again? Uh, platinum is worth ten gold. So she's uh... effectively given you eighty gold there, plus the mirrors. Hey, yeah, I'll give her that. She takes the mushrooms and immediately rushes out the back, and then you hear her sort of put through the muted silent spell, put clank around a bit, and then come back and goes, "Excellent. Um, anything else I can do for you guys?" As two other small uh, issues, my my friend here has a a little problem that he could potentially uh, use some illusion magic or something similar <laughs> to try and help with. <laughs> Oh, it sound like he's got a tiny dick. What, what have you been eating? <laughs> uh, it's part. Well, I'll, I've went to the. I've went to a few different churches. I'll. Uh, could we go into like a side room so I could show you? <laughs> well, uh, no one else in here at the moment, and the store's closed. Right, I'll start getting my clothes off. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa! No, I've got, got not all I've, of it. No, 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 I've got, I've got, I've got curse. So masks off. I'll start taking the. My travelers' the, stuff off and everything. The goblin comes running out onto your bare skin, go like breathing deeply as if it's the first time it's had fresh air in a while. And she yeah. sort of and goes, "Oh, I see. Um, that's a pretty advanced bit of magic." Yeah, I um, was told. I was told that by uh, <laughs> every. Well, I've been to about. How many have I been to? Like six different places or something? Yeah, you would have been to about five, six different yeah. temples. I've been to about different temples and it's pretty an advanced curse. It moves around my body and does nothing but obscenities. At this point, the goblin has sort of caught its breath and is looking out at Wilma and is pulling down one eyelid and sticking up a middle finger. Yeah, I can't control it. Wilma's I'm... sort of looking it over and goes... She reaches under the counter, pulls out a giant pair of goggles with multiple lenses and Degdis, you can see each of these lenses is a different colour and there's runes inscribed around every bit of metal work on this thing. Very nice. She starts flicking through them and just looking at it and goes Oh. I hope you weren't wanting uh, a magical means of hiding this because um, not at my skill level. I mean, I'm good, but I'm not that good. Yeah, that's what I figured the, it was. The curse itself, uh, the goblins created by illusion magic and laid into the spell from what I can see, uh, it will appear above any illusion. So, I... even if you change your form, uh, I'm not quite sure what would happen if you, say, went invisible, but the goblin would still be there. I don't suppose you've got anything that would, like, localize the curse so that he could just have it on his stomach or something and kind of limit it I'm... running around? A couple of letters to some of my friends back at Ingbrook, but, um... That'll be fine. I mean, I've I've, I've been told it already... It's a probably... while. Yeah, it's probably gonna take... Yeah. That'll be fine, thank you. All right. Um, well, like I say, I'll I'll do some research and see if there's anything I can do. Um, next time you're around, check back with me and we'll see if I've found anything. All right. Well, Wilma, just a quick question though. Do you still mm -hmm. spell scrolls here? Spell scrolls? Not at the moment. Is it? Would it be something you're interested in? Uh, I am a wizard by trade, hence this giant oh, iron tool. I'm an enchantress, as you can probably tell. Uh, studied at Ingbrook University. Oh. 
you you would know about yeah yeah that. i know <laughs> um she goes well um most people normally go for their spell scrolls to the arcane academy but as they only really uh deal with the nobles i'll have a look uh with my contacts in ingbrook and see if i can get some stuff sent down here for you how does that sound that sounds great thank you i'll start getting redressed uh <laughs> yeah uh, that sounds um, great thank you by the way vienna at this point you've arrived at the outside of the shop um yeah, and i've you... seen that the doors closed <laughs> yeah you can and you, there's a couple of people milling around but you also see Ertz there um carrying a wrapped parcel okay she she clocks her and says Ert. Yeah. yes Hello? i need your opinion on something uh okay she kind of gets down. I don't know how tall Ert is. Uh, Ert's about is five, 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 four sort of height. She's not yeah, goblin she kinda, height anymore. Yeah, she kind of leans down to her and pulls out this uh, necklace and she goes, Is this all right as a gift? Uh, looks all right. Yeah. I may be overthinking it. <laughs> um, and you watch as she pulls out... Um, like what she, like she goes uh, this is what i got for val and she pulls out um an armor polishing kit uh, and like sort of weapon maintenance but it's all it's engraved with a re religious symbol you've seen them both wear she goes i thought he'd like this hmm yes i think that's that's a good gift although it's not something i'm very good at uh, i don't think you have to be good at giving gifts. You just have to have put thought into it. Yeah, she kind of looks down at the necklace again and goes, yeah, maybe I am overthinking it. And she puts it away and goes, that'll do. Okay. Uh, back inside, uh, Val, you had one more thing you wanted yeah. to ask? Um, I know that you're very good at wrapping things and I've seen you be very, very skillful. Um, uh, yeah. I have one thing that I would like you to wrap if, if that's okay. Um, right. And what Val's going to hand over the Wand of Smiles. She takes it and sort of looks at you and just sort of raises an eyebrow, but gets some paper and does this little cantrip movement, and you watch as the paper just sort of wraps itself around the wand and a bow ties itself, and she hands it back and goes, there you go. Yeah. Don't suppose you've got a pen as well? I just want to write a little note on it. Uh, quill, and a, quill and ink well over there, um, just in the corner. Uh, and Val's going to basically write a little note on it saying, some magic can make you smile, and them. Yep. Um, and then put the quill back and, and prepare to like kind of leave, as long as Dergus is fully okay. dressed again. Yeah. I'm assuming both. Yeah. <laughs> um, ta um, Wilma goes over and opens the door and sees Ert and Vienna stood there. Oh, Ert, hello. Um, and hello. Um, are you a friend of Ert? I'm a friend of... And she notices uh, Valdizian and uh, Degris coming out. Well <laughs> done on the pronunciation. <laughs> Just your face. <laughs> 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 well, I'm pronouncing it correctly. Behave, children. <laughs> and so she goes, a uh, friend might be a bit strong for a drow, but yes, I would call them my companions. And she points over to her. Uh, Val and Deagris. I am dressed, right? <laughs> well, um, any friend of Armate is a friend of mine. Uh, obviously, I'm their sponsor, so if you ever need anything, just let me know. Um, and uh, at this point goes, um, uh, Wilma, uh, yes, sir, this is for you. And she hands out the, the book-shaped parcel, and Wilma sort of takes it and goes, oh, um, uh, thank you, um, but I've not got you anything. Uh, just sort of shakes her head and goes, that's fine. Get me something another time, yeah? Uh, well, all right. Um, was there anything I could help anyone else with? Uh, Vienna was kind of thinking about it, and she went, I was tempted to get a, uh enchantment for a gift, but I think it might be too much. So, Well, all right, but if you ever need an enchantment, just uh, drop on by. Thank you. Um, and with that, she kind of heads back. The okay. yeah, I'm guessing we all uh, head back almost as a troop. Yeah. yeah. Wilma sort of, sort of goes, um, nice seeing you again, Ert. Um, Ert goes, you too. As she walks away. Um, okay. 
You all re return back to the tavern, um, wait a short while until evening in your respective rooms, and then Gunter comes knocking on every door going, Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Peasants! Time for peasants! Yeah? Let's go, <laughs> let's go! He gathers you all downstairs in front of the tree, in front of the nearest fireplace. All of you sat in a semicircle on chairs. He goes, each of you holding, I'm assuming, a wrapped gift. Yep, mine isn't. I'm holding two. <laughs> <laughs> he goes, so, uh, how would you all like to do this? Shall we just put them in the middle and then tie that on? Or do you want to hand them to the correct person? Fiona's kind of looking around at everyone in the lap. And well, like, hand them to the correct person. I think <laughs> handing them sounds about right. I, I haven't written a name on mine yet, so. For, so, mm -hmm. I'll go first. Um, and he stands up and stands in front of you, Talia, and gives a very extravagant bow <laughs> um, before he straightens up and holds out a parcel to you. Oh, thank you, darling. My she pleasure. Takes it. Okay. And she unwraps it. Uh, inside is a small locket uh, oh, shaped yeah. like a pair of raven's wings done in black silver. Oh. And as you inside? open it, inside there is a lock of Gunter's hair. She just closes it with a smile and immediately puts it on. Thank you, darling. <laughs> Not a problem, darling. Glad you like oh, wait. it. This isn't from the, the secret... Uh, gift giving, but here's a gift for you too. And she hands him the, the raven statue that she made. He takes it and opens it and goes, oh, it's lovely, darling. She uh, she leans up to his ear and whispers, the uh, the magic word is Talia. He looks at it and goes, Talia. And you watch, it says the raven just sort of comes alive, pecks a few times on his hand and flaps its wings a little and he goes, <laughs> it's lovely. And he pops it on her shoulder and then sits back down. <laughs> uh, who next? Fiona's kind of looking around going, why are they covered in paper? <laughs> oh, we were supposed to like them, uh, darling. Nobody told me that. <laughs> yeah, I don't know I'm much sure it either. doesn't matter. <laughs> uh, Val turns to Vienna and just goes, I've got you two gifts. One I intended to give you this morning, and one, for some reason I saw it and I had to buy it for you. And hands both uh, of you're, in your head, something stops you from giving that one straight away, and suggests okay. you should wait until the end. Okay, I'll 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 wreck on that and just wait then. Yeah. Okay. I will go over to <laughs> sort of stand up and uh, reach into my jacket pocket and uh, pull out this necklace and hand it over to Blossom and said, "I hope this is adequate as a gift." Uh, it's it's beautiful. I I love it. And she kind of sighs and goes, oh, thank goodness. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Part of me wanted Reese so hard to be like, this is garbage. <laughs> 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 uh, moves over to Val and holds out a small wrapped parcel. For me? Yeah. And Val kind of gently takes it off and kind of delicately unwraps it, kind of peeling it he's, off at the corners. He's, he's and... so the type that undoes it all the paper so that the paper's still attached so we can reuse it next year. Like, that's just totally bad. That's basically what I'm doing. Um, and, so. and... It, inside is a, a very good quality uh, armour and weapon maintenance kit, but with the symbol of Trifarian etched into the case. And Val basically ruffles uh, its hair and gives her a giant hug. As a thank you. <laughs> Glad you like it. I she do. hops, goes back to her seat. Okay. Who next? Mm. Balasar is gonna <laughs> move over to Gus and just uh, hand him over the gift. To, to who? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> to, to Gus. <laughs> Listen, I'm not sure. <laughs> the the girls, no, I can't. <laughs> there, you there you go. I said it for you. It's fine. There you go. There you go. Shut your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yep, so Douglas, you are handed uh, a bottle of fine dwarvish ale and um, some black uh, blade whiskey that you recognise. Wait, where did you get the blade whiskey from? Well, am I supposed to say? <laughs> There's a I have my shop shoulders. around here. <laughs> what? I ain't seen this since I've been back home. I'm going to like look longingly at the ball. <laughs> oh, that's great. Well, I think Thank it's, you. Uh, it's for the festival. You're welcome. <laughs> okay. How tall is Balasa? Balasa? I think she's about six. Hey. six. He's about six, 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 seven. Is he sitting down? He probably returned to his seat by now, yeah? Yeah, I'll tap <laughs> him on the shoulder. He'll be like, oh, thanks. <laughs> Just a head nod. <laughs> Uh, Talia will get up and uh, bring the, uh, the her present to Balasa. Yeah. So, Here Balasa, you, you are presented with a basket of various cured meats. Mm. I'm just gonna... <laughs> I'm just gonna call you and start <laughs> digging in. <laughs> um, I know you'd like it. <laughs> I don't think anyone expected anything different. <laughs> okay, Talia, I'll sit back down. <laughs> okay. So we've uh, got... I'll go for it. Uh, then. Yeah. Uh, and uh, opens them and goes, Ooh, for me? Yeah. She immediately, she immediately pulls two out um, and sort of looks at them and goes, You like grape? Uh, yeah, I guess. She offers you one which has purple stripes up it. Uh, well, the... Uh... All for you, if you want them. Best to share. Okay, thank you. Welcome. And she takes one that's got red striations, which you assume is strawberry, and she starts sucking on it immediately. <laughs> okay, so the only people left to receive their gifts now should be Gunter and Vienna. So. Oh, okay. I'll, uh... Where is Gunther? Gunther's Where... here. Oh, he, oh, okay. I'm yeah, just yeah. <laughs> oh, sorry. I thought he was like off and then he came over. So he's sitting no, no. there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Gunter, I got you this. I'll hand the things over. He takes it and unwraps it, looks at the mirrors, and then sort of goes, um, "Is that nice?" Get um, the, give the other one to you, to you, <laughs> whatever she is. Kills me. One, <laughs> one to Talia, and then looks at it and goes. Oh. So oh! This could be most useful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He sort of then leans down and goes, I think I could hide one in the onsen? <laughs> I know. Yeah, that's exactly what I thought. Uh, anyway, I hope you like it. Uh, very much so. Thank you very much, little man. And he ruffles your top of your hood. I'm going to be visibly irritated by both the comment and... <laughs> but, but, but whatever. You say visibly irritated, but no one can see it because... You oh, yeah. Covered. Yeah, I forgot, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm also going to go into my travel bag and pick out the two things I made in the week. Yep. Uh, do you want to explain them or shall I... So he pulls out a pe two braces, more like like bracelets made out of leather, uh, each with a single like sort of costume gem, um, at the point where it would rest at the top of your wrist. Uh, I'll hand one to Balasar and the other one to Valdisian. This is not part of the festival. This is just something I was working on in the week. And uh, because the two of you cannot see in the dark, I thought it would help. That was really helpful. Thank you. Ba yeah. Well, like, really helpful. A bracelet yeah, with yeah, a piece of yeah, like, yeah, oh, no what, it does. <laughs> what it is, is these gems, um, if you touch them, they immediately emit the light cantrip. Now you look good in the dark. Oh. <laughs> well, I thought he explained. <laughs> no. See, I knew you were good for something, Gus. I'm good for anything. 
<laughs> other than delving into tombs and getting killed. Yeah. So the light, just so you're there. aware, the light, the light cantrip sheds light, um, bright light for twenty feet, and then dim light for an extra twenty feet after that. So they have better night vision than. Oh wait, no, they don't. Never mind. No, they don't. no it's so light. I don't. I don't like. It's never happened yet. But mm. like when it's been dark and we have to fight, you know, they can. Mm. They're, they're fine. You know what I mean? Not at disadvantage unless it's pitch black. Yeah. 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 That was the reason. Yeah. yeah. I'd make more, but or some other things, but I only had a week and limited material. But well, the rest of us can see in the dark anyway, so. No, I meant other items of note. Because in the by the forge, there's an enchanter's kit that I've been messing around with. Oh. Uh, yeah, I put that in there. I right, think. I thought to myself. Anyway, now, Val, you can give your gift to Vienna. I'd basically say exactly what I said before. That I had one gift in mind that I intended to give you, and then found another one that I thought in my head, I just had to buy for you and hand both packages over to her. Okay. So you have been handed two packages, Vienna. One wrapped in paper, uh, in which is a long cylindrical shape, and the other is wrapped in holly leaves and mistletoe. She will start on the... Um, after seeing everyone else completely tear up their paper, she'll uh, <laughs> open up the wand. Mm-hmm. Kind of look at it and go. It just looks like a twig. Do? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, a, it's, it's quite evidently a wand, but you've got no idea what it does. It's uh. it's a wand for fun. You you just need to point it at somebody and see what happens. Does it hurt? No, your cheeks might get a bit sore after a while. No, that's good enough for me. <laughs> Oh, like, unless it hurts, it's not a good person. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, then she'll look at the uh, the other gift and kind of open it up slowly. Okay, the moment you fully unveil this blue snowflake-shaped pendant, there is a pulse of vibrant bright blue light and the gem cracks and explodes and all of your visions go black and that's the end of Armitage <laughs> as, as vision comes back to you you are streaming through you can feel yourself moving but you aren't you, you aren't physically able to move your bodies you watch as Lights stream past you, um, blurred, very hard to make out anything. Uh, after a while, you eventually come, you see in the distance this wall of golden light. You draw closer and closer to it, and eventually you sort of punch through it. It, it, it sort of, you feel resistance as it tries to hold you in, but you're able to just slip through. You're not, you get the feeling you're not big enough to be caught by this power eventually the tra traveling sensation comes to an end and you find yourselves somewhere else somewhere different and in fact the first thing that all of you notice is that it is cold not cold as in winter cold not like you've been used to in Maham. This is frigid cold. Arctic cold. As you all sort of regain your vision and look around, you see you are now stood in a clearing. The snow laying thick on the ground around your feet. In fact, reaching up to your knees in some places. The clearing is ringed by pine trees, reaching a good 10, 20, 30 feet into the air. All of them heavily laden with snow. But all of them, this instead of the normal vibrant green you're used to, they're a dark black in colour. Is everybody okay? 
Vienna turns to Val and says, I'm almost proud of you for trying to kill me. I, I didn't try and kill you. It, I don't know why I bought you that. It seems pretty cold enough to kill. She's like rubbing uh, her you hands you together. Hear, you just watch as this blue hand punches out of a snowdrift and goes, Help me! <laughs> <laughs> she quickly grabs hold of his arm and pulls him out. Uh, so, what the hell was that? I don't know, but it's bloody cold. Yeah? Does, I'm kind of glad I've got a fair collar. <laughs> does it just look like it's pure white everywhere? Literally everywhere you look is white. Uh, in between the trees themselves is this cold-looking fog. Like you, you can see sort of the first ring of trees and just the beginnings of another ring behind them, and then it's just fog everywhere. Fiona looks down at it. Is she still holding the necklace? No. Oh. It is gone. Well, oh. Amate, I have a feeling we're not in Maham anymore. Oh, <laughs> <fucking> <laughs> no. At this point, you hear a voice. <laughs> oh, God, what have you got on this thing too far? So... Yeah. <laughs> What has turned up in my little den? Vierne, would Vierna know that as her archfey? No. no. No, this sounds nothing like Mother Night. Oh. And you, as you watch from over the tops of the trees through the fog, a figure appears. Um, an old... It looks at first like an old woman riding a grey stick. But as it comes closer, you get to see more detail. The skin is a frigid blue. There are fangs in the mouth. The eyes themselves are pitch black and almost pitiless. You can see that there is very little empathy or emotion in this creature. Tyler's the hair is to Gunther's arm. <laughs> stringy and white. The hands are gnarled and frost-covered as this creature goes... It's been so long since Granny's had visitors. And who are you? Oh, where are my manners? I'm Granny Silver Coldheart, and you're in my little realm, my little corner of the Feywild. <laughs> oh, God. We're in the what? We're in the Feywild. Yeah, I know what oh. it is. I mean, how? <laughs> I, I don't, don't know, know why you're here. <laughs> Or how you came to be here. But I'm glad you are. Can you let us out, Nanny Farewell? No, 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 no. No, oh. no, no. I'm Will sorry, you? but does the spider let the fly out of its web straight away? No. But don't worry, dearies. I'm like winter. Harsh, but fair. So I'll give you a chance. There's always a chance. I'll let you make your way through my little domain. And if you can find me and best me, then I'll let you leave. <laughs> Don't look. Good luck and <laughs> happy holidays. As she flies back off over the tops of the trees. Fiona just kind of sniffs at the air and goes, well, she was annoying. As you <laughs> say that, you all hear groaning and creaking as you watch uh, um, from one section of the clearing. Just the trees part ever so slowly and the fog lifts, revealing a corridor between the trees leading onwards. I guess they want us to go that way? Well... Mm -hmm. Fiona not trusting anything going... Is it wise <laughs> to follow what they want? I can't see us going I mean, do home we have... without two. Yeah, we don't have any other option, do we? Mm. Either I don't way, want if to we... take my chances in that fog and get separated. That's for sure. And if we just stay here, we'll probably just end up freezing, so... We've got to get moving. Okay. It's cold. It's a good job I got these cloves. 
<laughs> I mean, Talia does have a fur, like, top to her clothes. Gunter is stood there in just his normal barkeeping outfit. Um, he doesn't look too bothered by the cold, but you can see he is shivering slightly. He's like, this is one of the good times of being a blue-skinned tiefling. Uh, cold doesn't bother me as much, but even I must admit, this is very cold. <laughs> You'd think with my hellish, like, you know, that I'd be warm, but uh, nope, pretty cold. Enough to turn a 12 into a 6, eh, Gunther? <laughs> we'll not even mention what it's doing to you, shall we, Val? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, um, Bowser is gonna take a bottle of Abyssal out. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> probably. <fine. laughs> so he can warm himself up and just down it. Okay. Yeah, so you you down the bottle of Abyssal, uh, which gives you, if I remember correctly, three, three temporary. Yeah, three hit temporary points. hit points for the next hour. And I'm just gonna turn around and ask us if everyone. Anyone else actually wants a bottle? <laughs> God, where's Roll20 gone? I mean, I wouldn't say no. <laughs> uh, yeah, so you, I'll you... just hand him a bottle. <laughs> he takes it and drinks it down as well and goes... Do you have any throat. more? Uh, fruity, very nice. I'll hand one to Talia as well. I don't know how many I have because I forgot, but I should have I at least... I believe uh... you brought like 20. Oh, thank oh, you. Okay. I'm few. good. Anyone else? <laughs> Okay, talk to Talia down, down to her as well. How many yeah. hit points is it, temporary? Yeah, three temporary hit points for the next hour. Does it, does it make you drunk as balls, or is it... No, I'll, no. I'll just hand one to everyone. Uh, <laughs> I mean, it's yeah. cold. <laughs> I'll drink. Yeah, I'll have a drink as well. Okay. How many of us is there? Again, so I can uh, do there that. Are eight in, there are eight in total. Okay, so I'll just take eight out. Okay. <laughs> so... So we're all heading towards the opening. Okay. You travel through this corridor, and after a while, it's so the same. Every step you take is creating fresh footprints in this deep snow. The trees are the same on both sides of you. Looking back is the only way to tell how far you've come, and the growing light in the distance telling you that you are actually moving. It takes about 15 minutes in total to traverse this corridor. Eventually, you, the trees part once again, and you come out into another circular clearing, almost identical to the one you are in the first time. The only difference is that in the centre of the clearing is a frozen statue of a young woman with angelic wings growing out of her back statue made completely of clear crystal ice. My sculpture. I hope it's a sculpture. <laughs> Vienna walks up to it and just pokes it, just in case. <laughs> As you poke it, you hear just the faintest whisper of a voice. What flies when it's born lies while it's alive. And runs when it dies. Uh, did oh, anyone else no, make out all of that? Because all I heard you, was what, you cut out what, a little what bit. What flies when yeah. something? What so, does to, something? To, to give you, to give you it actually, because you all would have caught it if you were stood close enough. What mm -hmm. flies when it's born? Lies while it is alive, and runs when it dies. Uh, time? No. Yeah. Talia says that. Mm -hmm. uh, as you say that, um, it begins to snow. Oh, maybe I was wrong. I don't it's... know if that's good or it's bad. Snow. As you say Sorry. that, Balasar, you watch as the statue lips quirk into a smile, um, and then it issues another riddle. Oh. A man without bones, whose flesh is cold. A man unthinking, who is always shrinking. Is he? And again, so everyone can hear. A man without bones, whose flesh is cold. A man unthinking, who is always shrinking. There's who a theme here. He? 
It's a snowman. Um, as you say that, the statue smiles again. Uh, it's still snowing at this point, just so you're aware. Um, but again, the statue smiles and it issues another riddle. If you break me, I do not stop walking. If you touch me, I may be snared. If you lose me, nothing would matter. So again, so everyone can hear. If you break me, I do not stop working. If you touch me, I may be snared. If you lose me, nothing will matter. I'm really not good at things like this. Yeah, you'd think I'd be pretty good at it, but I'm not. I think I've actually heard this riddle before. <laughs> I, I miss Erdin. He was really good at this sort of thing. I've, I've got an idea, but I don't think it's right. Give it a crack. Aye. It's not on theme, though. <laughs> no, I think I know the answer to it, and it's not on I theme. I think I do as well. It's not on theme. Yeah. I'm a clue, so <laughs> be my guess. Is it a heart? The statue smiles, and you watch as within the ice, frost forms sense. into the shape of a heart. It's only because I've heard this riddle before. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, so, really, I, have, I don't really hear that many riddles, so... Uh, yeah, uh, I'm, not, another, I'm not good with before. <laughs> the statue emanates another riddle. I won't, I'm will not. i not going to do the voice. You can't hear it. No. <laughs> <laughs> if you look, you cannot see me. And if you see me, you cannot see anything else. I can make anything you want to happen, but later, everything goes back to normal. What am I? Dream. Do you say that? Yeah, I will. Uh, the snow gets heavier. Oh, crap. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what was it again? If you look, you cannot see me. And if you see me, you cannot see anything else. I can make anything you want to happen, but later everything goes back to normal. What am I? It's your imagination. Mm -hmm. Correct. You watch as the statue's head fills with a sort of purple and rainbow sort of fog. And it issues another riddle. How many riddles is this thing going to give? <laughs> I was thinking the same thing. We'll if freeze you... to death before we get out of here. I give you a group of three. One is sitting down and will never get up. The second eats as much as is given to him, yet is always hungry. The third goes away and never returns. Can we have a clue? The statue remains still. Uh, I don't think we've got to get any help. Wait, what was it again? <laughs> I give you a group of three. One is sitting down and will never get up. The second eats as much as is given to him, yet is always hungry. The third goes away and never returns. I purposely looked up hard riddles so the same thing that happened in Neglia Tom would not happen here. Uh, I am stumped on this one. I am tempted to pick up Google, but I am not. <laughs> I think the well, middle is one's... fire. But I don't well, know why. As you I... say fire, a, on one of the statue's hands, the ring finger lights up with fire. Ooh! Only because I think I've read this one before and I can't, for the life of me, remember what the first and the third is. Well, if it's fire and then it goes away, it never returns. The third one is not. As you say smoke, another finger lights up and you can see smoke coming off of it. Ooh. Um. <sighs> so the first one is sitting down and will never get up, linked to fire and smoke. So it would... Um. So something wood. Cook, something oh, cook. They would, Degris. <laughs> the snow is now a blizzard. I'm I not need everyone. To cook with? I don't know. I need everyone to make constitution saving throws, please. 
Crap. Save. 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 Eight. Fail. Fuck. Save. Oh shit, where's my... Where's the journal gone? Oh my god, that journal's disappeared. How do I get it back? What did Fail. I try? You're gonna use it for this? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no! On roll twenty, like I can't see oh. the chat. I can't see anything. Where's it fucking gone? What's going you, on? You got a nine. If you, you try refreshing the page, it might bring everything back. And have we got one for Ert? Oh, sorry, I do that now. Oh, it's back! Is, Thank God. is there not the oh. three at the side as well? Fail for Ert. So Ert, Blossom, and Talia, you all take free cold damage. Oh, wait, oh don't there they goes get my to... temporary hit points. <laughs> don't yeah, they get, get a plus uh, three, extra... don't they? Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah so I'm I'm you, do, you do succeed, so you don't take that cold damage. Wait, do we? Oh, okay. Well, yeah, the, the DC was only ten. Oh, okay. Well done, everyone. Right. However, if you keep failing at these riddles, the DC will go up. I'm going to be um, quiet. <laughs> is it a like... furnace? Something the last complicated? finger turns into steel. And the statue smiles, spreads its wings, and then with a mighty flap shoots up into oh, no. the air and vanishes into the snowstorm above. Oh, I hope that means it's for the, that we uh, The did, snow we stops, and you hear the groaning of trees once again. However, this time, two passages open up. Oh, great. Uh, <laughs> From where you so, if you're looking at the clearing from a north, south, east, west perspective, there is one heading east and one heading south. Mm. Which way did we come from? North. You would have come from north west. So we could continue north or go south. Well, it's east or east. south. Oh, yeah, it, east it's west. Oh, wherever. Where yeah. Even though. I've heard mm. south is warmer. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if we're going from a northern direction in a straight line, at least southern will be kind of a straight line. Wait, did we... I don't think warm applies to this place. <laughs> did we... Did we? Which direction in the sky did the witch person fly off to? You didn't see. She flew up to the fog. Which direction did the, um, the riddle statue go? Or did Again, she go it just straight flew up? up. Just flew straight up. Can I fly straight up? Should we flip a coin? Uh, you're welcome to try. <laughs> From that, oh, I... I that's, that's DM for... Oh, no, no, yes. try it, bitch. Try it if you want. <laughs> <laughs> how how you tall are the trees? The trees here are about uh, 50 feet in height. So how long would it take me to, to go above the tree line? Well, what's your flying speed? Uh, same as my... It would take two speed. turns, so... So oh, yeah, it would take you twelve seconds. Okay, well, I'm, I'm going to suggest this to the. I'm going to suggest it to the group and see what they they say. Do you want me to have a look over the tree line to see if I can spot anything? Is it oh, Queenie? I don't try, or... but I don't think it'll be that easy. Is Queenie here? She is. Yeah, Queenie. When you get there. when you get her to do it. Queenie, by the way, is currently sort of shuffling back and forth on your shoulder, Talia, looking decidedly uncomfortable. Why don't you send her? Why don't you oh. send your owl? You always could Wait, can I send nice can I send my shadow on top of the tree? Yeah. By any chance? Yeah, you can I'll do go. That. Yeah, you send your shadow <laughs> up and it comes it hits the fog at the top of the trees and comes straight back out where it went in and comes straight back to you. And you see it go into the fog and then straight back out. So like, it, it went up into the fog, and in its mind, it was still going up, but then it was heading down oh, towards the ground. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell everyone that. I figured this it would be that easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah Queenie, oh, and she's that. gonna click, click her fingers and um, let Queenie go into her own realm for a bit. She'll call it back. Okay. Later. Yep. Is this illusion magic? There's not gonna be any way to track the, the witches there. Probably uh, not. Do you want me to check, Valor, sir? Yeah. I'll sit down and do detect magic if I can. Okay, so the 10, ma 10 minute ritual cast of detect magic. Um, as you activate it and look around, 
Um, the truth, everything here is magical. Is there anything that leads us cut like a trail of magic going through in one direction or another? No. Damn it. Right. Um, and <laughs> this is not like magic you're used to. Yeah, it's crazy. Um, it's crazy it's, stuff. It's the easiest way to say this is that it's like multiple schools of magic blended together. The fog looks to be a mix between illusion, conjuration, and evocation magic all in one. I'm and cute. the only We're thing good. you can put it down to is that this is the innate magic of the Feywild. Yeah, we're not getting around here with any trickery, I think. Uh, let me check something a minute. She's going to look at her uh, that journal that she's got. Okay. This it, it, it says everything that happens. Maybe it'll say which direction she went. Uh, when you oh. reach the point, you flick back and you find the bit about the hag. It just says the hag flew up into the fog and vanished. Mm, the rat. Val is going to go... Shot. And then she puts it away again. I, the I... journal cannot see anything you yourself cannot perceive. Ah, oh, right, okay. I'd like Val to kind of go up to, like, <gasps> each... Wait! Wait, I have an idea! Sorry to interrupt. Um, I can rewrite stuff, right? Maybe I just rewrite that you never gave the necklace to, uh, Vienna. <laughs> Kill the whole one shot! <laughs> 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 I'd say no. I'd say yeah, no. Yeah, we'll say no. Sorry. I just wanted to say it for Paddy's reaction. I'm not going to do that. No, Paddy had to say nothing. I know, he's just looking at me like... He's Suddenly like, bears. No, bears no, everywhere. I'm smiling because I want you to try it. No, I'm not, I'm not going to try it. I'm not going to I'm not going to push my luck. Continue. That was clever thought. Though. It's just the thought, but no. That spoils the fun. Come on. Let's go. Val's going to go up to like just the clearing as we see the paths and just mm. see how, how far his eyes can reach, but also sniff the air to see if he can smell anything in, in, in any particular mm. route. Okay. Um, so, make me perception mm. checks. One for each, I'm guessing. I mean, Talia, we could technically send my L down one path and Queenie down another. Work with the shadow, okay. they'll probably just end up coming back. So, again. we'll say the 11 was for the eastern path, the 19 for the southern. Yeah, um, you can't see particularly far down either path, um, and you don't particularly get much in the way of scent from either of them. Um, but you do get a you do get a slightly different scent from the southern path than you do the eastern path. Do I you recognize what it is? You don't, but you it's its just different enough for you to tell that the eastern clearing is likely very similar to the ones you've already been to. The southern one is going to be different. I'm going to relay that to the guys. Well, different would be better if it's warmer. We should maybe try that one. Oh, not warmer. <laughs> yeah, I know, it, but it I don't know be. that, do I? It different. <laughs> Well, oh, different. It could, be cold. God, it could be colder. I say we go south. Yeah, we we gotta pick a decision soon. Yeah, let's go south. Let's go south. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Okay. You Which order trudging. are we going? I don't care. I'll go first if you want. I'll try. <laughs> we're forward. all just walking. I think okay. we're just like now it's so cold. Let's just just walk. <laughs> I'm you... sticking sticking with Gunther wherever yeah, he is. Gunther, Gunther's just sort of looking around, just sort of going, "This is so weird." Welcome to our world, darling. You get to go on an adventure with us. I think I'd prefer to be back in my nice, comfortable inn. <laughs> I'm sure we'll get back soon. Oh, well. I still have the meat with me, don't I? By the way. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> all all of us have come with you. <laughs> I'm just eating as we walk. <laughs> <laughs> so, as you guys trudge down this next path, this one is even longer than the one before. And it takes you a good 20 minutes to reach the end. Um, in that time, I need everyone to roll me a constitution saving throw, please. Oh, dear God. Because you dear have been God. in a cold oh, environment for longer than an Don't hour. Don't forget your plus three. Thirteen plus three. So yeah, that's yay. not helped me at all. <laughs> so that's sixteen in total. So, Balasar pass with the plus three. Blossom pass. Vienna fail. Mm. Mm. Uh, so, Vienna, you take one level of exhaustion. Ooh, not twenty. Mm. 
One level of Everyone else passed. <laughs> okay. Yes, the rest of you are starting to, like, the cold is seeping into your bodies, into your bones, and just sort of, you can feel it, but it's not affecting you too much. Vienna, you are not used to this weather. You're from the Underdark. Yeah, it's damp and a bit cold there at times, but it never gets this cold. You are not used to this at all. And you soon find yourself, like, your fingers becoming a little numb, and you're starting to make little mistakes, like, you're stumbling a little as you walk every now and then. Fun. As you guys come out into the next clearing, you can see, again, the same size, uh, the same sort of layout, um, but the difference here is that um, the actual clearing itself is filled with boulders. Large, snow-covered boulders. I like that boulder. That is a nice boulder. Nice boulder. <laughs> <laughs> Had to. Sorry. Yeah. Rock friend. Uh, are the boulders like, <laughs> is there no path out of this? Is it just like a clearing where there's just random you boulders? or? do not currently see any paths. Um, but you are currently on the northern edge of the clearing looking into this area filled with boulders. Where are the boulders? Are they in any particular Shall I give you a visual? Just... Yeah. That would be great. Oh, God. Oh, God. Visuals mean... Sure. Oh, uh... yeah. <laughs> Visuals mean we're in danger! <laughs> okay. Ooh, this is a nice clearing. Thank you. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> huh. Gosh, there's a lot of us. <laughs> well, someone's gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> Walk it with the sticks here if anything happens. I'm over there. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just be behind. Thank you, Ballister. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the backup, jeez. <laughs> Val's gonna kind of go over to the other side a little bit. Uh, Gunter goes towards one of the rocks and is just sort of looking at it. Natalia's going to follow them there. Yeah. I'll move more towards so, the so, is there ice on the floor? Or is it just snow? It's snow everywhere. <laughs> These rocks, you can, as you sort of brush bits of the snow off, you can see ice underneath. Can I, can I like tap at it with my quarter staff? Like, it's super. Th is, I'm guessing this ice is super thick. Oh, yeah. Right? You, you yeah. tap it and nothing even, like, it doesn't really even make a dent. If we all go back oh. to the edge, Dergus can do fireball in the middle. But not if it's something that could help us. And we end up yeah, about that. Oh, I have it. Off. Yeah, I get Val, come here. Okay. You remember what I said about hiding myself? Yeah. I haven't got my fireball on. Oh, well. <laughs> that was a mistake, wasn't it? Well, I didn't know we were going to get sucked into the fucking fair wrap. <laughs> <laughs> well, you were right next to me when I bought the amulet. You could have stopped me. Hey, he looked silly enough for me. He looked fine. He didn't look any different than I did. Uh, I'll go to, to Val and ask, can't you just spit some fire? <laughs> no. Not that type of dragon. <laughs> uh, at this point, um, Vienna, Ert, and Blossom I need you all to make dexterity saving throws, please. Oh, God. That is a pass. A pass. Blossom? Uh, yeah, I'm doing that. Yeah, yeah. And a pass. Um, all three of you feel something whip through the snow underneath your feet. Oh, And I you manage like, to yeah. sort of... You manage to sort of jump. And you watch as this cord of thickly woven hair into a rope just sort of snake tries to snake around your feet. Ooh, and God. then when you manage to dodge it, it just sort of burrows back into the snow. Yeah, Vienna shouts, there's something under the snow. Oh, God. There's something under the water. Get on the rocks! Get on the rocks! 
Val's going to yeah, flap I... and just go about 15 feet up so he's off the ground. Okay. Oh, yeah, please. Vienna's going to try Vienna's and run like, to... Climb up this rock and yeah. push Gunther to follow. <laughs> on the same rock. <laughs> <laughs> you push Gunther down. Fuck you. Come on, Gunther. Get on the rock. You go on the rock? Yes, I guess. Oh dear. Yeah, every oh, single one of us. Rock is is oh, yeah, we right. all got Wait, it is the thing, isn't it? Oh. The thing is coming to get us? I don't know. That'd be oh, horrifying. This is this is this <laughs> okay. Um, so, Degris, Talia, and Balasar, um, hmm. I need um, you all to make um, dexterity saving throws, please. What about Earth and Fiona? They're on rocks too. Yeah, yeah, but we're together. <laughs> uh, no, there's a reason. Oh, you're on the wrong rock. Yeah. <laughs> uh, hey, Bellasar, we rock the same thing. If, if I, oh wait, I have to get hit. Never mind. I was going to try and use arcane deflection if I fail, but I have to get hit. Every time there's something underground and I move, I somehow get fucking bombed. No, so he gets hit oh, three as well. And Bellasar, you notice as underneath your feet, the stone suddenly becomes. Yeah. malleable and you manage yeah. to duck out the way as it sort of lunges up like silly putty but Degris you do not and it weaves a plus itself three, around you in a cocoon you get to plus three. three. Oh, okay so you do pass hey! <laughs> so you manage to dodge it as well do we um, get off the rock then? do we land on the ground? you watch as these like, come up in like spirals where you would have stood yeah. and... can we fall off then? yep yeah. But you all watch now as out of, the, like, peeking out of that rock uh, is a small, like, a meat, like, hunched humanoid uh, with, like, stony skin and long, wild manes of hair, currently carrying a, like, large club. It's me. Um, <laughs> and in, in one hand is the club, and in the other hand is the end of a rope. Um,. And it sort of looks at you and just sort of chuckles and then let, just lets out a yell in a language none of you understand. Uh, I need everyone to roll me initiative, please. <laughs> right, let's actually click my token this time when I roll initiative. Hey! Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, no. 22! Vienna <laughs> had a free just then. Yep, yeah, I rolled an at one, so... <laughs> oh dear. Let me roll it for the creature. I think that's the lowest Ert uh, has ever uh, rolled roll. for initiative. Oh, yeah. What? I rolled quite high for initiative, but I yeah, usually roll know. high for initiative and then Probably. miss for the rest of the things. Yeah, these guys got a couple of surprise rounds on you because of you guys being a bit silly. But... It's not silly. It's, we're in a clearing with rocks. What were we expected to do? Like, oh, God, there's monsters check. here. <laughs> <laughs> not a single one of you made a perception check. I was like, are they going to? I've rolled a stealth roll for these guys. Right, let me just... You don't think there's anything there. You're not going to look, are you? Let me queue up my... Oh, I get to go first, so instant then. sneak attack. Nice. Or do okay. I? Okay. Yes, I do get to go first. Hey, hey. Yeah, you do get to go first. Sneak so, attack! If I want to... Talia. You are first. I'm going to go, oh, shit! And then throw a fireball at it. Uh, by the way, it is on the other side of the rock. Oh. I'll, like, it has literally like come out. Yeah. By the way, I've got to Alistair, zoom down because my perspective has all changed. Yeah. Oh. Alistair, you watched it come out of the rock. It literally walked out. Oh, okay, okay, oh. okay, cool. I'm gonna move to here, and then I'm gonna fireball him in the face. Okay, go ahead. Uh, firebolt. Sorry, I don't have fireball. Yeah, fire, I was about to say. I'm pretty sure it's fireball. <laughs> oh, fucking that one. Never mind. It's bolts from the grave. Uh, yeah, that him. one misses. I'm yeah. afraid. All right, where's my bolts from the grave? Oh yeah, because bolts from the grave isn't in spells, because that would make sense. Where the fudge is it? Actions? On your attacks? No. <laughs> I don't know. It's, yeah, bonus it's, it's under attacks, yeah. Cool. There we go. Oh, that's a bit better. 20. That does indeed hit. You live in necrotic damage. Okay. And I shall... Uh, oh, I forgot to roll an initiative for someone. Uh, uh, right. I forgot to roll Gunter's initiative. Oh. oh. I'll move back up to... Because I've got 10 feet left. I'll move back up to here. 
And then I'll end my turn. I'll just move Gunter to the right place in the combat order. There we go. So, Balasar, it's now your turn. You're looking at this small creature that's just sort of walked out in front of you. What actually is it? You don't know. Mm. Weird looking. It looks like it looks like Mario. Yeah, that hits. <laughs> it's a me. It's a me. Both of those, <laughs> yeah. yeah, both of those hits. So Twenty-five and then thirty-six. <laughs> God, I need to nerf that sword. <laughs> and I'm also gonna use... Uh, what was it? Oh. Just, you ah, watch shield as, of fate. <laughs> you watch as Balasar just slash, slash across this thing's front and it sort of winces and stumbles back. And, but instead of bleeding, you see that it's got like cracks in its skin and there's like mud pouring out oh. almost. Oh, he's a, he's a creep. Pardon me. <laughs> Delightful. <Don't like> <laughs> Maybe I'm cursed. <laughs> I got belches and he's got farts. <laughs> right, so is that the end of your turn, Balasar? <laughs> got yep. your shield of faith on. Okay. Degris, mm -hmm. it's now your turn. <laughs> okay. Not. Oh, you haven't got it anyway. Just gonna suicide charge. All right. <laughs> uh, I'd like to green flame blade with my quarter staff. Yep, you are flanking, so you do get advantage on the attack roll. Twenty-one. Yeah, that Ooh. hits. Yeah, for seven bludgeoning and two fire. Yep. Okay. You just whack your uh, well your staff into it. My staff. Yep. And you uh. De and it's the flame sort of leap over this creature and it sort of winces a little but it it's starting to look a bit hurt but it's not too badly damaged at the that's, moment that's me done uh, how much that? okay it's gunter's turn gunter <laughs> is going to leap over the top of the rock land oh. there what pull a out baller. his <laughs> shadow <laughs> his Crazy shadow monster. staff and he is going to make his two quarter staff attacks. For now. Oh. Yep, that one first one hits, and the second one hits. Oh, hello. Mm -hmm. I'll be right back. 20 on, damage in total. Okay. And then he's going to make an unarmed strike as a bonus action. That hits. Four. Another five damage. So Gunter just goes to absolute town on this thing. Just push, push, and then just kicks it. And it sort of wimp it sort of it's looking pretty rough now, this single one. It's looking hurt. But now it is their turn. And this one here is going to turn to... Yeah, it's going to turn to you, Balasar. You you did the most damage to it. It's a bit upset. Okay, I'm back. What I missed? Uh, it's going to make two great him. club attacks. No. It's you. Uh, that is a 24 to hit. That hits. And the second one is a 27 to hit. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> right. Here comes the damage. Which is going to be nasty. Because of a certain thing. Uh, that is 23 bludgeoning damage from the first hit. Ooh. As this creature, you watch as it sort of slams both its feet into the ground, and you watch as the stone underneath it sort of draws up almost into its feet, and then it just swings with all its might, being stabilized by the ground underneath it, and just cracks into Balasar's ribs. And the second hit, uh, that does 16 bludgeoning damage. So that's. 39 in total. 
And then, oh. uh, from out of this rock, ah. and <laughs> this rock, the other two appear. Uh. And this one is going to climb up onto the top of this rock, and is going to make two great club attacks against you, Vienna. Uh, one's in that one. Uh, the other is a 21 to hit. That hits, but I am going to hellish rebuke that. You take... Oh, low roll. Uh, you only take 11 bludgeoning damage from that. Uh, just a quick one, Paddy. I'm not in the turn order. Oh, are you not? No, I rolled a okay, 19. What did you roll? 19. 19. Okay. I'll let Val do his turn, but yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll hellish rebuke when it, it's my Yeah, turn. yeah, do, do your hellish rebuke. Uh, now, because it's a reaction, so it happens immediately. Uh, and it's a dex save for the creature. Nice. What's the dex save against? DC 13. Oof, just passes. Aww. So half damage, so it only takes 13. I just noticed, yeah, Val should have gone before me. Yeah, sorry, he wasn't in the turn order. Yeah, I, I know, I just caught it. Anyway, uh, so we'll do Val's turn now before the last creature gets its turn. Yep. Look at that. Val's going to move in next to Dergus um, and uh, hit him with Mortimer's Lance. Okay, go ahead and roll your attacks. Uh, Miss. Fl flanking, so is, is it advantage from flanking? Uh, you are not flanking. Am I not? There is no one on the opposite no, side. There has to be someone in that square if you get flanking. Damn it. Alright, I'll just hit hit with my second attack anyway. Yep. Just hits. Okay. So I'm assuming it's the two handed, so eight. Yep. Yeah, it's still standing. Okie doke. And that's. Uh, I'm going to bonus action uh, sh uh, Hunter's Mark. Okay, on this one? Yep. Okay. Uh, right, this one's turn up here. Uh, he's going to make two Great Club attacks against Ert. That is a 15 to hit and a 22 to hit. Uh, only the second one hits. Okay, and that is... Fifteen bludgeoning damage to Ert. Okie dokie. And then as a bonus action, they are all going to do something. Uh, but they can't do anything else with it. Uh, actually, that one can. Uh, Ert needs to make me a dexterity saving throw, please. That's a pass. It's fine. Again, this rope bursts from the snow and tries to wrap around her, but she just manages to fend it off. Okay. Uh, Blossom, it's your turn. Yeah, uh, I'm probably going to go for an early uh, hybrid. Okay. And then get Hang to on. here. I will just give you control of that token. <laughs> there you go. Top. And then just slash it up. Okay, go for it. Uh, first one hits, second one does not. Fair enough. What my damage is. Really right. So, 16. 16, okay. Not bad. All right, is that the end of your turn? Yep. Okay, it's now Ert's turn. Okay, Ert's basically going to turn behind her um, mm -hmm. and do a level one guiding bolt against it. Okay. Uh, do, do these things count for my uh, whip's charges? Yeah, yeah, you do still get charges uh, from them. Just wasn't sure if they had to have proper blood or... There. No, it's in in this case they these though these creatures don't have proper blood, they are still alive. Mm -hmm. So they are they still do have like a natural living essence that the whip can draw out. 
Okay, so uh, guiding bolt. Yep. Oh. Does not hit. It sees it coming and just sort of it. You watch as it sort of partially ducks into the ground underneath it, into the earth, and then comes back up after the guiding bolt's gone overhead. It just gives this big toothy grin. I think that's pretty much all she can do. Okay. She can't do Shield of Faith, can she? Uh, she's not if she's cast Guiding Bolt. No. Okay. Vienna, it's your turn. Right. Um, Eldritch Blast is a ranged spell, isn't it? It is. So I can't hit him in the face with it because he's right in mine. Uh, you can try, but you'll be at disadvantage on the attack roll. I'm actually going to use one of my feats that I always forget about. I am packed of the blade, so I'm going to create a packed weapon. Okay. Packed Ooh. weapon. Yeah. What? What? What blade are you creating? It'll be a long sword. <laughs> okay. As you focus this almost crystalline ice long sword with. An iron hilt appears in your hand, and the core just stares at it and sort of goes, Sah! and you you actually hear it say, um, "You would you understand Sylvan?" No, I speak common and undercommon. Okay, you hear it actually say in undercommon, "Mother Knight." Vienna kind of looks and went. Kind of like, you recognise where this blade comes from? Yes, but it makes no difference. Hmm. <laughs> so, obviously because I've just created this weapon, I actually mm -hmm. haven't got it to hand. It appears in your hand. Yes, but I don't know what to roll. <laughs> oh, right. For an attack. Uh, so for a long sword... Longsword is a versatile weapon, I believe. Let me just look up the rules. Mm, helps if you. Surprise! It doesn't come up on D and D Beyond. If it's a pack weapon, it should come up in your in your thing. Hang on. Oh. Load, 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 load. Yeah, so it's a it's a versatile weapon. So you can use it one or two handed. Um, it, it so and it's based off of strength. So you will be proficient in it as it is a packed weapon. So it'll be to roll will be one d twenty plus your strength and your proficiency modifiers. So one d twenty plus. Um, well, I haven't got any strength, so, so plus three. <laughs> just plus three then. Mm -hmm. Good hit. That hits. And then it is, uh, if you've used one hand, it's 1d8. If you use two hands, it's 1d10. Plus your strength modifier, which is zero. I'll do the 1d10. Nah! <laughs> oh. you, you can tell you're not used to wielding this weapon, and it just sort of nicks its cheek, and just this line of brown blood leaks down. I tried, guys. <laughs> I about to say, I'm guessing that's the end of your turn. Yeah. Okay. Talia, it's now your turn. Uh, <clears throat> let's see. Let's see. I'm going to... Well, obviously, I can't go straight through Val and the Dergus, can I? You can. You can move through allies. You just can't move through enemies. Right, okay. So I will move to... Here. Mm -hmm. Is that far enough away for, for a spell? Yeah, you're Should outside of the five feet range, so okay, you are not cool. in close combat. I will try and uh, fireball, uh, fireball, oh. firebolt again. Sorry. However, <laughs> as you would have had to run past the creature within five It'll feet, get a of it does get an attack of opportunity against you. Yeah, that's fine. I'll take it. That's a natural twenty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking that. Say I take it, wouldn't I? After in that twenties. Okay, hit me while I got. 
That is 36 bludgeoning damage. Jesus Christ. As you oh. go to run past, it just screams I have great club health. at your no knee, way of and you just myself. hear a crunch. But you manage to keep sort of limping past. Wait, how, how far did I move? How much movement have I got left? What was I was... You were about was, here. I was there, wasn't I? Oh, yeah. Okay. So... So you have five feet, roughly. Uh, five feet. F uh, uh, no, I'll. I'll stay where I am. I don't want to be too far away from someone who can potentially heal me. Um, and yeah. That sounds like a hint. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm. I'm not in a good way. I am. I am. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I'll do my uh, my fire bolt. Nineteen. That does indeed hit. Cool. Hey! And you um, do get sneak attack. Yeah, I'll. I'll add my sneak attack to that. 2d6 or 4d6? 3d6. 3d6, yeah, at your current level. Oh, nice. Seven more. That is just enough to kill this creature. Oh, oh, your oh, fireball yes. hits it and it just sort of goes up in flame. Um, the rope in its hand just sort of falling limp to the ground. She's going to kind of limp forward uh, five feet. You've got feet. no movement left. I had five feet. I moved 25 feet. Oh, yeah, feet. you did. Sorry, yeah. I thought you'd right. moved. I've moved five feet closer, and I'm like, Val, healing, please. And I end my turn. And Val okay. runs in the opposite direction. Oh, it's now <laughs> Alifar, It's now your turn. <laughs> well, I'm going to... Or Balsar, I won't, you know, <laughs> argue. I'm, I'm going to use my uh, lay on hands and give myself 15 and Talia 15. <laughs> Okay. Oh, well, you can only you. heal one person oh. in an action. Yeah. So oh, oh then, I'll, uh, then I'll give yourself or her. How much okay, health then you I'll give her? Well, I'll, I'll give you thirty. You're gonna give me thirty? Okay. So you move yeah, up I'll... and you yeah place a hand I'll on do. Talia and you dump thirty hit points into her, which is your whole lay on hands pool. Thank you, darling. Yep. I appreciate it. Okay. Uh, any bonus action or mo more movement? Uh, well, no for now. <laughs> okay. I'll just stay here. <laughs> Valdizian, it's now your turn. Okay, um, seeing that this guy's gone, Val is going to go to back up Ert. Uh, okay. And moving there is exactly 30 feet. All right. Vienna just one on one this thing. <laughs> <laughs> well, everyone yep. runs in the opposite Like direction. a boss. <laughs> Uh, and he's going to try again with Mortimer. Yep. Go ahead. No. Your, the, the spear just sort of hits its skin and just skitters off in sparks. And he's going for it again. Okay. That one does hit. Okie doke. And can I pump a... Divine Smite. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm going to level 2, Divine Smite. Okay. Uh, so... so that is 4d6. No, 3d6. Yeah, no, 3d8. Okay. 3d8. So I'll do... <laughs> yep. Let's do the damage first, don't I? Yep. So two-handed spear damage. Oof, 13, okay. And 3d8, yep. Yep. So 24 in total. Okay. And can a I good chunk. move my uh, use my bonus action to move? I know I've lost uh, mark to him. Mark to him. Yep. Yeah. That's fine. Okay, Degris, it's your turn. I would like to run my little dwarven over to this point. Yep. And then it's use... difficult in this snow, but not too difficult. Oh, does it, does it affect my movement? Not yet. Okay, I'd like to go there. And then I would like to use my bonus to misty step behind this dude. Yeah, okay. And then I'll... Uh, and then I'll use my cantrip again, green fly blade with the core stuff. Okay, go for it. See if you hit. 19. That does indeed hit. A 3 and 8. Okay. So that is. Why did you go off on your own? <laughs> uh, oh yeah, I realised Green Flame Blade does make it a magical weapon. I just so went fine. to the nearest rock. 
Ah, oh, and I see it went well for you. I didn't know this pillock was under here. <laughs> uh, Gunter at this point is going to. He's got way more movement than all of you combined, so this is not going to be a problem. What a baller! <laughs> I mean, he's a monk. He's got 50 foot walking speed, so. Is a monk? Yep. Yeah. So, yeah, he just comes. He just sprints me. over to here. Um, and he is then. He sort of comes up next to Vienna and goes, Looked like you were having some trouble. So he is going to make two quarter staff strikes. Sounds like just me and Gunfoot dogging on her. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Chair sounded like a baby. Maybe it was. <laughs> Maybe it was. <laughs> get, get back in the cage. <laughs> <laughs> okay, stop. I'm trying to do math. No. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and Gunter is going to expend a key point to stunning strike. What a baller! Which is a DC. Best boy. Buddy, I bet he's got. I bet he's got those athletics and acrobatics checks, right? You know uh, it. <laughs> but it does succeed on the uh, the stunning strike, so does not get stunned, unfortunately. But Gunter is then going to spend a key point for Flurry of Blows. So two unarmed strikes. Both could be uh, bedroom positions, to be fair. Wow. Or actions. <laughs> <laughs> the other one hits. One, three, six, four. That's another five damage to it. Yeah. I'm going to say King of Innuendo. Just good, good to, it's just like... Like slamming fists and staff into this thing and just sort of going this thing won't go down and it is the end of his turn it is now the creature's turns uh, this one here is going to turn to you Blossom and is going to make two great club attacks uh, one of those is a nat one the other one is a 25 yep Second one hits. Yep. So you take uh, fourteen bludgeoning damage. Is it magical at all? Uh, don't think it is. So you do get so resistance to it. Yeah. Yeah, its weapon is not magical. It is just a great club. Okay, and then as a Bonus action. Uh, I need you to make a dexterity saving throw, please, Blossom. Sure. <coughs> Damn. Uh, and you get the plus three from Val oh, being yeah. nearby. So that is a save. Damn it. As again, the rope tries to snake around your feet and like snake up your body, but again, you just sort of push it away and manage to keep out of its grasp. Didn't you say the DC was 10 anyway? Uh, the DC on this is 13. Oh, right, sure. Wow, clutch. <laughs> so, yeah, you, you would have failed if Val hadn't been there. Mm -hmm. Right, the other <coughs> turn now. Uh, who is... You know what? He's going to cast a spell. Oh. He is going to... I'll kind turn... of spell it. Well, he turns to you, Dergris. I'll try and kind of spell it uh, anyway. <laughs> and he points at you with the great club and mutters something in uh, a tongue that you don't understand. Um, so counter spell is a third level spell, correct? Oh, I'm guessing I'm gonna have, we're gonna have to do a contest. Is that what we're doing? Uh, yeah. So yeah, you need to roll me a uh, d20 plus your intelligence modifier. Alrighty. Spell casting ability. Oh no! <laughs> no, you <laughs> fail to counterspell this spell, as right. you. So it is now concentrating on this spell, as you suddenly feel your feet begin 
to move. And you start effectively no. uh, doing the dance of the Nutcracker. <laughs> Pirouetting and plieing all your way through the whole routine. Do, do I not get a save on it? You must use... Nope. Uh, no, there is no save to this, actually. What? Oh, uh, <laughs> there honestly is no save. Okay, um, all right, let's go. You, let's so, go. on your next turn, you must use all your movement to dance without leaving its space. Um, and while you are affected by this spell, other creatures have advantage on attack rolls against you. Oh, damn. Dear Gris, why, do you st why are you always affected by bad magic? Listen and watch me dance, dear Drake. <laughs> and then you watch as uh, the creature grins and then literally jumps up and dives down into the ground, beginning to burrow. So Vienna and um, Gunter and Dergadus, you all get opportunity attacks. You're not res you're not stopped from attacking Dergadus. You just Have literally dance. are dancing in place. I, I was dance. actually imagining him pirouetting, just as I said magic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it becomes jet propelled. Is, uh, is this guy weak to sense? No. <laughs> okay. So we all get an opportunity attack, yeah? Yes. I will Gunter. try and use this long sword again. Yeah, Gunter is going to make his and hits. Uh, 1d20, yep. Yeah. Yep. Gunter. Is that plus done. 3? 11 damage to it. Uh, just ignore the fire of this if I hit. Yep. Hey. So yeah, you do hit. Okay. Uh, Vienna, you do not hit. Did ah. she get advantage because I'm here? Uh, yes, you both do get advantage actually because you're flanking oh. him. Well, there you are. Appreciate my dancing. <laughs> <laughs> I will say nothing. Eight. <laughs> Eight. So, I as, dance as, and slam. Uh, no. <laughs> as, your, uh, as your quarter staff hits, by mm. the way, uh, it doesn't look like it does as much damage as you expected. Okay. Whereas Gunter's did. And Vienna's, I'm guessing. No, Vienna didn't mm, even I, hit. I didn't hit him. Oh! Okay. Oh, yeah, okay. I failed. So, he has burrowed under the ground. Oh, he needs to make con checks for those two, though. Can, can I make a performance check to see how good my dancing is? Yep, he passes <laughs> those con checks, so he is still concentrating on the spell. So, yes. Uh, well... <laughs> uh, yeah, you can make my okay. performance check. Let's go! go. Uh, whilst he does that, Vienna, you need to make me a dexterity saving throw. Oh, God. Seven, okay. It's seven. not very good. Okay. Uh, yep, you pass, as again, the rope, this rope bursts out from the snow and tries to wrap around you, but you just sort of slash at it with the sword. It doesn't cut it, but it does knock it away. Okay. Okay, Blossom, <laughs> it's your turn. Uh, I will crimson right my blade. Okay. Uh, dealing three damage to myself. Yep. And then... Slash. Two fifteen. Both miss. Unfortunately, both times your blade just skitters across stone-like skin, bringing up sparks. Fair enough. Okay. End of your turn. Yep. Okay. Ert is. It's now Ert's turn. Okay. Ert is going to jump down, so she's there, not on the rock okay. anymore. Um, yep. And she is going to swing at it with her magic mace. Okay. Um. <coughs> That's a miss, unfortunately. Uh, uh, she's now flanking. flanking though, right? Yeah, flanking, so get advantage. I clicked it, I'm hoping it's going to do it. Just waiting. Which is really it did it twice. The, yeah, the 21 hits. Okay. That would have been the next roll, so that's fine. And this will be the damage. Six, okay. It's another right. odd one where I'm seeing a 5 and a 2 on screen. <laughs> roll, roll 20 is uh, so odd. Anything else for Ert? Uh, let's see, bonus action. Um, she's going to do Shield of Faith on herself. Yep. As a bonus action. Okay. And that'll be her. All right. Oh. 
Hang on, I'm sorting it. There we go. So, uh, Vienna, it's now your turn. Okay, so I can no longer see the... Um, yeah, the it has... You, you can see a hole where it went. But I can't see him, so... No. Can I see this guy? Uh, you would just be able to see him. Okay. I think I'm just going to Eldritch Blast him then. Okay, go for it. Eldritch Blast. Eldritch Blast. <laughs> no. <laughs> and neither of well, those hit, unfortunately. I am not a great asset to Armitate. I'm saying that now. <laughs> okay. So... Uh, that everything you go to move? No, I'm gonna stay put. Okay. Uh, Talia, it's now your turn. Hmm, let's see. I'm going to. Hmm. Oh. Hang on, my cat is in the way. Zero, fuck off. <laughs> 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 right, um, I'm going to. Uh, I guess I will move. 20 feet there. Mm -hmm. And I will aim a fireball at that one. Yeah, the rock's in the way. Oh, these okay. these rocks are a good sort of are they 10, higher 15 than feet tall. Right. Okay. Yeah. Uh, they do count as like full uh, cover when you're on the other side. I did, I did 25, didn't I? So I'm yeah. there, I guess. And. I mean, uh, you can bonus axe and dash. Yeah, but that You are a rogue. <clears throat> through uh so what does that get me an extra 30 feet yeah okay um... it's just really hard because you can't move when you're on the ruler thing and then trying to remember what square it is <laughs> Ten... there about there yeah that's fine yeah uh can i prepare an attack you can you've still got your action you can still attack wait i can yeah, as a rogue, oh. you use your bonus action as a cunning action to dash. Oh, rogues are cool. I'll firebolt him then. <laughs> <laughs> you played seven levels of rogue! <laughs> what is you, up? You know, it's like cunning <laughs> action, cool. hide, disengage, dash. Yeah, but I didn't know whether I thought that that just meant that you used it up and then you, you can, yeah, okay. No, just it's your bonus action. Okay, okay, okay. Right, anyway. Ooh, I rolled high too. 24. And that hits, and you do get sneak attack. Hey. Yay. Uh, da, 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 da. Nine plus five. So, 14. Okay. And I let my turn there. Okay. <laughs> Starting to look a bit wounded now. Balasar, it's now your turn. <sighs> well, I'm gonna... I'm gonna move to here, I think. Yeah, I'm gonna move there. Okay. Is it here? Yep. Perfect. And use my. Hmm. If I use my bread weapon. <laughs> it <laughs> does hit her. anyone in the way. <laughs> Which would be like three of us. Well, it's a straight line, okay. not a cone from Balasar. Well, sorry, no, I'm kidding. I'm gonna use my javelin. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, yep, yeah, go Jeez. ahead and roll. Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> you just watch this javelin go flying off into the trees. <laughs> Wait, you rolled damage, not the attack. Oh, yeah. Oh. I thought that was to hit, sorry. Yeah, so oh, did I for a sec. <laughs> yeah, no, still doesn't hit. At this okay. time, it does actually whistle through this creature's hair, though, but doesn't hit. <laughs> okay. I don't have to hit because it's a javelin, is it? You, you do have to hit. <laughs> no, 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 two hits. Oh, it, well, it was a 13, but you didn't hit. Oh, oh. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, Valdizian, it's your turn. Okay, Val is going to move one square over. 
So he's looking okay. down at him from above. He's going to grasp yep. his holy holy symbol, and he's going to cast Vow of Enmity, which gives me advantage against him for the next one oh. minute. Yep, okay, so he is now Vow of enmity uh, And as that was a bonus action, I am going to start whacking on him with Mortimer. Okay. So. That first one hits, but let's see if you get a crit. Oh, hang on. Let's do it again. I did yep. not. So, yeah. And then. 10 damage. damage from Mortimer's land. Uh, we'll take the 11, actually. That'll do. Okay. okay. I clicked the wrong button. And, um, yeah. and then I'm going to whack him again. Go for it. And your advantage roll. <clears throat> the 17 just hits. Okay. 13 more damage. And I'm going to. Okay. Can I pump a smite into that as well? You, yep, yep. You can pump a smite in whenever you want. Uh, so I'm going to do first level. Uh, which is what, 2d8? Two, 2d8, two yes. Yeah. Which is another 9 damage. Okay. Oh, I don't know why that's just rolled it twice, but... No, it didn't, but... Oh. Okay. It popped up on my screen okay. twice. <laughs> he is looking really rough now. Okay. Oh, I was I had Hunter's Mark on him as well, didn't I? Oh, yeah. Yeah, roll your Hunter's Mark damage. So that's 2d6. Yeah. 2d6. Destroy him! Destroy him! <laughs> another 7 damage. Mm, he's barely hanging on. He is wavering badly. Right. Degris. So I'm you are dancing. With... I am indeed. What does that actually mean? So I can I. I can't move. So you can't move. Mm -hmm. uh, as an action, you can try and make a wisdom saving throw to regain control of yourself. Right, but that's it. Can, can I still cast a fireball? Yes. In between my pirouettes. Yeah. <laughs> It'll just look fabulous. Though. Yeah, it, it will. It will it's, 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 it's fabulous. Not, All right, let's go. It's not taking away your mental faculties. It's just overridden. I just like, cannot your resist of your body. the urge to dance. <laughs> so <laughs> where are you casting this fireball? Uh, into Balasar. No. <laughs> into this cup. Okay, so you're going to get all the people around him. No, fireball, not fireball. I don't fireball. know. Fireball. Okay. The, now, pronunciate <laughs> better because I sorry. really <laughs> thought you said fireball. <laughs> sorry. Uh, sorry. Yeah, fireball. Don't fireball. you want to know how big the room is? No, I cast <laughs> fireball. <laughs> okay, go ahead, roll your attack. 19. Uh, that does indeed hit. 19. <laughs> oh. Yeah, you didn't even need that much damage. You just watch as this fireball hits it square between the eyes and there's just this like red hot hole through its head as it just sort of falls over. Ta-da! I'll end my turn! <laughs> okay. Uh, it's Gunter's turn. Gunter is going to hold, just hold an attack for when this creature pops back up. Okay, it's now the last creature's turn. It is going to pop back up behind you, Degris. Oh! <laughs> uh, burrowing back out of the ground. And as you are dancing, it has advantage on the attacks <laughs> against you. It does indeed. So. That is... That would be a 17... And a 27 to hit. Uh, I will use shield on the first. Okay, so the first one does not hit, but the then second the one, one still will. does. Yeah. And that is 21 bludgeoning damage. Alrighty. It comes out and just wham! Just, you get, you feel like your arm rapture under the hit of this great big club. Do I still dance? Oh yeah, you're still dancing. Just yeah, that's, that's what I'm... That's, it doesn't affect my horrible yeah. dancing. No, <laughs> Let's <not at> go! <laughs> uh, right. It is then going to, as a bonus action, Vienna, make a dexterity saving throw. Uh, 
Pit make even dares try to make me dance. Oh no, it's not trying to make you dance. Oh. That's a fail. The rope from before leaps up and wraps around you completely. You are grappled and restrained. Well, that's it's slightly again, annoying. No. Mm -hmm. So you have no movement on your next turn. Blossom, it's your turn. Yep, uh, full line agility to get twice speed. I figured as much. <laughs> zoom, zoom, zoom. We've got the zoomies. How far is that? Uh, you would have gone just then. Hang on. There, so that's 60 feet that you've gone. Uh, yeah, that's 15 feet away, right? Yeah. Uh, I believe... Is that within my range, or...? I, I would say it's just place. within your range. I mean, if it's not, I can use my bonus action to extend it anyway. Yeah. Uh, so, 18 and 27. Yep, they both hit. Uh, so 11, 12, and 10 lightning. 33 damage in total. Yikes! It is looking very rough now. It looks like it wished it just burrowed away. At the end of your turn? Uh, he, I might as well brand a castigation here. I don't think it's in range for it. But... Um, yeah, so... By the way, Degris, you are no longer dancing as its concentration on that spell drops. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Ert. It's Ert's turn. Okay, I'm just working this out a second. <laughs> uh, so that is... I think I can get everything. Right. Uh, is going to move to there and she's going to cast Mass Healing Word. Okay. What's uh, the range on that? 60 foot. 60 Ooh. foot. Let me have I'll a look for just you. Just swung it round and it looks like everybody. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you get everything. Uh, so she's going to do that. So everybody gets four. Thank you. And then she's also got her, her adapt healer, so she gets another D4 of healing. Yep. Sweet. Another one. So, so everyone gets five. Cheers. Yeah. Thank you. Not that's that's the end. grateful. <laughs> that the end of her turn? Am I in range? Yeah, I'm everyone in range, was man. in range. Six, oh, yeah. Everyone was. Yeah. Cool. Six, Thank you. Uh, that's pretty much all she's going to do, yeah. Okay. Vienna, you are grappled by hair. Yeah, there's not really much I can do because of that. Uh can I still even cast spells like Yeah, you are you are grappled. That's it. You just can't move. Okay, yeah, I'm just gonna try Eldritch blasting him then. Okay. Nope. Nope. <laughs> oh for goodness sake. Both both don't hit unfortunately. One just flying off into the trees, the other hitting its stone-like flesh and just dissipating. Sorry, these things have an AC of 17. Okay, uh, Talia, it's your turn. God, guess I'll move... Uh... there? Yep. Uh, that's within my eye line now, isn't it? Yes. Um, if I shoot a fireball, am I going to hit Vienna? You can hit me if you like. <laughs> I'm bloody useless. I'm just no. <laughs> no. No, no, you won't hit her. Okay. Um, I'll be like, uh, hop this hips, and I'll shoot a fireball. Okay. And I press the button. Oh, 22 to that hit. hits, and you don't even know, need to roll sneak attack. How do Woo! you want to do this? I'm just going to be like, well, as I said, hope this helps, and just like, I want it to just hit it right in the temple and just explode the other side of its head open. Yeah. It you, yeah. You all watch as this fireball hits one temple, 
burrows in and then just <laughs> out the other side and it just collapses to the floor. That's what you get! <laughs> uh, the rope around you, Vienna, Hot. goes slack and drops away. Oh, good. You okay over Question, there? is it daytime or nighttime? Uh, it is... Oh, you can't tell through the fog. <laughs> So uh, I can see. <laughs> can I try and figure out what this thing is? Like, I want to uh, look it over, unless it just disappears. Roll me a history check. Can I, like, go over to this one and, like, see what's got anything on it? Uh, you would recognize these as Corred. Corred. <laughs> which are Fey of the Earth. Um, they are normally quite strongly linked to earth and earth magics um they quite commonly are normally found either here in the feywild or on the elemental plane of earth and their bond with the earth gives them great strength yeah i think we felt that okay. i'm uh, rummaging on this one down here to see if you've got any yeah more. roll an investigation check I may as well rummage with mine. <laughs> Eight. <laughs> Other than it's great club made out of rock, nothing. Uh, uh, same for you, Degris. Yeah, uh, just... It's we wearing like a, a shift made out of basic levers, but otherwise it's not carrying anything on it. Hey, okay. But having defeated both of these, <laughs> uh, you watch as two more paths open. One to the south, and one to the east. As the trees groan and move aside as they had done before. I guess it's decision time again. I think this is the first time I have seen... Um, me and Reese talked about this before. I think this is the first time I've seen Blossom in, like, tiger form thing. Yeah. Like, wear form. I don't know about anyone else. So I'm going to be <laughs> no, a bit reserved no. about that. <laughs> Uh, you would have seen it before in the um, the Battle of Lotan. Yeah. You would have seen it then. Oh, did I? Yeah. <coughs> Does anybody need healing? I'm good. Yes. Like, <laughs> I'd, I'd rather take a short rest. Can we? <laughs> You're welcome to, if you want. I mean, it's an hour. It takes I mean, an hour for a short rest. Considering mm -hmm. every time yeah, we... Constitution save. Mm-hmm. Every time we t walk for a period of time, we have to take constitution checks, so... Would we oh, be okay. able to make a fire to keep us warm? Well, so why don't I just take the ten minutes to put the dome up and we rest in there for an hour? I think that might be wise. Because, I mean, I'm, like, I'm pretty... Uh, hopefully I'm correct. Basically, and let, like, we're good in the tent as far as, like, temperature and stuff are concerned. Like, it's dry, yeah, at least. The, temp the, temp the, the dome is temperature-controlled, light-controlled, um... <laughs> And no magic can pass in or out. I'll start doing that then. Okay. You take the 10 minutes and eventually the dome appears. The 10 foot diameter and within is not... It's not roasting, but it's pleasantly warm after the time you've spent out in the cold. A bit better. Right, is anyone else going to take a short rest? Because I am. I think all of us will then. Yeah, I, I don't know how that benefits me, but I'll take it anyway. <laughs> take uh, so dice. During a during a short rest, you can spend hit dice um, to regain health, and also for you, Vienna, as a warlock, you regain all your spell slots. Yes, it's helpful. Okay. And um, Dergris can use arcane recovery if he chooses to to regain. I will indeed. Uh, up to a third level spell slot. I'll take a third. Yeah. To be able to do that. Okay, so we're taking a short rest, yeah? Yes. Um, I don't need to use any hit dice. How do you roll hit dice on this again? On D and D Beyond. If you just short rest, when you click short rest, it'll say how many, it gives you your slots as to how many dice. You just tick them, and then take short rest, and it will uh, should roll your health. Right, I'm done with mine. I'm a, I'm back in full. I, I don't get to delay on hands back while I'll do I don't uh, that's a think long so. that's a long rest. long rest. Okay, yeah. Oh well at least I'm back. Yeah, and you and you did save Talia, so 
Yes, thank you. You're you still welcome. quite low, Bally. Uh, am I? No, I said, are you? Oh. Well, I should be back to full health. I don't know where is it. it isn't killing me. <laughs> well, a short rest doesn't take you back up to full health. Yeah. No, oh, you no? can spend... No, yeah, you, no, you have to can... roll hit dice. Oh, yeah, you can spend right. your hit dice. The, click the short rest and... um. Yeah, uh, tick, there should be like slots, look, look like spell slots, but there'll be your hit die. Just oh. how many then, you want to roll. And then you click roll hit die. And it will roll your hit die. Oh okay. wait, I should ask. Paddy, when I roll my hit dice, do I only get my con bonus once? Uh, you get your con bonus on each dice you roll. Okay, thank you. That felt like a very nicely balanced fight. I was I was happy with that. Yeah, that was good. We all had a thing. If if a particular drag didn't run off on our own, but I I am not saying that at all. Uh, just so you guys know, um, Coded, um, get two additional damage die to every weapon attack roll whilst they are on the ground. That's cool. If, if you guys had moved them above the ground even slightly, they would have only been doing one d8 bludgeoning. With their great clubs rather than 3d8. Cool. Right. After this short rest, where are we going? Where were the paths, Paddy? Sorry. So, you could go back to the clearing with the that had the statue, and there was a path to the east there. There is a path to the east in this clearing, and another path to the south. And am I still exhausted level one? You are, yes. Ah, yeah, it's a long, long rest to get rid of a level of exhaustion. Okay. <coughs> uh, maybe we should stick to the south, and then we we're not going to get too lost. Yeah, I suppose. Can uh, can I? I can't really do anything. Can I somehow like mark one of these rocks? I know we've been here. Uh, yeah. Somehow, um, yeah, I'm trying to figure that out. <laughs> I mean, for one thing, the the Coreds hair ropes are still there, if you want to use them. Oh, okay. I'll just make like a circle or something in the middle of here, yeah. so we've been here. Yeah. Okay. Right. So if you sir. Okay. So you guys begin heading down to the southern corridor. Moving through it, again, it is barren and cold and lifeless with just this cold breeze constantly blowing through it. Um, the trees on either side and the ever-present cold fog. When you get about uh, halfway down this corridor, can I ask who is in the lead? Nobody, apparently. I'll go first. <laughs> yeah, I'll go right behind if it matters. Alright. Uh, so I need both you, Val, and Degris, seeing as you're right behind, to both make me dexterity saving throws, please. Ooh, nice. That is, that is a pass, so Ooh, you're well, fine. And a pass, yeah. yeah. So you both, as you take a step forward, Val, you feel the snow underneath your feet shift. And begin to drop. And Degris, you see it happening and manage to just back up enough. And Val, you manage, you detect it fast enough to get your wings out and flap. And you watch as a 10 foot pit in the middle of this corridor opens up. Oh, and it God. would have been a 30 foot fall down into slick ice. Whoa! Yes, we're not going that way. Can I just. Oh, ask? no, you can still get round the edges of the pit. Oh, it's just in the very middle Ugh. of the corridor. With it being me, if I'd f I had fallen, even if I was falling, could I have activated my wings and just hovered, or would I have it just? It would have been. Flying? It would have been surprising. I would have had you make an acrobatics check to see if you managed. Okay, but there was a chance you might not have done. So you but said yeah. we can get around it. Yeah, it, it's the, fine. the the corridors themselves are about twenty feet in width. This is only taking up the center 20, ten feet. So you move around the edge of it and continue further down. 
uh, eventually coming up to another clearing after another 15 minutes walk. Uh, in this clearing, it looks no rocks, um, but in the center there is a single lit street lamp. Cast iron, uh, black in color, the light inside just a small flickering flame. Is it warm? You know, oh, come on. I mean, as you approach the in you, the street light, it's the lamp itself. Uh, the flame is about ten feet up off the floor. Oh. As you reach up, it's not really giving off any heat. But now you are closer, you can see uh, hanging from the street lamp are three books attached by small silver chains. You know. The last time I looked at books, things didn't go so well. But, uh. Oh, what the hell, I'll do it. You never know, it might oh, reverse right. the effects of your farting. <laughs> Maybe, who knows? Okay. Uh, as you pick up a book, um, it uh, you open it, and it has words inside, but it looks like bits are missing. Um, in this book, there are the words, O come, all ye, and then a blank space, and then joyful, more blank space. I know this one. Right, go on. O come, all ye, faithful, joyful and triumphant. Nothing happens. Oh, okay. Well, that's a is. Well, you watch as the flame in the lamp flickers as you speak. And grows about an inch. Oh God! It looks like it could grow more. I yeah. think we have to sing. You know the oh, um. No. <laughs> well, there's three other books, aren't there? Yeah. What can I pick? And can I hand? Oh, singing in Talia's voice. That's can good. I hang to the? Can I hand Talia the one book I had? Can I grab yeah. the other, or are they in sequence? Yeah. The the next one inside has the words "deck the halls," then a blank, then Holly, blank, la la. Yeah, oh, Christmas cards aren't exactly my strong suit. Deck the halls with it. <laughs> I genuinely don't know any of the lyrics. Yeah. I know them all because I'm working yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, deck the halls with bowels of holly. <laughs> tra -la 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 -la. <laughs> that one. Again, Nothing, tra -la -la. <laughs> Again, the flame grows about an inch, but doesn't grow fully. Alright, I'll give that uh... one over to um, Fiona. I'll okay. Oh, right, okay. The last book simply says Jingle Bells and then uh, blank space. Jingle Bells. Jingle that Bells jingle all the way. <laughs> <laughs> so, what do you do? I'll go first. What was mine? Oh, yeah. Dick the whole sweet bell. No, that oh. wasn't yours. Yours is the O oh, Come All Ye. Yeah, sorry. I forget which book I had. <laughs> which one was mine again? O oh, come all ye. Okay. O oh, come all ye faithful, joyful and triumphant. You watch as the flame grows larger and the book in your hand vanishes. Oh, that was horrible. That was pretty good. <laughs> I think I have a terrible singing voice. Yeah. Vienna kind of sighs. Not singing an accent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Vienna kind of sighs, looks at the book, and goes, "I hate singing, but on this yeah. occasion." <laughs> so yeah, she goes, "Deck the halls with bells of holly, tra la 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 la." The flame <laughs> grows larger, and the book <laughs> vanishes. Gunter goes, "That wasn't too bad." <laughs> Good singing voice, Vienna. Yeah. <laughs> oh god. And now for the maestro. Uh, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what you did to ride in a one horse open sleigh. The, the flame grows a bit larger, shrinks a bit, and then grows again. Um, the book doesn't vanish. But new words appear saying, Don't you know a funnier version? Hmm. Ah! I do. <laughs> go, go, I, is it the one with Santa smells or is it somewhere else? 
Oh, I don't know the Santa smell one. <laughs> I know the Batman smells, right? Yeah, yeah, the Batman smells. Jingle bells, jingle bells. No, jingle bells, Batman smells. Robin ran away. I laid an egg. Did he? Yeah. Robin <laughs> laid an egg. Batman be lost his way on the Joker God. Wait, you know what? You do it! <laughs> <laughs> Who's Batman anyway? <laughs> <laughs> Who's Robin? That's not some compatriot of yours. <laughs> I'll give Tali the book. Oh, okay. Christ. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Uh, I think this is how it goes. Um, Jingle bells. Shut up, man. You want me to sing or not? <laughs> I'll sing it with you. Okay. Well, then I'll forget, but go on. Jingle bells, Batman smells. I like The Batmobile lost their wheel and the Joker got their way. <clears throat> hey. The book glows. Hey. <laughs> and instead of vanishing, Morphs into a greater healing potion. Oh my word! Now that's a good <laughs> gift. <laughs> and a single corridor leading off to the east appears out of this clearing. Ooh, topful. Guess we're going that way then. Well, yes. well done, singing troop. <laughs> Let's hope this never happens again. Let's hope it does. Bet oh. you guys are missing Rawan now. Should have yep. played the loot and everything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay. Oh. So, continuing along the eastern corridor, um, no surprises leap out at you, and this one is shorter, only a ten minute walk. And as you draw to the end, you can see lights through the fog. And coming out into this same clearing as before, in the center of it is a log cabin. Oh. Similar to like one you would see on a Christmas card. Um, snow on the roof, a small chimney with smoke coming out of it, steps leading up to the front door. That looks inviting. Too inviting. A yeah, but that weird witch could be in there. A wreath on the door, um, which to you, Vienna, uh, make me a perception check. Oh, this is where I fail dramatically, and I know nothing. Well, it's the 15, because you are at uh, not at disadvantage. Yeah. Um, you do see, uh, woven into this uh, reef, um, iron teeth. Vienna instantly looks at that and goes... I think it's worth paying a visit. What is it with all these reefs everywhere? <laughs> I know, it's a bit odd. Vienna actually just starts walking towards the door. Wait, I thought okay. you lived in my hut. You should know about the reefs. I don't know about reefs. You never really did that in Doranar, so... Uh, Vienna, as you reach the door, it opens by itself. And you can see inside, um, it's it's not huge. Uh, it's probably only 15 foot by 15 foot, but there are comfy hammocks lined with furs, uh, food, uh, a lit fireplace, a stove. Um, there is a number of chests, and a. Uh, when the others reach here, they won't see this, but you, Vienna, can see. Uh, across from this door is another door. Hmm. How many chests did you see? Sorry, how many chests were there? There looks to be two. I'm having a guess what Tally is doing right now, but I'm... <laughs> <laughs> I'm not managing. No, I'll go to the third. Come, Balasar. <laughs> All right. <laughs> it's it's very simple fare. It's not anything special. It's sort of like a like a venison stew, just mm. wa like warm and filling. Wait, wait, Balasa. Let me take ten minutes to see if it's magical. Okay. okay. Can you trust Balasa to wait ten minutes? <laughs> I'll, I'll try. <laughs> well, she has been eating her cured meats the whole way. So. Uh, yeah. I'll, I'll take. I don't know what everyone else is doing, but I'm going to begin the ten minutes. Yeah. Okay. You begin the ten minute cast. To everyone else, I'm. I look like I'm looking at a wall. Yes. Are you alright? 
Yeah, wondering what's through this door. What door? You can't see it? No. And Vienna goes and reaches for the door handle. Okay. The door opens easily to your touch. And within you can see just at the like the firelight spills in just enough to reveal the very edge of a pair of legs wrapped in black robes sat in a rocking chair and a smile glints in the darkness from the firelight of iron teeth can talia see that i've opened no it? one else can see this they can see they literally like, they don't even it. see you open a door. They've seen you walk up and stand next to a wall currently. Oh. I think Vienna's lost it. <laughs> it's a cold. It's cabin fever. <laughs> yeah, Vienna approaches and I'm guessing she yeah. recognizes her. Yeah. Oh, For the rest of you, you don't even recognize Vienna has vanished. For, to the rest of you, it looks like Vienna has just turned and is now leant against the wall. As you step inside, Vienna, the door closes behind you, and these small, green, flickering flames appear, just sort of giving enough light to see by, as the figure in the rocking chair just begins to rock slowly. She's called the Night Mother, isn't she? Yes, mo she Mother Night, 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 night Mother. mother. Sorry. <laughs> so yeah, Vienna approaches her and says, "It's good to see you in your being, Mother Night." <laughs> not in my being, dear. This is merely a projection. This is merely me extending some of my power into. The rather tawdry domain of Granny Cold Heart. I can't actively help you, but giving you and your friends a place to rest seemed fair. So there's nothing you can do to aid us out of here? It's politics, my dear. I'm assuming you and the Granny don't get on then. of the Winter Court. We are directly affiliated. Mm, Thus I understand. it would be. Also, you must understand the way we Fey work, especially us Winter Fey. To take direct action is seen as brutish effort of yes. last resort. We play games through representative spores. And this is, I believe, what has happened to you, my dear. I believe another arch fay is it me through you. Hmm. So they're using me to Chosen get... Chosen my disciple poorly. Exactly. But they are using Granny Coltar as their instrument. Thus, not in... Not showing their own hand. Not dirtying their own dagger. It's a rather clever little plot. I see. So, if Granny was dealt with, you'd have no quarrel? <laughs> Not at all. In fact, it would merely raise my standings among the Fey, for I have chosen well with my disciple. If she can defeat Hag... With my companions, I hope to make that true. And she kind of bows that is, her head. That is, that is only the way of the Winter Court. Make friends. Make allies. Use people. Make connections. That is the way we work. 
We don't fight directly if we can help it. Hmm. Yes, we are more manipulative than the Summer Cult. But we are still... Cold. Calculating. She... Vienna kind of listens and she goes... Are you suggesting I stay with my companions here? Do you think this is the she way for me? She sort of me? leans forward and goes, I would suggest, my dear, there is always strength in number, and you have found yourself in a group of people with extraordinary talent, some already being watched by deity, some being watched by other beings, some only just beginning to grasp the cusp of their power. What's the harm in earning a few favors? Hmm? Vienna kind of ponders on this. I understand. Good. And she she she's about to turn and leave before she goes. Are we at least on the right track to confronting the granny? She sort of leans back and goes. That is up to you, my dear. I will tell you this. Granny Coldheart, the center of this domain. But if you cleared the whole domain, it would look better on me. But I leave that choice up to you. Now go. Rejoin your companions. Make good the gifts I have managed to give you. She bows her head and goes for the door again. Okay. Door opens and you return back through the image of Vienna leaning against the wall, sort of if anyone was paying attention to it, it you barely notice a flicker as it now overlaps Vienna herself and Vienna takes over where it was. Vienna, the door is now gone. Vienna turns back to Talia and said, That door. <laughs> what door? What? You've just been leaning against the wall for the last ten minutes. Oh. <laughs> yeah, she goes to uh, look at where the door uh, was and it's like, yeah. ah. By this point, Degas, you have finished um, Detect Magic. <laughs> just in time for it to go! <laughs> um, looking around, um, nothing in this log cabin is magical other than the innate magic of the Feywild making it up. Food's good, Bo, so... Hmm. is gonna go over to the beds. You said they were lined with fur, yes? Yes, all the hammocks she's, are lined with gonna, furs. She's going to add the furs to her cloak. Uh, well, before you do that, Gunther throws open one of the chests and goes, I, I, I wouldn't! Um, he points into the chest and there is eight... Uh, outfits of thick winter clothing, which Ooh. will combat oh, the cold. Yeah. Oh god, I'm not drawing your outfits. Oh yeah. <laughs> you, you don't have to, but... <laughs> Fiona oh, yeah. kind of joins the rest of the crowd and kind of announces, you can thank Mother Knight for these gifts. Knight? Who's that? My arch fay. Yeah, what is it? Fay. <laughs> yeah, what? No, I know what a fay is, but what's Mother Knight? I'm not 100% sure. Is she this I mean. granny, granny so, cold witch? Walk, right? <laughs> so you you would know basically that um, there are two courts of fae. There is yeah. the Seely Fae and the Unseely Fae, otherwise known as the Summer and Winter Court. Unseely um, Winter Court. In each court, mm. there are effectively three main female figures. There is the lady, which is the queen-to-be. The queen in training, if you must. Then there is the queen, uh, who is the current ruler of the court. And then there is the mother, the queen that was. This is the queen who has reached the height of her powers and has stepped aside for the next queen. Mother Night is the mother of winter. She, oh. is, she is the previous queen of winter. 
she is no longer directly involved in the court, but she is still a being of great power and great responsibility amongst the Winter Fae. I'll explain most of that. <laughs> oh, so she's your patron. Yes. Cool. And she. <laughs> My training people are always good. Yeah, nice pun. <laughs> uh, Vienna, as she says, matronly people are always good. You remember some of the stories you've heard about Mother Knight. As she is, she is the basis for every story with a wicked old witch. She yeah. is the basis for the stories of old women shoving children into ovens. She <laughs> is. She is the dark side to every fairy tale that teaches the lessons that need to be taught. So though she is motherly, she is not motherly. She teaches yeah. lessons, but she teaches them harshly. I keep that information to myself. Um. <laughs> I will take the winter clothes from the chest and put them on. Yep. Yeah, same. Okay. So they Vienna are. also, while we're all in here, she does explain the goings on while she went through the door. Okay. Oh, well, most of it, mainly the only really the information about uh, Granny. Granny being a cat's paw for a greater. Yeah, form. that's the bit I explain. Well, hopefully it's a good thing that. Uh, do do she sorry. Sorry, do you explain the thing about clearing the whole thing or not? Yeah, I think I will mention that. I'll s s say her exact words about the granny being the centre of the domain, but it'll be good if we can clear the domain. Yeah, sorry, that was a bit of, like, I was thinking, right, do we know that, yeah. do we not? But, yeah. So, I guess she wants us to stay the night? And recoup, I guess? Well, she didn't specify, but if there's yeah. beds, she, it she makes She basically sense. hinted that she has made this place as somewhere for you guys to rest and have these items as basically the most she can give you without being directly involved. You get the feeling that this log cabin will remain here as long as you are here in this domain. So you can always come back here if you need to. Wait, I just I just realized something about this in. Yep. You know that dagger you got? Yep. Didn't it say you could go between planes if you cut into it? Uh, yeah, but you have to be attuned to it, and I haven't attuned to it. It was just one of those other things that, like, Annette said. <laughs> but... We could, but it would ruin the fun. Yeah, okay. Oh, no, I've already planned for that. Go ahead. Yeah. No, I was just saying. I don't want to be cursed again. No, I remember, <laughs> I remember yes, you this. question, do you feel lucky, punk? Hey, I'm going to go <laughs> after a bit of some food. <laughs> okay. Do, do these winter clothes look sick? Even... Uh, the winter clothes are like they're mainly like um, fur and cloaks. They're like they're like fur coats and cloaks yeah. and hats mean, like, cloaks and gloves and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Oh, how's the hood going to work with my horns? Uh, yours is that you can see that as you put it on, just two holes appear in the fur. Oh, works. Yeah, this is sick. <laughs> oh wait, you know with my with my uh... opens the second chest and goes. Ah, so those would be useful. And picks out um, five healing potions. Big one. Nice. Was it just standard healing, yeah? Just standard healing potions, yes. I'll leave them to whoever wants them. I don't want any, is what I mean. Um, I think it's why needs all of them. Mm, maybe I'll take far too often. Uh, yeah, I'll take two then. Ah, okay. because uh, oh. my... Uh, my magic sight thing. I assume that's still up. Are the cloaks magical and stuff, or is it just they're warm? No, they are just standard winter gear. Oh, right. Okay. I'll put them on and then I'll go to bed. If okay. that's what we're doing. Are we taking a long rest or a short one? <laughs> hey, you say that as I'm clawing into the bed. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh. night, everyone. <laughs> Every, everyone's still up eating and you're just like, right, night, guys. Right, turn that light off. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the, the only light in here is the firelight from the fireplace. Turn that thing off. 
No, let me a joke. No, he's keeping us warm. <laughs> oh, I'm snuggling into my bed. I leave my mask on. The yeah. furs are soft, comfortable, and warm. I want to snuggle into Gunther, but obviously yeah. not sleep because I don't. Gunther's, Gunther's put two hammocks together and is laid in it and is drifting off to sleep whilst holding you. Oh. I'm going to eat and sleep at the same at the same time, just sleep eating. Then, since that before them, she just. Oh, yeah. um, just um, sleeping um, next to this pile of food, which one hand just occasionally reaches out. Like, oh. okay. Some people you can guys... take master pieces, Balasar can um, <laughs> while sleeping. So, you guys complete a long rest, uh, safe in this warm, cozy cabin. <clears throat> Although, as you, <coughs> you awaken and get ready to move again, Looking out, you can't even tell if time has passed. It is still foggy, it is still dark, it is still snow covered out there. Q say the uh hit dice we get <laughs> half our level back, right? Yep, you get half the hit dice you spent back and all your spell levels back, and your lay on hands pulls back. Cool, and the flask weird. And the flask, we, well, no, the flask. Um, I believe the flask regenerates at a dawn. Does it? Okay. I uh, will double check. Do just... I lose my exhaustion now? You do okay. lose one level of exhaustion. Sweet. Uh, where is How that? Is Bottle of silence. So does the great the number on your like last roll, Steph? I'm assuming it's in grey because uh... of exhaustion. Oh, I never put a limit on the um, once per so, day. No, no, no it's per day. day. Green is a yeah, red, no, red is a fail. So. So, no, I got the disadvantage because I can't see during sunlight. Ah, oh, that's not. It's not sunlight. It's not relevant. So, but yeah, no. Um, Val, you get the bottle out. It has not regenerated. Okay. Okay. So, as you, I'll, I'll eat in that. I guess we eat before we go. Uh, yeah, the, the venison stew has not gone down in level. Wow. Well, and might as well the, take some of that. <laughs> and the fire has not needed any extra wood whilst you've been here. It has just kept burning. Oh, this is useful. You know, for a mother of night or winter or whatever, she She's does keep, like to keep us warm. Hmm. And it just smirks and carries on with her thoughts. <laughs> As you guys step back out into the clearing itself, uh, you can see that there is the path you had come from, from the west, another path leading east, and a path leading north. Three paths now. Oh. Hit there. Which, are any of these paths ones we've already been? To? You came from the west. Right. Did so we come from the west? I thought there's, we went there's south. There's choices or two? Yeah. I was going to say, you, I thought we'd come so from So you guys north. started... Oh, it turns... So yeah, it, so you guys from the first clearing you went sort of southwest, south southwest. Then from the clearing with the Corred, you went south southeast, and then mm -hmm. you went east. Oh yeah, from the lamp. Oh, did we? From the lamp, yeah. Yeah. Oh, the lamp, yeah. of course. Yeah. So, so how many choices do we have? If we so you have north or been already. north or north north east sort of direction. Uh, well, the uh, Mother Night or Winter or whatever it was mentioned that the uh, the Hag would be in the centre, right? Mm -hmm. If that's literal, then that would be North. So yeah, if we okay. want to do yes. all of it, we should go... Oh, well, we could either go with her first or go That's east. better um, logic than... Uh... Assuming this is a, a literal place and there's no magic tomfoolery about. It's a magic tomfoolery everywhere, Blossom. That's what I check. That is worth a try. <laughs> yeah, so, but we don't, like Blossom said, if this place is to stay in by Granny Cold, whatever, then we need to find it may her. go if she dies. Yes, so we need to find her. And then we can get back. Yeah, yeah but... we want to get to the centre, yes? Vienna yeah, but... kind of turns to everyone and says, I feel like it's my choice and I would like to get out of here. Right, okay. I agree, yes. 
So, so north. Let's Presumably. try north. Okay. Onward. Oh my god, stop making noises. Okay, so you <laughs> head... What I do. No, my, not you, my, my stomach <laughs> keeps making weird noises. I'm like, stop. So you <laughs> head along the northern trail. Um, this trail is rather short, only taking you about five to ten minutes to traverse. And you come into a new clearing. Oh, lovely. Oh, a tree. Three trees. A tree. We just find the right bit of my. Oh, I like the trees them. somehow. Why don't you go try and talk to it or something? What? Oh no, go look at it. Mm. What time I went to look at something I got. Mm, well, mm. Oh, yeah. As you guys sort of stand around in the clearing, um, see who they're going to target. I'm at the back. Okay. Uh, Talia, <laughs> you <laughs> feel something slap your ass. What the? Gunter? Now's not the time. That, 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 that wasn't me. Oh, slap my ass. I mean, I very much enjoy your ass, but. Uh... <laughs> Something slapped my bottom. Uh, yeah, yeah, Deg sure. <laughs> Degris, your face mask is pulled off your face. Oh no. And Fair. is now Something in isn't... one of the bushes nearby. I'm gonna run after it. <laughs> As you run after it, it zooms off. Get back here! I need it! Extremely quickly. Oh, uh, I guess I don't. About. I guess I stop them. Okay. Um, Val, um, you feel something run up your tail and under your clothes. Uh, I kind of start patting myself and trying to get rid of it, whatever it is. It, you can just feel something just like, like going around and around your body, just underneath your clothes, constantly dodging your hands. And then it's gone. Something mischievous about. I mean, we are in the fair wild. Come out, you devious fool! You uh, want to play? Degris, a um, lump of snow hits you in the face. <laughs> son of a. <laughs> I'm gonna throw. I'm gonna randomly throw a fireball in whatever direction it comes from. Like I don't expect to hear anything. Yeah. But, like... Just the fireball flies off and hits a patch of snow and just hisses. Talia leans down and like makes a snowball and throws it at Balsar. <laughs> okay. Roll roll a D twenty. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, oh, yeah. I rolled, I rolled the same. I didn't mean to mail twice, but that doesn't matter. That's fine. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that hits you, Balasar, so you get hit. Dead, dead in the face by a snowball. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna I'm going to make one as well, but like huge, like <laughs> <laughs> as big as can, I can make it and throw it at the way. <laughs> Uncanny dodge. <laughs> that only halves it. That's the <laughs> still hit. Uh, roll the hit then, Balasa. Roll the d20. d20. Oh, damn it. No, you missed. <laughs> nice try. You can't hit me. Uh, Vienna. <laughs> yeah. Um, your belt goes flying off. <laughs> <laughs> and your you have to grab the hem of your uh, pants to stop them falling as your belt like goes up into one of the trees and is hung over a branch. <laughs> really? <laughs> you think that's funny? <laughs> Gunter, Gunter's just sort of grinning and and then he sort of blinks and looks down and his um, amulet that you had given him, Talia, is gone. And he sees it sort of zooming across the snow and you just see his face go dark. Oh, and he just yeah. shadow steps and snatches it and he's just like, no, mine! Val's going to fly up and try and get the belts back for Vienna. <laughs> I think something wants to play with us. As you fly up to it, the belt vanishes and is now in the other tree. Okay. I'm, I'm gonna right. keep a tight grip on my whip. <laughs> I don't want that going anywhere. 
<laughs> so right. Vienna kind of like, whilst holding her trousers, kind of walks to the center. Is like, all right, if you want to play, we've got to set some rules. Uh, <laughs> rules. Right. It's at this point that they're going to get their surprise round. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> so. Let's start with Vienna. Seeing as you walked right into the middle, one of them is going to target you. Oh, which tree was I in, by the way? Uh, you would be in the southern tree. Oh, Queenie's not here. I'll just move her. Oh, right. Shall I move myself to the middle? So like if there. you don't mind. About there. Right, so... So that is a 16, a 19, and an 18 to hit. Yeah, they all hit. <laughs> they all hit, okay. So you take... I'm waiting. <laughs> on, I'm doing maths. 23 <laughs> piercing damage as three tiny daggers Oh, okay, just maybe they don't want to play. Fuck. Route into your chest. <laughs> this just went dark. Hellish rebuke. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. So, yeah. So, yeah, hellish rebuke. What is the uh, the saving throw against that? It's dex, 13. isn't it? Yeah, dexterity save. Yeah, that is a definite save. And they have evasion, so they take no damage. What? <laughs> uh, that's why I can't uh, wait. Seven. <laughs> Still surprise round, so uh three another one is going to make three dagger attacks against Talia. Oh, I played. Come on. That is a Nat 20. Oh it's always a Nat 20 when it hits me! A 24 yeah, and a 17. Uh, the... Yeah, they all hit. So you take for the Nat 20. Take dead. <laughs> no silence. Tell you me. You take twenty-seven piercing damage in total. Fuck my life. <laughs> it's a good thing you picked up two of those oh, healing I potions. Healing <laughs> potions, yeah. Can I? Oh, it's not gonna wait, I can't take it. Uh, another one is going to throw three daggers at Ert. That is an 11 to hit, 16 to hit, and a 24 to hit. Only two hit. Okay. And Ert takes 19 piercing damage. Okay. And the you guys don't know how to play. last one is going to make three dagger attacks against Balasar. Uh, that is a 20 to hit, not natural, a 19, and a 16. Two of them hit. Two hit, okay. That is... Nine... 17 points of piercing damage. As you can now all see the creatures that have been attacking you as they appear standing still for the briefest of moments, which is completely outside of their normal way of acting. Oh, shit, are they quicklings? They are indeed quicklings. Oh, god damn it. They're going to be impossible to bloody hit. As they chuckle and point at you and laugh. <laughs> um, I need everyone to roll me initiative, please. I roll oh, yeah. you the initiative, right? Click initiative. Oh, it didn't roll so good this time. Eight. No. no. This is really annoying. Oh, they rolled, they rolled worse. Well, they rolled that one. No, they rolled a two. Oh, rolled the same as me. They still get an eight. <laughs> oh, right. Well, I guess I'd be going before Val, considering I have higher decks. And the quicklings will be going before you. <laughs> yeah. What's your decks? Everyone? Oh, I need to roll one for Gunter. Talia, what's your decks? My dexterity is 17 plus 3. Same as mine. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. Can I just go first? <laughs> nah. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> right, fine. 
Okay, you go first. Okay, is that everyone on the initiative tracker? Just to check. Yeah, put Val ahead of me. Right, hang on. Descending. Quickly wants to be... Wait, oh. what's... That does does right. Val have the same dex as you? Yep. Supposedly. Interesting. Apparently he has 17 dex. What a baller. Do you need 17 dex for a... Oh, by the way, everyone who drank Abyss Ale, you no longer have your temporary HP points. Yeah, yeah. Well, I figured oh, that. I, I yeah, yeah. 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 Just, just you're all aware. Yeah. yeah. So, at the top of the round, we have Blossom. Yeah, so these things are currently stationary. Uh, they are currently stationary, yes. Oh, However, definitely. even stationary, they are blurred. Mm -hmm. They are like constantly moving <laughs> so fast, their forms are blurry. I can't wait to go, Fanny. I really can't. <laughs> <laughs> Please tell me you have slow prepared. I'm thinking oh. he has web prepared. Uh. I have that somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hoping it'll work. Well, I don't think I can actually get in range. That's about as far as I can go, so... Okay. Uh, Alright. I will, uh... Crimson Light Mob later. there. Okay. Alright. Ert, you're up. Uh, Ert is going to... Let's have a look at the distance. She can move. Uh, she's going to move in to there, and she's doing Spirit Guardians. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, angelic That form. is a 20-foot aura. Yeah. <sighs> you all watch as the tiny little angelic Erts appear, <laughs> flying around Ert. Okay. Anything else, or is that her turn? That's her turn. Okay, Degris. I'm gonna rock got? my little legs. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, I'll go right next to her. Yep. I want to try. I cut. I wouldn't know either way, so it doesn't matter. I'm gonna try to get all the little fairy things inside a 30 foot cube for hypnotic pattern, please. Oh, oh, oh. okay. Oh, nice. Hypnotic pattern, okay. So, 30 foot cube is 10, Ooh. 30. Yeah. Will that work? About that. Yeah, so it'll and go then... on and then flash and then it'll go off again. But hopefully I can get a few of them. You, you can, can fit them all in a 30 foot cube. Beautiful! Uh, let me just check, what's this say? Wisdom save with Wisdom 14. Save. Okay, 14. One passes. No. Oh. One fails. Yes. One passes. No. Oh. One fails. Yes. What? <laughs> yes, no. Yes. So these two are charmed, if I remember correctly. Uh, they have a yeah, speed. they have a speed of zero and they incapacitated. Yep. So. Does it count as charm? Yeah, don't they say? So we should not attack those ones. Well, I don't know. They are not immune to the charm effect. Thank the gods. <laughs> say that was they my. Are... That, I was worried about that. The <laughs> two that are now incapacitated, you can see the blurred way of their standing still has stopped, and they are now just stood. Success. Right, I'm done. Right. Okay. Oh. Now Gunter's turn. Go, baby. Go there, he... <laughs> he is going to step of the wind as a bonus action to get right over to here. He is then going to uh, twist his ring oh, yeah. and create his three shadow copies. Double the fun! Well, triple the fun. That's, that's disturbing the way he's doing that for a game. <laughs> <laughs> I told you. How do you think you came Shadow Clone game? No Jitsu. Exactly. Shadow Clone No Jitsu! <laughs> Just got to make sure they've got the right amount of health for these Shadow Clones. I feel bad for this quickly. Holy hell. <laughs> <laughs> well, the clones can't do anything this turn. Uh, well, yeah, still. 
And then uh, Gunter is going to use a key point for his bonus action to do two unarmed strikes against the Quickling. Which, because it is incapacitated, uh, if he hits, it's an auto crit. But then they're not charmed. Yeah. Yeah, then it fades, but it's probably worth it for the. He's going to take off a shoe and splat it onto the floor. <laughs> Uh, he does have advantage on the attack rolls, so... Oh, does he not? Because it's incapacitated, it, it literally can't move. <laughs> but yeah, so they both hit, so they're both... Oh, did he say he did have advantage? Yes, he said he like, yeah. had advantage because they're not moving. Yeah. I thought he said he doesn't have advantage. No, no, he yeah. has advantage. I thought because they were small, then they had disadvantage. No, no, no. If, they, if, they were, if they were able to move, their blurred mm. movement would cause disadvantage. Yeah. Yeah, so for us, the ones that aren't blurred, uh, and aren't charmed, sorry, it would be disadvantaged. I really love Hypnotic Pattern. I don't get to use it's it useful. a lot, but... I've used it a few times in Baldur's Gate, it's useful for controlling a fight. So, yeah, so Gunter just smacks out twice with his um, fists, uh, hitting this small creature both times in the chest, and you just hear something crack. Uh, it is not dead, and it snaps out of its incapacitation, but it is looking very badly hurt. Yay. It is now the Quickling's turns. This one is going to... Um, Holy hell, look fast. fast. <laughs> die by a bloody Quickling. Did that go through my circle? No, it went round. Just so you're aware, Quicklings have 120 feet of movement speed. What I figured with the wow. speed that they live their lives in. Short-lived, yeah. but fucking insane. That one can't move. This one is <coughs> uh, not going to move just because it doesn't want to. It, it really doesn't want to right now. Um, so, the one near Talia, three thrown dagger attacks against you. I will be dead if any of those hit. Well, unconscious. Uh, Relax. So, that is a 16. A, uh, a 12 Miss And a 14 Miss So one hits One hit still potentially You take 9 piercing damage Eep. Uh, This one over here is going to make 3 dagger attacks against you, Degris Oh no uh, Oh god, that was terrible There's a 16 a 12 and an 11. I'll arcane deflect so it goes up to 17, but next turn I can't use anything above a cantrip. Okay. And the one currently engaged with Gunter is going to make free melee dagger attacks against him. Uh, only one of those hits. Oh, does full damage though. That's 10 damage to Gunter. Okay. Alright, that is the Quickling's turns done. Val, it's your turn. Uh, quick question uh, with command. Would a command such as slow be within the remit of command? Or would I just have to use halt? Uh, it's a single word. You can use any word you want. Okay. Well, I mean, slower to them is still probably too fast. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, that's yeah, a hold, true. Hold. Um, I mean, it's it's a sixty. I would rip. say slow would probably halve their movement speed, whereas halt would stop them. Mm. Uh, I'm gonna cast command at uh, second level, which means yep. both of the ones on our end are within range. Yep. Um, and I'm going to tell them to halt. Okay. And that's a wisdom saving throw, correct? That is correct, yeah. Of 14. Uh, they, one gets a 12, and the other one's a natural one. So they both fail. Yeah. Nice. So they both have to halt and just not move on their next turn. Yeah. They also can't do an action. Yeah. Uh, does okay. that mean you don't have disadvantage against those two, or...? Yes, because... Uh, well, no, it's their next turn. It's for one and they're not they're not incapacitated, they're just not moving so, uh, on their spots. They're still blurred. They're still blurred, right? Yeah. 
So, is that the end of your turn? Uh, yeah, I can. Uh, no, I'm going to um, bonus action Hunter's Mark, the one right at the bottom. Yep, yeah, okay. All right, Talia, it's your turn. Is it dark? It is foggy. Does that count for Evanshot? No. Nah. <laughs> Just okay. the way he said I'm still, it. I'm still, I'm still gonna shoot. He's like, no, it's not. Shit. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm gonna shoot. I mean, I can, I can probably no, say yes, and you still won't hit. So. I know. Right, I'm gonna even shot that one, or well, I'm gonna roll twice and miss. But yeah. You can do yeah. it. Uh, you do have disadvantage. I know. That's why I said I'm gonna roll twice and Ooh. miss both times. Yeah. Oh. You hit. Okay. <laughs> Happy days. So that is 17 damage. Oof. Wait, 17? Yeah, 11 oh. piercing, 6 oh. necrotic. Sorry, I'm not looking at damage. I was, thought you were saying the actual hit thing. I was like, that's not the damage, that's the hit. That hurts it quite a lot. You awesome. Just watch this bolt catch it and like it literally almost rips its arm off. Nice. Um, okay. Can I have a bonus action? Yep. An attempt to hit it with... Um... Yeah, bolts from the grave. Go ahead. Again, at disadvantage. Yep, yep. One. And... Two. Hits. Nice, sir! Whoa. And... Yeah, that's done it. It just vanishes in a... Like... Like, the, the, the necrotic bolts hit it. Which one did you just... kill? Because I was shooting this one, not the one next Oh. Time. I did the one next to you. I assumed that one. Oh, well. That I one would die as well. I assumed with the, my cro uh, crossbow that would have been too close. Uh, I mean it's not within melee distance. Oh, I'll, I'll, yeah. It's more than five feet away from you, so. Uh, if you allow it, I'll hit that one. Then. Yeah, that one. So yeah, I that one just vanishes too. into a small pile of dust from the necrotic energy. <laughs> okay, is that the end of your turn. Yeah, I'm not gonna move. Alistar. Oh shit, I should have healed. I'm on three health. I'm an idiot. Yeah. You're fine. <laughs> well, I killed the threat and then I guess. It's fine. Balazar's easily uh, going to kill this one. Uh oh. First hit misses. <laughs> what are you doing, Ruth? <laughs> Why did you have to say that? I'm joking. So, okay, so roll... first hit. The first hit, that's your two rolls for the first hit as it's at disadvantage. So it's the 13. Mm -hmm. So that misses. So roll two, two more. No, you've already oh, missed. Yeah, no, but you go to swing and you're just like you're hitting after images of this thing as it's just moving in the space. You just mm. can't quite seem to get a bead on it to hit it. Yeah, I'm gonna um, cast a shield of faith on this. Okay. Shield of faith is up. Uh, Vienna, it's your turn. Yeah, I'm not holding out much hope, but <laughs> I'm going to try Eldritch Blasting anyway, this one. That one? Okay. <laughs> yeah. So again, I'm disadvantage. Kind of... Yeah. Like I said, it's probably going to be a complete waste, but... Yeah. That... Um... That's one. <laughs> yeah, that, that nat one. <sighs> Do I make you hit Balasar? No, you're not, you're not directly in the line, uh... so... <laughs> right, and my next Look. one... No. 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 You've got a plus five. I don't know why you're not rolling better. Honestly. It feels really bad. My rolls tonight, I haven't hit anything. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I haven't hit anything. No. Okay. Is that the end of your turn? Any movement? No. <laughs> okay. Uh, block oh. them. It's I'll your turn. Aha. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> oh. I'll probably go for this one. Okay. Fiona's not at the best today. <laughs> oh Honestly, God. the Mother Knight was showering me compliments, but I don't know what she was talking about. <laughs> She's like, oh, I've chosen the best one. Oh, yeah, really. Uh, it's advantage for this one because it's incapacitated, isn't it? Yes, advantage on that one. It was 26 yep. and a 17. Yep, they both hit. Yeah, awesome. Uh, for 25 and 8 lightning. 
you just shred it to pieces and it just falls dead to the ground in a smear on the floor. Is that the end of your turn? <laughs> uh, no, I can bonus action dash. You can't bonus action dash. You're not a rogue. Oh, no, yeah, of course. I am retarded. Uh, uh, but yeah, that's my turn. Then. <laughs> I wasn't Ert's that. turn then. <laughs> okay. Uh, Ert is going to move. Hang on. Wrong thing. To there. Uh, okay. Which is it on the next turn that she's in the circle that the um, it would yes. take damage at the start of its next turn. It will take damage okay, at, at, if it fails a wisdom save. Awesome. Well, it takes damage anyway, but so it's going to be uh, a Macy Thwack Thwack then. Um, yeah, at disadvantage. Yep. Yeah. So the first one hits. Okay, doke. That's the damage. Yep. Yeah, so five damage. Okay. And then she's going to use uh, where's some actions. Uh, she's going to use War Priest so she can thwack it again. Yep. Nope. Well, you could. Yeah, well, I was about to say you're still at a disadvantage, so yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so that's going to be it. Douglas, it's your turn. I'll hoof it over to here. Yep. <laughs> We're not natural sprinters! <laughs> <laughs> I'll uh, fire. I'm not ball. used to snow. <laughs> oh, I'd like to. Fire was ball. I flanking? So would that have negated the? Oh yeah. Uh, it would have done actually. Yeah. Never mind. I've gone past the roll. I've just I've just thought about it. Though. Okay. Uh, I'd like to fire bolt. Yeah, the... that one. Oh, yes. So disadvantage. No. No misses, unfortunately. That's me done. Okay. Gunter's turn. Look at this slick son of a... <laughs> that is going to be four bow staff attacks from it's him and all the clones. That one hit. That one hits. That one hits. That one does not. So three of them hit. This one can't be on much life to begin with. It Dude. gets slapped in the beginning. Yeah. Just, it gets splatted. And Gunter dispels his clones. And just sort of leans on his staff and goes, ah, Well, that was easier than expected. So. Fiona's is kind of frowning. <laughs> <laughs> it's the uh, the last quickling's turn. Who has to halt? So can't do anything. Uh, but it does have to make a wisdom saving throw. That is an eighteen. So it'll be half damage on the spirit guardians. Yeah, I'm just trying to pull it out now. So only three damage. Okay. All right. Uh, Val, it's now your turn. Okay, dope. He is going to move. Let's work out where he can do it. If he used his breath weapon, it would catch both um, Balasar and Ertz, wouldn't it? Regardless of which position he was in. Yeah, it's a cone, so... Yeah, so... It's going to basically move 30 foot to to back Balasar up and stay inside okay. the circle. Alright. Uh, Talia, it's your turn. Oh, here's hoping I'm going to... Attack it with my crossbow. Eventually. Okay. 
So, disadvantage. Yep, yep. So uh, it's still all blurry. Yeah, well, so one. And two. That's a miss. Ah, okay. So, yeah, not much point rolling the second one. Nah, no, I'd already pressed the Oh, the, the second one would have hit. <laughs> <laughs> if I had advantage, this would be fine. <laughs> Can I bolt from the grave then? Is Are it... you within 30 feet? Oh, that's a point. I need to move first, don't I? Yeah. Um, so, yeah, you can move the 10 yeah. feet in there. I'll go to like there. That should be within yeah. 30 feet, yeah. Cool. Yep, should be. Yeah. And a one. And a miss. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sorry. <laughs> I won't bother rolling with the second one. Okay. Uh, Alisa. Hmm. Am I still at disadvantage? You are, yeah. It's still all blurry. He's flanking, though. Well, yeah. Oh, yeah, you are at flanking, so yeah. No disadvantage, so oh. straight attacks. Mm -hmm. That's a hit. Mm -hmm. And that's a hit. <laughs> Don't nice. even bother rolling extra damage. You have just... <laughs> you literally watch as Balasar just does, like one cut across the back of the legs, and then as it falls, just brings like double-handed overhead downward strike right through the middle, shish kebabbing it into the ground. <laughs> nice. Yay. Very well done. Whew. Um. Is anyone hurt? Uh, we're, we're done, right? With the fight. Yes, the fight is over. I'm gonna split, uh, split uh, 30 and half between me and okay. Talia. Okay. I was gonna so say, Earth, you could like use a spell, Talia. but. I mean, better save the spells for now, I think. Like the slots and everything. Oh. Did I expect it? I'm on 22 hit points, and if someone could. Uh... Heal my dignity at the same time, that would be great. <laughs> uh, goes running over. Um... <laughs> you did well. Gunter's um, just um... on his staff and just going, Nobody can heal your dignity, darling. <laughs> I'm just gonna. <laughs> There's some healing I'm gonna sit for you. Down. I'm just gonna sit down and, and drink uh, a healing potion. And then, depending okay. on how much it heals, depends on whether I drink the other one. Can uh, I find seven for you, Vienna? Five. Oh, seven. Yeah, push Thank and push you. Push and 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 push even with even oh. with that, I've barely healed. So, really, how much did you lose? Oh, I was on three health. Uh, I had. I now have seventeen health now that I've taken those <laughs> potions. <laughs> and uh, Balasar dumped fifteen into you. Oh, did he? Uh, thank yeah. you. Yeah. <laughs> fifteen, yeah. 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 Sweet. That that's a bit more comfortable. Thirty-two out of thirty-nine. I'll take it. Be right okay. back. Having defeated those quicklings, you watch as two more corridors open up off of this clearing. One leading to the northwest, one leading to the northeast. Hmm. Interesting. <sighs> right, what logic shall we decide on our movements this time? Is it guesswork at this point? Yeah, because that, that was a Flip, fail. Flippy coin? <laughs> um, Degris, make uh, me an intelligence check. Just straight intelligence. Key. Just going to see if I'll give you guys a... <laughs> no. Nope. No. Uh, <laughs> anyone else? Uh, to, oh, let me just think, who else would possibly... Vienna. Vienna. <laughs> me. Call me. Alia. <laughs> Probably, yeah. I was going to yeah. say, Vienna's probably too angry. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want me to do? And Blossom, if she wants to, can make a survival check. So what am I taking? Uh, in just intelligence. A survival wisdom. Yeah. Oh, I must yeah, survive. Yeah, yours is based Seven? on survival, theirs is based on intelligence. Sure. Seven. Uh, Thirteen. Thirteen, okay. Um, 
Blossom, you are starting to see a slight pattern in the way these clearings are laid out. Back. Um, back, come back. You can't quite grasp it, but you think you were at first you were on an outer ring. You are now on an inner ring. Where and the center should be somewhere off of this inner ring. Oh yeah, I see. Forced up some of my map, but yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. So, which uh, is... well, it doesn't give as much. Uh, either way, it would take us. Somewhere we haven't been. Yes, but we want to get into the center, don't we? Yeah, but if we're wrong, then we could just try the other one if they want to go anywhere. True. Which one should we try first? Well, if we go north west, then we end up where we could have been if we'd taken the second east, I think. Yeah, yeah if you'd right. gone east from the Codhead. That's where you would have ended up. Yeah. So, okay. Should we do that then? Do we not? We want to go. Where, mm, don't we want to go like where we definitely haven't been, not where we could have been? No, the next sense? one over, not the current um, one over it. Mm. There's one well, in it's, that we've not been to. It's possible. Well, without knowing where the entrance to the center would be, then it's pretty much a guess. But if there's. There's either an entrance opposite us, so we have to go through two of them anyway, or possibly mm. one of the sides, at which point, again, it's a guess. Hang on, you said the northeast will be the west of where the corridor were, right? No, uh, northwest. Wherever. Oh, so northeast is where the corridor were. No, northwest. So, if you go, <laughs> if, you, if, you follow, if you follow the <laughs> northwest trail, yeah. Then you would have oh. you will be in the clearing where you would have been if you had gone east from the Codex. Uh, right. So How are you doing that then? I have no idea. So far we've taken that path. Uh fuck, I balls that up again. Oh, you're drawing in the sand? I mean the, the... Yeah, no, that is yeah. that's almost how you've been, yeah. Uh right. yeah, it's oh. With that one's inward. shorter, so it'd be not to scale yeah. exactly. So yeah. this is where the northeast one is, and mm. then there's one here that we haven't been to. I would assume that it goes something like that. Ah, oh, you think? Like a like a spell circle. Yeah. And then so it will like go back like there. So and we need to find some I, way to get into. I the guess middle. I would say that would be the sensor since there's not one north from here mm. but it could be south from there makes sense so mm. let's go to the northwest one then not like yeah. a spell circle like a snowflake <laughs> okay <laughs> i like how my circles have got slowly slow uh smaller <laughs> as they've gone round <laughs> but yeah so which way are you guys heading if judging by the plan, then it doesn't really matter. There should be one. There should be lead to a middle. If by that logic, then right. Yeah. So one of these paths should lead to the middle that we're in now. No, no, because no. we're no? in here. Oh, no, if Where if, we, there, we if there was here? one north, which there isn't, then that would go to the middle. All right. So we, so we can go either direction then. Yeah. And yeah. This is not helping. Saying we can go Let, either direction is not Let's go northwest. Well, yeah, that's why we go northwest because then there should be one leading uh, west, which we know where it goes, and uh, one east, which should go to the center. So well, let's logic. Go back then. Let's and go. If I'm right, then there should also be one northeast going to the other side. Sounds like right to me. Go then. Go. Oh. Come on. Northwest. All right. So you head, start heading down the northwest corridor. Yeah. Uh, this one is a bit longer than the previous one. It takes about 20 minutes to traverse. And as you start getting towards the end, you hear rumbling. 
No. Deep, rumbling sounds. My greatest enemy, the bullet again, isn't it? I'm just paranoid. <laughs> Uh, Gunter sort of stops and listens and goes, Is it just me, or does that sound like snoring? Snoring? And now you can hear it, it does sound like very loud, very deep snoring. Somebody have a film check. It's a snow dragon or something. <laughs> can I stealth check somewhere? <laughs> like, yeah, I, I think we should be very quiet and sneak past whatever you Thunder step, doing. yeah, that's what you want. No, Gunther, quiet! Gunther, Gunther, at this point, mm -hmm. does some movements with his hands and Chakra. brings them in. Cut. And all the shadows <laughs> from the nearby trees shoot towards all of you and coat you in shadow Ooh. as you cast Pass Without a Trace. Pass Without a Trace, that's the one. That's so you will get plus 10 to your stealth check. Oh, as if my stealth wasn't broken already. Yeah. <laughs> what are you at now? <laughs> 36 or something? <laughs> something like that, yeah. Yeah, Gunter, Gunter passes a stealth check. Is, okay, is, do, we, do we that's see any? Useful, so that's do, twenty-two. Do we? Uh, Twenty-seven, plus... thirty-seven. Yeah. Yeah, that's a lot. Do we? Do, do we see any other paths from where we are? Uh, you are currently on a corridor leading up to the clearing. You are not. In oh. Yet. Oh right. Okay. Sorry. Is that plus ten? So that's twenty-two for Val then. Nice. So sixteen for Vienna. Uh, 28 for Degras, because he's wearing armor. Oh, I don't Ooh. get... Natural one for that. You're wearing chainmail, so you have disadvantage on stealth checks. I don't think there's disadvantage on chain shirt. Wait, no, he's got um that trait, hasn't he? So he doesn't... No, I have, he? no I have no, chain shirt, not, not chain mail. Oh. Uh, okay, chain shirt's well, alright. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I mean... It's, yeah. it's different for two. It's... Yeah, I know. But... It really wouldn't have mattered either way. Um, Sweet. But only gets a 14. But as a group stealth check, you guys um, pass. As you move up to the clearing, looking in, um, you see two enormous forms oh, sat um, in what look to be makeshift chairs that have been made out of tree trunks. Um, looking closer, you can see that this is two sleeping frost giants. Uh, both dressed in red and white suits. We However, glancing them. across the clearing, you can see a corridor leading northeast coming off this clearing, and on the other side, a corridor heading west. No, oh, which one do we go again, Blossom? Uh. Well, there, there should have been one leading east to go to the center, but... Uh, so there isn't, so we should just go through, through Well, the it's... We could go through to the north one, but it's possible that the path would open after defeating these, if we want to chance that, which I assume we don't. What no, if we I don't go... really want to play with Frost Giant. What if we go back and take the other path? Yeah. Yeah. That's a good point. We Let's do that. Because we're or, not found no, we could, at the moment. If we go north from here and then south, then we'd be same place. Yeah, so but at the moment, books. we're on the other side of the giants. So I don't want to yeah, that. Let's not play with the giants. Let's go back and try the other way. I agree. Let's go back, see if the other way is, way is clearer or safer, and then we can make a decision if we want to double back again. Yeah. Okay. So you double back on yourselves and you take the 20 minute trek back to the clearing where you had fought the quicklings. You then go across it and up the northeast passageway, uh, taking another 15 minutes to traverse this. And you come out into a clearing with an odd appearance. Uh, looking at it, you can see the clearing itself. Uh, has a number of bushes in the center and then two the the easiest way to put it would be forts made of ice this one with a blue flag and one with a red flag uh, as you enter um, 
I need. Uh, no, I'm gonna. I'm. I'm going to decide. I've decided. <laughs> I'm going to decide. Um, yeah. Vienna, Valdisian, Blossom, and Degras. You all light up with a red aura. I'll move uh, Queenie because she's not here. Yeah. Yep. Talia, Balasar, Ert, and Gunter. Yay! You all light up with a blue aura. I think I know what we need to do. Right, so I'm and on red a too. Voice comes out from everywhere and goes, It's time for a snowball fight. Yay! Oh, no. Capture the flag. Oh. Yes! Yes! <laughs> yes! Oh, <fuck>. So, <laughs> this is a fun little mini game I've come up with. So, I need everyone to roll initiative as this will take place in initiative order. Okie dokie. Let me click my token and then roll initiative. Oh, now I roll. Yeah! Over. 21! <sighs> it's probably a good thing that you decided the teams, because if me and Gunther ended up on the same team, that would be <laughs> interesting. <laughs> Trust me, there's there's more to this than you think. I'm quite happy with our team. Mm -hmm. I think we're gonna wreck blue Everyone. team. Who are we missing? Oh, did I mess? Yeah, I forgot that I was supposed to okay. do that on my. Uh, what did you get? Seventeen. Uh, Seventeen. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> blue team suck. <laughs> 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 okay. So, this is how this game works. Just so you guys are aware, uh, your weapons. And damaging spells will not work. Oh. Okay, you can still use status effect spells. So things like grease and web are allowed. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, instead of your weapons, you all are able to throw a snowball. Uh, equal to the number of times you have the attack action. Uh, so the snowball is a d20 plus dex or strength. Oh, I'm glad we've got a uh, on our team. <laughs> With proficiency, uh, it has a range of 20 or 40 at disadvantage. If you hit, you do no damage, but the target must pass a con save or be frozen for that round and cannot move or take actions. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, Talia, you're up first. I roll stealth. Okay. <laughs> Go but ahead we and roll. see you. Uh, pass I'm going trade. over here. Still up. Damn yeah, it. And I'm, going, and I'm going over there, so, huh? I'm so gone. Cool. <laughs> yep, yeah, as far as you guys are aware, Talia is gone. And I'm just, uh, I'm going to move to, like, uh, as far as I can, like, over here. Okay. Right, hang on. Where was I? I was there, so. I can go five more feet so I can go. Yeah. Just to check, Paddy, are we trying to capture their flag and bring it back, or just touch yes, it? Yes, you have to capture their flag and bring it back to your own base. Yeah, okay. getting to the flag, easy. Getting away it's with it. It's now Earth's turn. Not so easy. And so fast you can Okay, let me work out what Eric can do. A sec. Uh, I was not expecting something like this. Um... <laughs> was any of us? <laughs> <laughs> I had so much fun planning this. <laughs> I would have been really sad if you guys had missed this. <laughs> That's why you did oh, that. I would be really sad if I missed it. Deliberately puts big fucking frost giants in one place. <laughs> no, the frost giants would have been there anyway. Yeah. No, they really would. I will send you my map after this. <laughs> uh, I think she's just going to make a take a movement and a dash. Um, yep. So, in fact, she is going to go. She's probably going to follow Talia's kind of movement, but she's going to. She doesn't know which direction I went, but yeah. Yeah. Yes. Talia has stealth from everyone. I just meant in terms of like on the map. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, Blossom, it's your turn. Yep. I'm guessing feline agility. Uh, yep. <laughs> 
<laughs> feel like a I mean, yeah, it's all well and good me stealthing, but Blossom will get to the bloody blue fort before. I don't think it really matters who wins, so I don't really care. Uh, oh, jeez. <laughs> yeah, by the way, you have to go around and into the Oh, right, okay, behind. that makes more sense. I was going to say, otherwise I can practically bounce there and back. Yeah. Can we go over it? And it does take an action to pick up the flag. Uh, you can climb over it if you want, but the forts are made out of ice. No, so... I mean, like, Valdisian would fly. So... For him. Yeah, yeah, I mean... How high is the wall? Uh, the, awesome. the wall? So uh, about 15 <laughs> feet in height. Okay. I can only do that once and then I have to not move. In not move, yeah. Again. So, okay. Feline agility, isn't it? Yeah. Alright, is that the end of your turn? Yep. Yep. Uh, Vienna, it's your turn. There's no way in hell I'm getting to the fort before. have seen Ert coming down this direction. You would have seen Ert as you did not stealth. Oh, if you were level 7... God damn it, Ert! No, this isn't fair! He shouldn't be allowed to control it because it's on his team, because he can just sabotage us. Yeah, if I, if I think he's doing that on purpose, I will punish him for it. Wait, just sabotage me because now I can't fucking go where I was going to go because bloody Ert's there and she's going to get bloody caught. Thanks, Ert. I mean, she didn't know how to play this game. <laughs> she would just run in and get some snowballs I know and start she playing would. the game. That's she would. She probably won't even go for the flag. To be fair, I, I love how you lot aren't even paying attention to the fact you could just cooperate just to get through this clearing. Yeah, <laughs> what? yeah. What? yeah. We are ah, come on. For some runner who isn't c caring about the game, Talia, you really are caring about what they're <laughs> yeah. doing. Yeah, well, nobody I... else has suggested it, so... I'm going to take my turn, if that's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah sorry. <laughs> I have a feeling it I'm... wouldn't work anyway, because I'd be like, well, it's not playing again, is it? <laughs> or something. Shush. Oh, darkness. Okay. Oh, fine. Fine, two can play at that game. I'm gonna... I'm gonna bring a community token it. in. Oh, fuck's sake, and I'm close enough to hurt. God damn it. <laughs> I'm gonna actually plonk it there. <sighs> Okay, so what's the range on it? It's like 30, 15 foot 15. radius. Oh, 15. 15 foot, make sure everyone can see it. Misty Step's a bonus action, isn't it? And where are you popping it? There? Yeah, it is. Sorry. Yeah. About there. So you could just Misty Step behind the wall, right? <laughs> Since it's made yeah. of ice, you can see through it. Okay. Yes, yeah, coming in. Your turn, Vienna. Yeah, that's my turn for that one. So you are um, now just concentrating to check. On that spell. Yeah, um, but that's my drow trait, not. Yes. So does that take one of my spells still? No. No. No, that is it's inherent. Same as mine, you can do it without um, losing your spells. Cool. Right. Gun does. Gunter <laughs> is going to. Got <laughs> Defend the fort, mm, Gunther. 35. Uh, he is then going to... Yep, Shadow Clone. Ancient defense. He's got, <laughs> got a couple more of those today, so he's going to make use of it. <laughs> I thought about this. I could have actually cast Darkness in the flag area, but oh well. Mm. Mm. Yeah, you see, you've just given Gunter that idea. Yeah. yeah. Oh god, the three so of us can cast that. Gunter god, is going to yeah. cast Darkness oh. directly on the flag. <laughs> so he is now stood in Darkness, but all his clones are there as well. And that is his turn. Valdizian, it's your turn. Uh, Val is going to do... <laughs> Straight so up, we... run for it. Even Magical darkness, does that prevent dark vision? It does. The only person here who would be able to see in it is Vienna if she uses her bizarro goggles. Huh. But then she might think that we're all trying to kill her and kill us all. But... <laughs> yes. Oh, never mind. I'll wait for my turn. Right there, Zero. Uh, let's... The cat is okay. staring intently at the screen. Um... Hey, you're watching. Hell, yeah, let's oh. do it. Let's, um... 
Let's go 60 foot up into the darkness and start feeling around. Okay, so you... On my next turn. (laughs) So so you've moved and dashed. I've moved and dashed, yeah. To the outside of the fort in the darkness. See, okay. I mean, the fort hasn't moved, so I've still got a vague idea of the height. Yeah. Okay. (laughs) All right, it's Balasar's turn. Well, I can't see Val, can I? Well, you saw him fly into that dome of darkness, but you don't know where he... You, you have a vague idea of where he'd be in it. You saw Gunsel go into the fort, I'm assuming, so... Mm, well, let's see. Well, I'm also gonna go for it, so I'll go into here. <laughs> <laughs> Somewhere around here was it, I guess. Yeah. No one's thrown a snowball yet. <laughs> no, we were just trying to go for the flag. <laughs> okay. That your turn, Balasar? Mm, yes. Okay. Egris, it's your turn. Oh, my plan was to wouldn't work. Draft. <laughs> Right, we can, I can't see Talia. I can see Balasar charging me like a bull. Uh, <laughs> yep. Um, hmm. Hey, Kogi. Oh, actually, <laughs> uh, Gunter has chosen the flag as his darkness point. So it'll move with the flag. Yeah. Oh. Uh... <laughs> hmm. That's interesting. Yeah. I'm gonna throw a snowball at Balasar. Let I me mean, just get in range. If anyone can okay. get to the flag, that causes a real problem for them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they just see the ball of darkness flying through the air. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, so Gunter knows, like, the minute he can see again, someone's got the flag. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna throw a snowball at Balasar. So... Okay, so d20 plus your strength or dexterity and your proficiency. <laughs> 16. Uh, Balasar, what's your AC? It's 18. 18, Ooh. so you missed, unfortunately. <laughs> uh. Well, I'm gonna like block her. Then I'll do that. Okay. <laughs> All right. Get, get past me. <laughs> I'm gonna get dead. Okay. <laughs> right. um, uh, she might just smush snow in your face. I think I'll allow the snowball to also be a melee attack. Oh! I was just thinking that you know, when I go in against Gunther, just running with yeah. snowball. <laughs> uh, Talia, it's your turn. Okay. I'm gonna cast darkness. Okay. Uh, How where many are you people have darkness? darkness? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna do it like here-ish. Like I want it to get Vienna, but not yeah. uh, the flag, just so yep. she can't see. Maybe okay. like a, a little bit more, like to the left, a little bit, just so that she's like there. Yeah. Okay. So you are now concentrating on darkness as well. Okay. And then I'm going to. <laughs> Is she visible again now? Not in... oh, no, yeah, just... cast... no, no, no. Yeah, you cast darkness, so that would break yeah, yeah. yourself. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna... But if I move here... Mm... Now, this is high enough to block Dergus's yes. vision, right? Yeah, I can't see you. Okay, cool. So I will move. So you could bonus action hide and then move thirty feet, or you could yeah, I'm gonna thirty bonus feet action... and then bonus action dash to move sixty. Okay, I will bonus action hide again. So does that mean I have to roll stealth again? Yep, you still have pass without a trait. Oh no, Gunter no. has dropped pass without a trait. Oh, so that is That's bad for me, Dean. So anyone with a passive perception higher than sixteen knows where Talia is. Yeah, right, well, I'm gonna go there. I cannot see Talia. <laughs> I was I like, Boston can't. can't see me. Dergus can't see me because of this. It's only if I go out. Yeah, they can't see you, and Val can't see you. Yeah. 
Okay. And I'll end my turn there. All right. Ert's turn. I mean, Ert's kind of been blocked left, right, and center here, <laughs> annoyingly. Well, um, she can run through the darkness. She could. Yeah, um, she so, knows it's only... So is it a full action to create a snowball and to throw it, is it? Yeah. Uh, could as many, as many attacks as you have, you can throw snowballs. Could Would that change if Ert spent a turn just making a load of snowballs? No, no. So ba basically what it is, is, is as you consciously decide to attack, a snowball just appears in your hand. Oh, okay. So it's the not way like the that. magic of this clearing works. Okay. Um, she is going to try then, and she's going to position herself here, and then try and run and dash through the darkness. Okay. Um, so that would take her to... Okay. And that's her All turn. Right. Uh, Blossom, it's your turn. Uh, you can't move. Huh? Uh, you used feline agility, didn't you? So. I, I, I can't mean, she can't, use she can't, she yeah, can can't move. move. She just, she oh, just yeah. can't use it unless she doesn't do anything. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm probably not moving, though. I can throw two snowballs into the darkness, but I've... Has I even got a chance to hit? <laughs> Is it a disadvantage? Uh, it'll be a disadvantage. Or... Just disadvantage, or yeah, just anything? disadvantage. Sure, I'll I'll attempt it. I cast magic missile into the darkness. <laughs> uh, so that misses. Oh yeah, it's. Yeah. That one just hits. So that is a constitution saving throw for Gunter's clone at the front, which it fails. So that clone is frozen for the next turn. Yeah, that's my cannot... turn. Okay. Uh, Vienna, it's your turn. I don't know whether to be cheeky and just stick the goggles on. <laughs> it's up to you. I'm going to do that. I'm actually okay. going to put the goggles on. Okay, on with the goggles. Uh, please make me a wisdom saving throw. Uh, so you put the goggles on and you can see clear as day. Um, glancing over, you can see Balasar and Degris over there. And as you watch, it looks like Degris is pulling out a knife and turning to throw it at you for a second before it Goes ah. back to how it should be. Um, you gain one one point of paranoia. <laughs> Yay! I'm. Did she see her uh, scampering? <laughs> I was going to say more importantly. Can I was I say see if her? she looks behind her, then yes, you can see her. Yeah, I'm just kind of looking round in general. So yeah. Um. Yeah, I'll see Ert and. Kind of plonk myself over here and try and throw a snowball at her. Okay, so check the range. So it is at the long range, so it is at disadvantage. Oh, okay. okay. If you move one move... more finger yeah. within 20 feet. There we go. Uh, what is it again? 1d20. Yeah, d20 plus your dex or your strength, add your proficiency. Oh, wait, we do have proficiency? Yeah. I, well, I would have still missed on the first one, I suppose. And plus proficiency. What Which is my proficiency? Should be plus three. Whoa. Yeah, that that will hit. I'm guessing. Yeah. yeah. So Ert needs to make a con save, please. How have you added? Two numbers. Uh, um, one will be her proficiency, one will be her dex modifier. Yeah, but how do you do that in roll 20? I only... you gotta space it out. So just plus. Yeah, right, uh, that two. is a pass. So though the snowball does nail Ert right in the side of the face, oh. uh, she manages to shake off the freezing effect. Good girl. Huh? <laughs> the 1d20. 
plus space number. Space plus number. I didn't even put the space in. Oh, right. Okay. 20 plus two right. plus three. Oh, Jeez. you're doing it with... Oh, right. I'm looking in the, in the dice roller. I'm sure. Uh, I forgot you can do that. It is Gunter's yeah, I actually, turn. I actually Gunter and two of his clones... Uh, no, only... Yeah, they're all going to throw at disadvantage. One is immediately just going to hit the wall because it hasn't actually got an angle at you. Mm -hmm. Um... Here we go. So the first attack at disadvantage. Uh, damn it. One of those was a nat 20. <laughs> mm. The other one will be a... So that's plus 8. So 11. Nope. I will be right back. No. It's second attack. Uh, uh, 15. Nope. So another one. Ooh. Uh, 20. Uh, yep. <laughs> Okay, so one hit and the other. Uh, 17. Yep. So two con saves, exciting. please. Oh, sorry, I should probably put. Ah, don't need combat music. <laughs> Not oh, yes, combat music, but it's just a bit serene for a snowball fight. <laughs> so yeah, two con saves. Uh, 16 and 16. Both just pass. Oh. Yeah. yeah. So you are not what? frozen. Team Blue. Uh, we're Team Red. <laughs> yeah, we're oh, Red. Yeah, sorry, my bad. <laughs> we're Team Red and rooting for the other team, are we? I mean, we can give up if you like, just hand them the flag. <laughs> no, no, I'm not doing that. <laughs> Balasa, I'm on your team. <laughs> right. Um, um, Gunter is then going to... Um... We're spending any more key points. Actually... We're going to be so weak for this hag. <laughs> uh, okay. Valdizian, it's your turn. Okay, uh, Val, can he just do an investigation check to see if he can find where the flag is? Um, like, feel around in the dark to try and find it? He can with disadvantage because of the darkness. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, so what would it be? Just a straight in well, an investigation check or a perception? Yeah, investigation. Because okay. you're not you you're not using your sight, you're using touch here. Let's do it again. Nineteen. <laughs> Same thing. Yeah, you quite handily. Um, I'm assuming you fly up the wall first. Uh, yeah. So it's fifteen feet up and then five feet forward to twenty feet of your movement, but you do manage to find the top of the flagpole. Okay. Uh, it is an action to take the flag, so you'll have ten feet of movement left. Uh, well, I've already done. Have I already done an action by doing the investigation check, or are you yes, allowing me to? Yes, you did. Okay. You would have taken an action to find the flag. So I'm going to stay hovering there until my next turn. Okay. Uh, Balasar, it's your turn. Okay. Wait, did did Gus really change teams? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I did. <laughs> you liar. No, I'm not. Look, I'm not doing anything. You can go past me if you want. Stop him in the snow. Yeah. I'm oh, your friend, God, Balasa. <laughs> oh, God. I actually want you to do that because that would be funny. You'd leave him like a snow angel, but it'd be like a <laughs> dwarven <Davis> angel. <laughs> yeah, dwarven angel. <laughs> a dwarven angel. <laughs> Look, can I? Can I? Can I? Mm, tackle him into the snow. <laughs> yes. Uh, that would be a grapple. So both of you make me contested athletics checks, please. Degris, you can make athletics or acrobatics. I'll go with athletics, please. Oh, damn it. <laughs> 21. Uh, oh. Balazar tries to, like, tackle you, <laughs> and you just manage to sort of, like, grab her and just sort of push her down, him down, sorry, into the snow instead. <laughs> Yeah, can I put a face in the snow just for... <laughs> yeah, she <laughs> he just has. He has face-planted the snow after trying to tackle yeah. you. I told you I was your friend. What are you doing? <laughs> Wait, do I still have a bonus action? You still have bonus action and movement, yes. Yeah. Well, I have movement. Yeah. I'm still on the ground, though. <laughs> uh, is she prone? Uh, no, no. Just She just fell and then got back up as part of the same action. For the oh, tackle, okay, okay. So. Can I uh, summon my shadow? Uh, the <gasps> dog? Yes. 
Mm-hmm. You may summon the dog. Can I choose the location or does it have to be near me? It has to be near you, if I remember correctly. It comes from your shadows. So. Yeah. Uh, okay. I'm just trying to find a where I put the Doggo. token. <laughs> I can't find the token. Doggo token, let's go. <laughs> I'll just find a regular Mastiff. Here we go. I think you used a regular Mastiff last time, to be fair. Yeah. Give oh, Alasar so... control of that. Well, uh, I guess so that's if it I remember for correctly, now. Well, yeah, the Mastiff acts on your turn, if I remember correctly. Does it? Mm-hmm. Doesn't it have its own turn? Uh, well, yeah, we need to roll for it. Oh. Hang on. But when it does get to move, it does have 40 feet of movement. Can I move it? <laughs> Let me just roll for it. There we go. It's been added to the turn order. It's last in the turn order. <laughs> nice. <laughs> right, well, that's yeah. the end of your turn? It's my turn. Okay. Mm-hmm. Degris, it's your turn. <laughs> um, can I see a point over... Wait, no, it did it. I just see Balasar on the dog, don't I? That's uh, you can see around them, but there is just this big ball of darkness around the enemy <laughs> fort. I mean, I may as well it'd just be me and him. Because <laughs> like, I can't see Talia, can't see darkness, can't see Blossom. Oh, uh, yeah? Uh... Okay. Oh god. The spell might What's the range on the snowballs again? Uh, 20 feet for the regular, 40 feet for long range. So that's your question, Reese. Yeah, but the way I'm thinking, I have no idea that. But, uh, Val is already there. I just assumed he's gone. You saw me run, so. I saw you, go- yeah, but, like, I don't know where you are. No, so I don't want to, yeah. I don't. I don't want to be. I don't want to be like, ah, boom! I'll dispel that darkness. Um, just do that when it's running towards you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh. Okay. I'm gonna. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna talk to. This is what I'm gonna do. I'll say. I'm gonna prepare. I'm gonna prepare a spell, mm-hmm. and I'm, it's gonna be. I'll tell Paddy what it is, just so he knows I'm doing this. Oh, one second. <laughs> right, so I can't okay. get back out of that. And I'll go, Palasar, I'll take you to the flag now, because we're wasting our material here. <laughs> Someone <laughs> smart enough to know what's going on. I'm going to grab her hand. <laughs> Do you want to come with me? Okay. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to take her 90 feet in the opposite direction towards where the blue flag is. (laughs) (laughs) So, 90 90 feet. Oh, wait. I mean, you're you're out of the clearing pretty much. You can get to the edge of the clearing. (laughs) I mean, mean, sorry. I meant I just wanted to take her far. (laughs) So, So I want to. Either way you go. Can Can I land us both? Oh, wait. I can't see into the darkness, though, can I? So. No. Okay, can I... I know Blossom went that way. I mean, so... you can get to there. That's probably the furthest you can get. Yeah, okay. I'll go there then. Yeah. Okay, okay. Let me... The so gonna... dog's going to die again. Yeah, I've done it once before. <laughs> yeah, I want to go as far as... Can I go here? Is that okay? <laughs> yeah. Good. Okay. Come along for a ride, by the side. <laughs> All right. Oh, I need to roll damage for the dog. Yeah, the dog needs to make a constitution saving throw uh, against 14. DC 14, 13 thunder. Hang on. Uh, get the right thing up. Yeah, it fails that, so it takes the full 13 thunder damage. Ow, cats. It still oh, has still has 20 hit points, so... It's fine. Oh. Yeah. I have 14 uh... movement with the dog. <laughs> you have to go around. I mean, is it, it's a shadow. Can't you just go over? Uh, hang on. No, it can only go invisible. 
What if I can I sprint with the mastiff? Yeah, it can. Yeah, it can. Oh, I can. It can still that. dash. Oh, well, so we made it. <laughs> you liar. Okay, I'm gonna send the mastiff over to the flag. Yep. You have enough. <laughs> Okay. Um, can okay. I can can it use? No, we can't use an action because I sprinted. No, it used yeah. an action to dash. So. Yeah. Okay, Talia, it's your turn. Okay, I am going to because what I was going to do is ruined by the day, I guess. What are you talking about? I did everything fine. I am dispelling my darkness and moving forward and throwing a snowball at Vienna. Okay. <laughs> oh, darkness gone. gone. No longer concentrating on that. Okay. I'm going 20 feet. Right, so what am I doing? Uh, D20 plus your dex plus your proficiency. So. 18 plus 3 plus. 3. 3. I'm guessing. Yeah, so. plus 6. Well, that definitely hurts anyway. So, yep, Vienna, make a constitution saving throw. No, you are frozen. Oh, damn it. Which, since you are incapacitated, you lose concentration on your darkness spell. Right. At the end of your turn, Talia? 25 feet, so I'll move one square further, so I've done my full 30. Yep. Okay. It's Earth's turn. Okay, well, that's going to go in for the grab. Yep. So Fire master. gets her to that. <laughs> yep, so she uh, now has the red flag. And it's an action to grab. Yep. So she will have grabbed it, ready to run in the next turn. Yep, that's fine. Okay. Blossom, it's your turn. So uh, you just got to run into the darkness if it stays up. <laughs> More or less, but I'm first going to throw a couple of snowballs. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, that nope. one probably misses. That one hits. No. So, con save for the clone. It passes. Fair enough. Not that you know that. <laughs> okay. You're not blind. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, Vienna, you are frozen. Yep. Gunter's turn. Gunter is going to spend the turn listening. And makes out that there are two people within his darkness. Two clones are going to throw snowballs at you, Val. At disadvantage. So that is... Oof. 25. Yeah, that hits. And the other one is a 17. No. So make a con save for the one that did hit. Yep, you save. Cool. And two are going to throw snowballs at Blossom. That is a 14. Hmm? Against Blossom. No, I meant you have three clones. Two did one thing, then two are doing another. Yeah, and there's Gunter. Yeah. It was yeah. just the way you worded it. And a 16. Uh, that is my armor class. So. Okay, so one hit. So constitution saving throw, please. Ah, uh, well... <laughs> <laughs> and you are frozen for the next round. Okay. That's the end of Gunter's turn. Uh, Valdizian. Here we go. Up. So, um, action to take the flag. You now are in possession of the blue flag. Yes. And I would imagine I've, I still have a vague aw awareness of where I am because there's a wall yeah, there. Yeah, you know which way's out. Right, so no matter where you go, you'll still be in darkness. Yeah, so I'm yeah. just gonna go straight. <laughs> <doesn't up>. <laughs> I'm just going straight. Uh, what into a rock? He's fifteen feet up in the air. All oh, right, he's flying. I was gonna say, otherwise he's flying right into. But you, you can all see this like sphere <laughs> of darkness just flying through the air. <laughs> oh crap! Good to at this point is good to at this point goes ah. 
because now he can see. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, Balasar, it's your turn. <laughs> you have just been duped by Degras. No, oh, I haven't. I, f- <laughs> <laughs> I feel betrayed. <laughs> just gonna <laughs> assault him with some stone balls. Okay. <laughs> Team wins, we win. 20 so plus really your matter. strength plus your proficiency. Wait, is this say that again? <laughs> uh, D20 plus strength plus proficiency. Oh, uh, well, it, it's an attack roll, essentially. Yeah. Um... Yeah, just roll your long sword, but we'll say it's a snowball. Wait, don't the, doesn't the long sword get like more? <laughs> like... Uh, yeah, I think, it does. I think I think you got a plus seven, so. Yeah. Yeah. Wait. So I got the strength, and where is proficiency? It's proficiency. plus three for proficiency. Oh, plus three. Oh, okay. Where is your strength? I mean, it... <laughs> I'm strong. I mean, I can't... It got plus five. five. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm pretty sure that hits you, Douglas. Yeah, even with a shield. Yep. So that's one hit. <laughs> Are you wanting to go for another Balasar? Orcs use bits to cheer. Or to make a sound effect, I should say. Oh, or unless it's part of it. Yeah, yeah they, both, they both hit. So two con saves, <laughs> please, Degris. Web advantage. Does Rosilla's going to apply? Oh, I mean, yes, I guess does. it would. <laughs> 15. <laughs> Mm-hmm. That's a fail. Oh! 215. <laughs> so you are frozen for the next round. Okay. Yes. So you are now frozen. You cannot do anything. Can I talk? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's the Mastiff's turn. The Mastiff... Wait, I haven't I haven't used my movement. Oh yeah, you can move. Sorry. I'm gonna... Turn the... I'm gonna move up to there. Okay. okay. Mastiff's turn. All right. Mastiff's turn. Um, well, what, do you, what would you like the Mastiff to do? Well, since Earth has already got the flag, I'm gonna... Restrain the other. Maybe. Yeah. We should kill the other. No! Restrain them! Like, you know, like, hold I mean, on. bear in mind the Mastiff... <laughs> the, the Mastiff cannot throw snowballs, so... Yeah. Uh, it's it's, it's fine. It's frozen. just a distraction. Yeah, okay. Vienna's frozen, so... Just be, just oh no, Vienna's fine this round. The free yeah. oh, right. okay. off. So Unless Talia hits okay. you again. Ah. <laughs> 10. 15. Oh well, somewhere up to there. It's yeah, fine. you've got 40 <laughs> feet of movement, so it's fine. <laughs> uh, well, yeah. Yeah, okay. Uh, Talia, okay. it's your turn. You can see this globe of darkness coming from behind you. How high up is it? Uh, 15. 15 feet, so... If I go... Up to here... Would that be in range for me to lob a snowball? I mean, obviously at disadvantage and whatnot. Uh, yeah, disadvantage. Yeah? It would be at disadvantage anyway. I know, I just meant, like, so. with range, like... Yeah. Yeah. So... It's this plus 6, isn't it? So, yep. yeah. 16. And again. Like 22 or something. Yeah, oh. but it's a disadvantage. Yeah, disadvantage. So. Oh, yeah, sorry, I forget. Hold one more. Yeah. So, yeah, so 21. 21. Probably hits. Yeah, that hits. Okay, con save for me then, please, Val. What's the DC on the con save? Uh, higher than that. Val, you are frozen. You Is drop 15 not? feet to the ground. How much damage do I um, take? Uh, you don't, because okay. of the the it's magic that is on this area. But you are frozen, you cannot move. Okie doke. Okay, Earth's turn. Hello, way, darling. I love how, like, Talia's like, best roll of the night is gonna be on a snowball fight. Yeah. Yeah. I haven't done that badly today. No, it's me who's got all the rubbish rolls today. I, <laughs> uh, I was gonna make you guys do another clearing after this before the centre, but I think I'm just gonna let you get the centre. Yeah, uh, I was gonna say it's <laughs> yeah. It is, like, nearly 11 okay. yeah. So that's a movement right. and a dash. 
Mm. Okay. Blossom's turn is frozen. Yep. Vienna, it's your turn. Um. So I've seen a uh, mostly because this snowball fight is taking a lot longer than yeah. It, sorry. Yeah. So I'm gonna throw a snowball at. Her. Okay. From that range. Uh yeah. She is just in range, so but it's a disadvantage. I mean, you could okay. move. Yeah, you could move. I was move gonna and then get... say I'm gonna move. Okay. Plunk myself here. That wasn't too far. Uh, you are still just out of range. I wasn't sure how much I moved then, so that's five. Yeah, you, you I think you've got about... plenty of range. Yeah. You can get within ten feet of her because it's forty feet away, so. Yeah. Or do I move back one? I've lost count. Uh, either uh, that's you, fine. Still still range. Range. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And I'll throw a snowball from there. Okay. <laughs> Dex and plus proficiency, yep. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Whoops. Mm -hmm. Hmm. No, I'm guessing that oh. misses. Yeah, that's a miss. Okay. okay. Gunter's turn. Not the blue. So Gunter can see everything that is going on. Uh, just going to check something real quick. Just want to point out that I've actually taken the goggles off again. Okay. The, the ice forms looked a bit weird with the goggles on. Right. Okay. This should be interesting. Oh, just a little bit too far. Gunter is going to move to there and then flip up onto the top of there and down the other side should be most of that movement and then he's going to bonus action shadow step to there and he's basically going to look at Earth and go do you want me to take that, darling? Yes. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot yeah, I just talked about very... it, but I wanted yeah. you to make the decision. Yeah. Uh, Gunter takes it. He's going to yes. D point or Step of the Wind mm -hmm. to get to 50 feet back this Ooh. way. Yeah! Oh. <laughs> That is the end of Gunter's turn. No. Did he lose concentration at all throughout that? Nope. Okay. <laughs> so you are still in darkness. You have no idea what's going on. You're frozen, so you get no movement. Uh, Balasar, it's your turn. No. Oh, nice. Have we got enough movement to get back in the fort with the flag from Gunther? Mm. Let's see. I mean, if I sprint, mm. I do. So I should be able. Yeah, it's yeah. a free action to take it from Gunter. It's only an action to take it mm. from the pole. Yes, do it. Nice. Okay. Okay. So you take the Gunter passes you the flag and goes, go for it. Yay! <laughs> and with that, the red flag enters the blue fort. Uh, <laughs> Gunter Gunter cancels his darkness. And the voice goes, Blue Team wins! Uh, all members nice. of Blue Team, uh, you now have cold resistance for the oh, next 24 yeah. hours. Ooh, fuck yeah! Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and the rest of us take 10d6 cold damage. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> uh, and you all watch I'm as a bad. corridor opens to the northwest and directly to the west. Cool. I'll go over to Val and just like tap him on the back. That was a good game. That was fun. Yeah. <laughs> well, it didn't really matter who won. We <laughs> Says the winner. Who didn't <laughs> care? <laughs> <laughs> Can I just throw one more snowball at the uh, <laughs> yeah. I, I will slay you. <laughs> <laughs> go on, throw one. I'm throwing one too. Why? What? <laughs> Why? Because then. 
<laughs> oh my <laughs> god! An 18 and a 23. <laughs> yeah, they'll do it. What's yep. You just get two facefuls of snow. <laughs> Stop it! Stop it! <laughs> but Snowball fight is fun! No, it didn't! Right. So have we got access to this centre yet? Yes, the centre <laughs> has opened so up, as has another corridor. Let's go kick this Hank's ass and get home. Yeah. Yes, and it's the one on the west. Yeah. So you head west? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. You begin Let's moving on. <laughs> Let's go. And it oh, takes you go. roughly... Two, I would say... 15 minutes to walk this trail and as you do each step it gets colder 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 even with your winter clothing it is cold and Shit, you are very if, glad if of it we now together and it had been a draw would we both have got both teams got cold resistance by each other <laughs> you don't know Probably. oh, oh that's, <laughs> that's, that's cruel <laughs> As you step into the clearing, you see ahead of you. Oh, fuck me! Sorry. Uh, Danny uh, Coldheart sat. I, I would have on said, a... do we need to rest after that? Because we did. Yeah, because I'm not actually. A a lot of things. Things. <laughs> yeah. That's why I didn't use any spells or anything. I mean, I'm not... That's well, why all of my things are strictly yeah. combat, so I didn't need to do anything. Well, we didn't really. But... Really there were a lot of darkness being thrown around. There was a thunder step at one point. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be fine. Well, <laughs> we'll like you fun. guys said, you went down yeah, the corridor. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I only use one spell. Twenty twenty. <laughs> but you what? You would see ahead of you, Granny Coldheart sat on a throne made out of frozen skulls. Around her stood six yetis. All staring towards you as Granny Coldheart stands up and goes, <laughs> Well, let's see what you can do. Roll fresh initiative, please. Yay. I'm going to die, let's be honest. <laughs> you can't die, you're the reason we're here. <laughs> you can't die. You're probably going to die. <laughs> Boy, I've been rolling. I have rolled, but I forgot to select my token. Yeah, I was just about to do uh, that too. Yeah. Enter the for Gunther. Oh, why is it? Story reasons. Stand the in the middle of six yetis. <laughs> what was that? I think if I used my uh, movement, then I'd be standing in the middle of six yetis. <laughs> Doesn't sound like the smartest thing to do. Probably Someone not. didn't click their token. What was that you were saying, David? Oh, I was no. Balasa has not rolled yet. I was saying, for story reasons, they took Fireball off, but uh, this is that the worst true. time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it would have been really good for it right now. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Never mind. We'll be fine. Unless Fiona actually died. Like, <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah, we need the uh, vivify. I think oh, it has vivified, doesn't she? Just with, uh... She does. It's wherever she has it prepared. Mm. She does have it oh, prepared. Oh, plumbing egg, yetis! Yes! Okay. <laughs> I don't even Top know what around is Blossom. Yep. Oh, just so you're aware, by the way, uh, the snow in this clearing is even deeper. So it is counted as rough terrain. Oh, so your movement speed is halved. Oh man! Wait, where's my Would dog? Would that count for me if I'm in the air? Uh, your dog did not come with you. <laughs> what? You you never told it to come with you. It stayed in the snowball place. Did she not mentally oh. be like, yeah, boy? <laughs> yeah, but it's going to take twenty <laughs> minutes to get here. <laughs> Paddy, with the rough terrain, yeah. if I'm in the air, will that still count? It will not. No. Okay. Oh, Go get him, Blossom. <laughs> That's so that is not... your move and your action? Yeah. Yep. Uh, I will uh, hybrid first. Okay, I'll get your token for you. And 
we go. Alright. Gunter's turn. He is gonna... I'll just I'll end the clearing next to him. 20, 25 to get to there. He's going to key point step of the wind. 25 to get to there. And then he's going to make his two bow staff attacks. So his shadow staff for the advantage. That one will hit. And that one will hit. So, damage. So, 15 damage to that Yeti. As he just goes whack whack with his staff, just hitting it twice. Okay, that's the end of Gunter's turn. Talia, it's your turn. I'll move my measly 15 feet because of, because of half movement. Ah. Yep. Um, can I use this log as like uh, three quarters cover? Yeah, yeah oh. that, that log does count as half cover. Like, obviously aim over it with my crossbow. Yeah. Cool. Can I take a pot shot at uh, Ice Bitch? Yeah, go for it. Okay, cool. Attack every shot. Go. 22 to hit. Uh, 22 does indeed hit. That's 6 piercing and 5 necrotic. Okay. And I'll end my turn next. She's not within range. Well, it's really brief. Okay. 11 damage in total. Okay, he just watches the bolt sort of sinks into one shoulder and she just goes... <laughs> Now her turn. Let's have a looky. What have we got? Yeah, we're going to go with So She is going to move her full thirty feet. I take it she's because she's the like ice lady. She doesn't. Uh, Ooh, yeah, um, suffer she has from the snow. <laughs> she has ice walk, unfortunately. So, oh, how convenient. <laughs> and okay, uh, range spell attack against you, Blossom. Which is a plus six to hit. That is a twenty-four to hit. Yep. Uh, he's a higher level spellcaster, so that's 2d8. So you take uh, 11 cold damage, mm -hmm. and your speed is reduced by 10 feet until the oh start of your next turn. So no sure. need to roll, pretty much. And that is the end of her Is that turn. after or before the reduction for the rough that, terrain? That is, I would say, before. Sure. That's Just to be kind. Foot, which is yeah. fine. Okay, it's Earth's turn. Okay, um, Earth is going to use a second level guiding bolt from where she is. Um, mm -hmm. But uh, I'm saying this ahead of time. If the uh, roll sucks, um, she's going to use her uh, uh, guided strike. Yeah. Which gives her a plus 10, so. Uh... Okay. So, yeah, with the plus 10, that does hit. Okay, doc. Nineteen radiant. Okay. Yeah. Just watch as it splashes over her sort of grey cloak, and she just sort of goes. Ah! Uh, she is now illuminated, ready for the next person to have advantage. Is that the end of Earth's turn. Yeah. Okay. Degris. Can I have a twenty-foot square, please, Paddy? <laughs> <laughs> 20 foot square. Okay. Right, I'm just going to check. With web, I can line it on the floor and anchor it, and it's there, right? Uh, with web, you can put it on the floor, but it is not anchored. 
Uh, it has to be anchored between two points. So between bottom right laity and top left yeah. It says all layered across the floor. Uh. Yeah, but if it's layered across the floor, I'm not sure it lasts. Yeah, it says if the webs aren't anchored between two solid mats, such as walls or trees, or layered across a floor, wall, or ceiling, the conjured web collapses. Ah, so, yeah, that sounds yeah. like... Yeah, so, yeah. So, am so I okay? It'll, it'll last for one turn. So, yeah, you can cast it, but it will only last one turn. And you'd have advantage to hit her with a spell, wouldn't you? So, wouldn't that be... That's not mm -hmm. my... Problem really, it's dealing with the A's. Mm. Is uh, what is it, hypnotic pattern not 30 feet? Yeah, it is, but I've got a feeling this thing is cast. <laughs> uh, and I don't want to, you know, I'm going to test the web. I'll do that. I'll do okay. web. Okay, where I put it? Uh, sorry, I want to be so it goes one corner's there and it gets this person, I think. So about there. Oh wait, yeah, I can't, I can't get them all, can I? Um, no, not with a twenty foot. All right, I'll get. Yeah, I'll do it there then. Okay. So yep, you cast, you cast the web. You all watch as Douglas, uh, pulls out the the necessary components and casts forward this spray of webbing that just lands on top of the snow. Oh, and I'll move there. Okay. Uh, All right. Yep. Valdizian, it's your turn. Uh, Val is going to do 15 foot forward, or 15 foot in the air, and then 15 foot forward. Yep. Um, and then he's going to reach into his bag and um, pull out the shatter spheres that he still has. Okay. Um, where you still had any, but. Uh, well, I didn't use them. Okay. The the other guys used the shatter spheres in the last oh, yeah. turn. I had um, some magic missiles. Okay. Um, and he's gonna whisper, saying, "This one's uh, this one's for you, wherever you are." And throw both shatter spheres, um, and target the witch uh, with six lots of magic missiles. Okay. So you have to roll to throw them. Okay. To see if they land where you want them to. So... Okay. Well, I, I mean, they can land anywhere. It's one hundred and twenty foot range. Uh, range. Yeah, but you still have to, it's the, not the roll. it's not it's not the range of the spell, right? It's the range of the shatter sphere. So you are throwing an item. Okay. The the spell when it goes off will target the nearest thing to where the shatter sphere shatters. Right. You you don't get to choose where it goes. So okay, I didn't realize that was it how is it a, worked. It is a twenty foot regular range or a sixty foot long range. Uh, right. Um. And you have to roll it with a dex roll as a ranged throwing weapon. Okay, I'll hold off doing that for now then. Um, I didn't realise that's okay. how the shatter spheres were working for it. Um, in that case, just kind of throwing that off. Um, can I just hunter's mark? Um, she in range. Yeah. Can I just Hunter's Mark the Witch yep. and end my turn then? Okay. She is Hunter's Marked. Balasar, you're up. Okay, so I'm gonna move here. Mm hmm. So that. Um, so 30 feet is your full movement and your action. Because uh, of the rough oh, terrain. Rough terrain. Hold that. Oof. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> okay. Nothing else. Oh wait, can I wait? Can I use my bonus action? Uh, yeah. I'm gonna, of course, use shield of faith on myself. Of course, shield of faith going up. <laughs> I okay. wish there was an improved version of this spell. <laughs> All right, and that's the end of your turn, Vienna. Hoping and praying that I get at least one eldritch blast. Well, you have advantage on the first one because okay. of the guiding bolt. That does indeed hit. Okay, and it, it is aimed at her and solely her. Yep. Okay, that blasts one. into her and she just winces. 
Uh, the 13 does not hit. Okay. But you have you have gotten one hit from an elf today. <laughs> Yay! Okay. <laughs> it's now the Yeti's turns. Uh, so the Yetis in the web have to make dexterity saving throws. Uh, strength, I think. Which I just um, realised is... Wor oh, wait, no. No, yeah, no, yeah, yeah sorry. Dex, dex, dex to go, dex to get, and then, yeah, the strength... So they are up. both restrained. Mm, yeah. Uh, Wait, strength check against your spell save, DC. If it succeeds, it's no longer restrained. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, no then, longer dex, restrained. Dex, to dex is to avoid its strength, is to break and out. And then they're both going to use their action to try and get out. No. Oh. Uh, nope, neither of them succeed, so they're both still restrained whilst that is there. However, the others are not restrained. So, one is going to go. 15. 15. 15. There. There. Okay. Move to there. Yeah, they've they've only got half movement as well. <laughs> oh, I meant they moved and then they moved again. Oh yeah, they moved their action to dash. Right. Okay. That's what I was querying. So, and that is everything they can do this turn. So, I feel like they're doing a little dance. They're like, it's your turn. <laughs> <laughs> I do. <laughs> I do look like they're doing a little jig. <laughs> <laughs> so if I use my feline agility, it goes to 40 because it's reduced by 10 and then 20 because it's halved, right? Yeah, that's correct. So I can still get around this one and up there. Yep, and you would yep. still be in combat with, with combat with... range so it doesn't yep. get an opportunity attack. Uh, and uh, bonus action for my uh, Crimson Right. Okay. Uh, uh, practically killing myself. Do a um, Molly Mark. <laughs> uh, and then Slash at the Witch. Yep. Both of those hit. For 26 and 10 Lightning. Nice. 36 in total. Very nice. So hang on, let me just do my maths. Oof, that took off a chunk. Okay. She sort of reels back a little, snarling. And brand of castigation. Okay. All right. I almost forgot about that. Gunter's yeah. turn. Gunter is going to... So the enemy in front of him is restrained. So... I believe Gunter gets advantage on these attack rolls. Let me just double check. Where's restrained? Uh, yep, have advantage. Right, so Gunter gets advantage on all of these. That's a hit. That's a hit. And then his unarmed strike is a hit as well. So. I hope Gunter likes me. I've been helping him all session. <laughs> 15 damage from the quarter staff. And then from his unarmed strike, it's another 7 damage. He's just like he's just absolutely wailing on this one yeti. He's just like Gah! Okay, that's the end of Gunter's turn. Uh Talia, it's now your turn. I'm gonna take another pot shot at her. Okay. <laughs> you will get sneak attack on this as Blossom is in combat with her. Ooh. Twenty-three hits. Yes. Wait, what? I don't know why it rolled twice. But... No, I don't either. 
My dice are frozen. Oh, weird. Right, okay, so sneak attack, that's 3d6. So that's 11. 27. Nice. Not bad, not and bad. And I end my turn there. I'm staying in cover. Okay, she's oh, she's hurting. Back. She's starting to hurt. Uh, so deck save for her. Uh, that's a pass. Um, <laughs> and then you watch as the the staff that she's holding, she puts it between her legs and floats up off the ground Ugh. and up thirty feet into the air. Oh, and bottom, you do get an opportunity attack. Yeah. As she moves out of your. Oh well. <laughs> nope, that misses. <laughs> she goes. She she raises up and goes. <laughs> well, you've done well so far. Now let's see how you do with this. And she starts waving her hands. That's yes, well. Uh, okay. You need to roll me a d20, please. I'll try. <laughs> Come on, you can do it. Wait, are we contesting or just a flat contest? Oh right. So. Well. Yeah, yeah, your, your contest, you have to roll to see if you can counter this spell. It's higher than third level. DC, hang on, what, what is it? Is it an int roll, or...? It's d20 plus your spellcasting modifier. Oh, okay. Come on, that 20. Jinx him, he's probably he all shit now. 16 is enough, you do succeed oh. he is a in cancelling. There is. But you do succeed in cancelling the spell, and she looks at you and goes, "Ha!" <laughs> and uh, nice one, Durgus. Just my last <laughs> floating thirty feet in the air. So, it... Earth's turn. Uh, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Um, guiding bolt, and again, guided strike. Uh, this is the last time okay. I can potentially use guiding strike. Um, All right. So. Go for that. Crystal that does hit. Okie doke. I'm doing it third level. Okay. Ooh. Yeah. Nice. Oh, wow. Damn, <laughs> <laughs> girl. This hag is looking hurt. And, and that's advantage for the next attack on her. Alright, Degris. Oh, I guess my web goes now. Yes, your web has faded. What happens if I web her in midair? I don't think it does anything, because yeah, there's no anchor point. I'm like Spider-Man. Um, <laughs> but the restraint on the Yetis has gone. Yep, it has. Um, Hit her with a laser or something. Hit her with a laser? What is this, Star Wars? I don't Wars? know what you wizards do. <laughs> Just do something. Uh, I was gonna do my misty step grapple, but I'm too far. Uh, I'll just shoot a fireball. Uh, <laughs> so okay. I'll do that. Go ahead. No, sorry, that misses. No. Is that the end of your turn? Uh, I'll run for it another ten foot. <laughs> well, that's me done. <laughs> All right. Can't see his right, dwarven it's legs. You. It's your turn. Was it, was it the sixteen that missed? It was, well, it was the eight because he doesn't have advantage. Oh yeah, there was advantage, but that still misses. Yeah, that still misses. Fair enough. And the uh, the rate guiding bolt radiance is now gone. I'm sorry. God damn it! All right, so it's my go now, yeah. Yep. Okay. Uh, so through a combo of. Through a combo of my movement and Misty Step, I want to be uh, five foot above her. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to smash her in the head with Mortimer. Okay. <laughs> Go for it. <laughs> hey, thinking... how do you do it? Smacks him in the face with a If you kill it, please. Like, please. people's elbow drop it. <laughs> 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 Come on, I'm going to pump a smite into it as well. Yay! First, first level smites, so that's 2D... This was meant to be such a harder combat. 
2d6, is it? Yeah, first level is 2d6. Okay. 2d8, sorry. Oh, hang on, ignore that one then. Yep. Doesn't really help that she walked into melee range off me. <laughs> no. <laughs> and... She was a bit cocky. <laughs> yep. And... Hit it again! I'm gonna hit it again. <laughs> yep, go ahead. Go, Anakin! Yeah! Oh, what do you no, mean, yeah? Oh. I said yeah because I didn't see the price drop. It was a delay. And I was like, oh. She is still standing. Is that the end of your turn? Can I. Uh, I but you ain't got any range. Bonus action, Hunter's Mark. Yep, yeah, I believe she's already Hunter's Mark. Yeah, uh, you missed a step, which is bonus action, isn't it? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, and I you have. Did. Wait, yeah. shoot already? Hunter's marked? Yes, he yeah. is already hunted. Oh, okay, so I get uh, an extra. Oh, yeah. What? D6. D6. Oh, look. Look, Balasar's still got Javelin. Oh, she's still up. <laughs> Just Javelin her out the sky. <laughs> yeah. And that's. <laughs> yes, do it. No, I have okay. movement. Balasar, it's your turn. <laughs> Can I. Kill, Kill her. Kill her. <laughs> Can I split this uh, five feet square with uh, Vierna? <laughs> no, you cannot share the same square as another person, unfortunately. Damn, can you move over a bit? <laughs> what, what's no, Javelin? That's the same range, wouldn't it? Javelin? She's still 30 foot in the air, though, isn't she? Yeah, yeah. yeah. still 30 foot up. But Javelin, what is Javelin? Oh, javelin no. is a thrown weapon, so it's 20. Oh. If I remember correctly. <laughs> well, I'm going to move up to Same, you can hop on the... Uh, and um, yeah, hop on blossom try to, but I don't think he'd be able to lift. Uh, she'd be able to try lift to use my breath attack to get both both of them, like uh, from down to. Uh, up. Well, again, she's. I think you, yeah. Yeah. yeah, she's. Yeah, my breath attack is feet, isn't it? I'm oh, also no, in the air. No, it's fifteen feet, so it's not oh. long enough. Oh yeah, um, yeah, Val's right above her. Isn't and it's only a fifteen foot line, if I remember correctly, for the breath attack. No, it's thirty. 30? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. 30 foot um, you wouldn't be able to hit her then. Because hmm. you are 10 feet away from her and mm -hmm. she's 30 foot up. Oh. So she's 40 feet away. Uh, mm. Flying enemies are just Balasar's weakness. True. It's fine. I should get some wings. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Going to get the snipe. Yeah. <laughs> I was just thinking that. <laughs> Well, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna throw a jump, I guess. Oh wait, yeah, no, I can, because it's 120, right? Wait. That's a long javelin throw. I don't think it's that big a range. On it says a... it says 30 feet slash 120. Yeah. Oh yeah, but it's disadvantage. Uh, disadvantage for the further feet. Oh, it's worth it. Give it a go. Why if not? You, your dice rolls. Do it. Go for broke. <laughs> I mean, I'm not great with javelin. Channel that, channel that deception earlier. That's a good yeah. start. <laughs> Got a wrong Go thing. on. Go on. I Come on, Palazar. Go on. Oh, oh, no. So close. <laughs> so close. <laughs> Alright, that's the end of Balasar's turn. Someone knock her out of here. That's what I'm right. trying I'm... to do. <laughs> I am going to give it a bloody good go. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah. Hi. I've I've been Fuck so yeah. angry that I've not been able to hit anything that I'm like right final one. I was, I was this, gonna, is, this is perfect. I honestly was going to drag this out and have her take a the best level of healing potion next round. But yeah, that's 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 that's, that's that's dramatic irony. How do you want to do this? Hey! Like I said, I was so angry. I was just like, right, you're <gasps> getting out of the air. And she just, both hands, just straight. Oh, we're celebrating. Her. We've still got all these yet. I'm just riding on the hope that it said defeat her and that they'll fuck off. <laughs> they might not. You watch. I mean, this it, yes, he's double, on Yeah. This double handed Eldritch Blast flies up, hits. Granny Coldheart in the center of the chest and actually punches a hole straight through her. Her staff falling to the floor as she just sort of goes up, oh! and then her body just <laughs> turns into snow. As do all the Yetis. 
and you hear her voice ring out from everywhere you around you in the clearing going <laughs> well a promise is a promise and you hear a snap of fingers and your vision goes dark and you see that same golden barrier from before flying towards you as you push through it and fly back past the streaming lights to then find yourself sat in that same semicircle in front of the fire at the Jigging Jester. Could everyone roll me a wisdom saving throw, please? Oh, this is what we remember, isn't it? Oh, wisdom saving um, throw! Vienna is, is immune to this. 16. 12. 13. Right. Okay. So, Talia, Degris, Blossom, you all remember. Balasar, Ert, Valdizian. You, 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 you forget everything. You think, <laughs> you you think you've, you think you've just exchanged gifts and you just passed um, Vienna hers and it just cracked and fell apart. You know nothing about what has just happened. Oh, what about Gunter? Oh yeah, I need to roll one for Gunter. <laughs> Oh, I, said I, said that. I said that Gunter with passes. such urgency. Urgency. Hey. <laughs> Wait, so we're back at the Jig and Jester? Yeah. But uh, am, I like back to... am I back to normal or am I still hybrid? Uh, you are still hybrid. <laughs> what the hell so... is that? <laughs> uh, when did you change? <laughs> Bal <laughs> Bal Bal is you know, just... All of a sudden we're ch exchanging gifts and then pff, monster. <laughs> <laughs> he just got really excited, that's all. <laughs> I mean, I guess it's that, that moon, I guess. It was my gift <laughs> that did it. Ah. <laughs> does Gunter so re remember? Gunter does indeed remember. Yay! Rook doing it. Rook here? Uh, Rook, Rook is not here at the moment. Oh, okay. Given the festival off. Damn, we should slave that bird. <laughs> I'm just joking. Can't talk. Val Any... kind of feels really, really bad that the present he got for Vienna is broken. So he goes, starts fumbling through his bag. Um, yeah, you gave him two presents. I know, but like something is just broken in terms of a gift giving and it's a bit embarrassing. Um, and he goes to hand her the mercenary gloves. Okay. As a present. Um, you did get the curse removed from then, so that's all right. <laughs> yeah, I'll just say this: if if you ever do end up leaving um, Armate, this may be handy in terms of you know the trade deals that you want to do and bartering and and whatnot. What gloves are they? Um, uh, they are a gloves. pair of gloves known as mercenary gloves. Oh right, okay. And we'll add them to your journal. They give you advantage on sleight of hand checks and any charisma checks to do with money or bartering for goods. Paddy? Mm. That uh -huh. one could useful. Can I use the diary so everyone remembers? You can certainly try. Can I try? Yeah. You flick back to the right point in the diary, pull out a quill, and you make the correct annotations in the diary. And suddenly, you all remember your time in the Feywild. Mm. This diary is the best thing ever. Yeah, no, I've a clue. You see it on the page as you say that there is an annotation that comes up going, "Well, yeah." <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. And she puts it back because that makes it a bit easier. <laughs> well, Balasar is just gonna be a bit sad because he wants to take some yeti meat back. Sad. <laughs> Will the meat have replenished itself? No, I only changed yep. it. Everyone remembered. I didn't change. No, no, but if we're back to the point that. before technically we went to the Feywild. No, no, no. no you said we were back like... in the Jig and Jester. You didn't say that ah, okay. time hadn't passed and that. Yeah, well, that makes sense. Well, that's no why time I asked has about passed whilst you've been mentioned. in the Feywild, but everything you took with you has. has and by the way, you are all sat there in the winter furs. <laughs> I get to keep them. <laughs> Yay. Yeah, I want to keep these things. Be useful yeah. that way if we ever go to the cotton places, we can take it. I'm wearing it everywhere, <laughs> but yes, and that is where we will end our festive special. I hope you've all enjoyed. Um, I hope you all liked the little 
bits I put in there just as little gimmicks and fun bits towards the it holidays. Was awesome. There is a lot of stuff that they missed that would have been just as good and much more hinting towards Christmas, but alas, the players go where the players go. But everyone stay safe, happy holidays, and we will see you on the first. As or, long as everyone. I think Ben has to work. Okay. Is that you? Uh, possibly. Yeah. So. We'll figure it's it out. We'll, we'll do the first, if not the 15th, yeah? Okay. We'll figure it out. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Enjoy. And good night. Bye. 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 See you later. Bye.